said no! Let's say goodbye to season two, Perry Kevin Will I It's Barry Caramel Alive! Thank you for subscribing! Go! Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, I was just distracted by... Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Welcome to International Subscriber Sunday. I am, I am overwhelmed by all, all the wonderful things that have been going on these days. International, it's just fantastic i can get now what international subscriber sunday means is we are now international we are worldwide all over the internet so people in russia and china and north or south korea can see this stream as well as right here in the united states of america and hawaii and china and they can give us a phone call and uh, make requests so uh, if you've got, and even over there in Europe, in, in England, Germany, Italy, France, if you want to make a phone call to uh, us on Subscriber Sunday, give us a call. This is Perry Curabell Live. No, that's not how it works, actually. Uh, you don't, they don't give you a call. They, they give the subscribers a call, but... No, you call I mean, I mean, I mean you they, call they, they subscribers. Call. Forgive me. I'm, I'm saying it backwards. I call you guys. Correct. I'm saying it. I'm saying it backwards. I call you guys. Right. Okay. That 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 that's where I, I mistakenly. I said it backwards. I'll be calling you folks. Okay. Right. 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 Are you Perry? Are you hearing me from, through your speakers right now? I'm hearing you not through the speakers, only through my uh, my Bluetooth. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Keep going. All righty. So how's everything going in on planet Earth these days? I mean, and I know there's some craziness over here in the United States. People are what having fun. They're what playing games. I still don't hear you through the speakers. Really? Really? I, I, now, I, now I hear you through the speakers. Talk. Talk, talk, talk. Hello, hello? I heard hello, you hello. say, yeah, there we go. You okay. said really yeah. and... Now you went blank again. No, I because I'm not talking. I just okay. Uh, there you are. There you are. There you are. So yeah, okay. no. So, if you're out there and you want to call, there, they call. give their number to a moderator, and then you call them. They don't call in. That's 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 it. Goes. Correct. Correct. That's the way it goes. Okay. And I want to hang up. I want to see if oh let me get right away. We're gonna do to start off. We're gonna do a poll. We talked about this on. Friday, late Friday, but there was a contest that uh, Garrett ran on the uh, social media uh, accounts on uh, Instagram and Twitter about people's setups for watching Perry Caravella live. And now is the time to pick a winner, okay? Early on. So, let me just uh, get... People's this. setups? What do you mean by people's setups? Like how they watch Perry Caravella live. Oh. Okay. And uh, people submitted their pictures of their setups, and uh, we're going to look at those real quick, and then people are going to vote on who their favorite is, inclu including you. You get a vote as well. Okay. Okay? Yep. And by the way, uh, it's everybody can, call, uh, can get a call today. It doesn't matter where you are. Uh, right. Uh, it doesn't matter North America, Canada, all everybody. International is everybody. So don't feel right. that if you're in North right, America, right. you you uh, you're out of it. So okay, that's kind of what I was describing. Yeah. Let's get into this. Hold on. Okay. Was, that's kind of interesting. B. Like like B. Option C. Uh, Beautiful dog. Okay. D. I like D. We know. Three screens right there. E gets my vote. I love all those consoles. That's I like all the screens on F. 
Gee. I don't like the, I don't like the dill pickled mustard. This is a good one, H. Another great dog. Dog. All right. And those are all. We'll go through one more time. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. That ends at H. Okay, let's do one more time. And then we'll pick a winner. Okay, ready? Hang on. I got to turn off this fan here. Give me one second. Okay. I should have thought twice about us starting at that 3 p.m. in the middle of the day. So I'm boiling out in this apartment. I'm still in the apartment. Should be my it should be my last day of streaming from the apartment. Okay. Does uh, the computers work at your uh, new new residence? Uh, it's not the computers; it's the internet. But internet is allegedly getting installed tomorrow, so I should be good to go for Wednesday. Give me one second here. Okay. Can I turn my AC on? It's kind of hot in here. It's 92 uh, outside. No, actually, you can't. If you remember on Friday, uh, what was the deal on Friday? You scammed uh, John out oh, of... Shit. Well, this is what happened. Oh, uh, shit. This is what happened. You got it. Uh, I believe it was $20. My, my memory is a little fried. You got a... Uh, a John... Correct me if I'm wrong, John tipped twenty dollars and to say turn the AC off for the remainder of the stream. What you did is we had issues with Streamlabs and uh, the stream went down a couple of times, and then uh, you in the interim must have Oh shit, that's right. You turned it on, and I don't know, and I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Maybe you forgot, or maybe you just were trying to sneak it by, but, and then I, later... I forgot. You forgot. Okay, well, later on in the stream, you said, can I turn my air conditioning off, which, of course, sounded off alarm bells for everybody, because you were supposed to uh, not, have it, not have it on, so... Yeah. That, so, so, so please... The the agreement we made with John is uh, in order to not have to refund him is that you would keep it off today, which I know is going to. How hot is it there now? It says ninety two on the. Uh, okay, so screen. do you agree to? On, we're honorable people, right? We're going to honor. Our yeah, team. we 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 got to do what we got to do. I got to sweat it out. Okay, got to sweat it out. Okay, can you sit up, please? Okay. I hate to say I got to poop it out too, but. Okay, well, I hate to say, but we're going to go over these uh, submissions one more time and then people are going to vote. Okay, here we go. Once again, I, I really like Option A because they're okay. from Super Mario 3. Yeah, that, that's cute because of the three screens. This is great you know, right too. I other. like the Frankenstein glass. I like the albums. Yeah, I the. Like the, the dog. They're all good, by the way. They're all they're good. All, they're all really good. See. All really, really good. This is another one. This is your the favorite, of screens. course. Beautiful lady, beautiful dog. I like yes. the GameCube next to the Dreamcast. That's nice. Big there. screen. This and is I like great, this. Great setup With all here. Four, all this is a fellow screens. Stream. That has to be a fellow streamer, too, because they got their all in. Oh, yeah, because he knows that I can't stand mustard. And I love this one. Beautiful dog. And, and he's drinking kettle. Uh, okay, yeah. so they're all, they're A, B, awesome. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. G and H. H. Which one is your favorite? And we'll run, the, uh, we'll run it now. And then uh, the winner gets a free uh, tip comment. And, you want me to uh, say which one's my favorite? Which one? Well, we know which one's your favorite. H. Okay. There's going to be an official poll run uh, through uh, through Twitch, so don't vote in the chat. Don't throw. Don't vote in the chat. Only the official. Um, only the official poll will count. And then when I get the results, I will announce them. Okay. What do you think of my T-shirt? Probably bad timing. Oh, what? Because of the sport of uh, hockey? Well, that's what they are, right? They're uh... Blackhawks. Blackhawks. Yeah. I am my home, my home crew. Yeah. Isn't there some? Uh, isn't there some controversy with them going on right now? 
I don't know anything about the about the controversy. Okay. I'm not keeping up with well, that. Well, we're not a we're not a sports stream, uh, but I'm gonna wait for that uh, that poll to come up. Uh, one other thing, I just want to make a couple of uh, well one housekeeping announcement. I wasn't able to upload Friday stream yet on Credenza uh, because one after hours went really late, and uh, number two. When we had the Streamlabs crash, which apparently is a Streamlabs issue, other people are experiencing it, um, the stream was in several parts, and our main output early on crashed, which I didn't have, so I had to rip it from YouTube. Anyway, long story short, it was in like several pieces, that had to, so it had to be edited uh -oh, together. What a mess. Normally, I just upload it after the stream and, and the raw file, but uh, since it was broken up and there were all these issues, I had to piecemeal it together, which I did this morning. And it's all ready to go, and that'll be uploaded uh, as soon as the stream is over. Uh, but I want to shout out the couple of guys that were uh, giving me a hard time. There's one, there was one guy, this guy Ben Harden on Patreon says, I'm sure Tom B. will have some fantastical story ripped right out of the 80s classic, The Money Pit, on how he couldn't upload on time again. So give me a little bit of the business there. And then Rob Mack follows up with, it's now Sunday morning and still no Friday stream. I don't care who's moving. No excuse for the poor display that's been going around lately. Be better, oh, Tom. Hi. Be better, Tom. Well, I will be better for you. Uh, so, uh, but anyway. That, hey, things happen. Things happen. Well, things, things happen. happen. But I do, I do, one of the promises of credenza level on Patreon is you get to see the streams within 24 hours of the stream ending. And there's two times where I've missed that window, both times this week, because of my Oops. move and all my BS. But now that that's over and I'll have internet uh, as of tomorrow, should not be an issue going forward. Anyway, uh, while we wait for the results of the poll, uh, yeah, uh, John, come on over. I still have that Jameson here. Uh, there's not much else I can offer you because the apartment's empty, but come on by. And uh, if somebody says I don't take criticism, I take criticism very well. I have a very, uh, I'm, yes. I'm very cool. Yeah, I'm very good. I, I personally, from me knowing you for as many years as I have, uh, I think you do take criticism very well. Yeah, that's fine. If it's appropriate to criticize, yeah, go ahead and criticize. You don't mind. Uh, being criticized or anything. So, um, do we have uh, any topics to talk about right now? Or uh, we we do in one second. I'm just figuring out this poll. Okay. Okay. So the poll we use, of course, only has four choices at once. So we're going to do two rounds. Let's do round one and then round two and then a final round. Okay. 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 So that'll run. That'll run right now. So the, you guys should be uh, seeing that run right now. And then. In the interim, we'll see what people are talking about. Okay. Perry, can I buy you a pool item for when we swim? I just use a pool noodle, but I would be happy to buy you some water, socks, goggles, you name it, pal. No, there's no need to buy me anything for the pool. No need. Don't don't be buying don't don't buy me anything that I do not need. Okay? And I don't need anything for the pool. Oh, shit. I'm going to poop my pants. This sucks. Let me go use the toilet, please. We just started. Hey, wait, hold we on did, a second. I, what happened to the uh, the kimchi that was behind you? Somebody uh, mentioned that behind you, above uh -huh. the microwave. What happened? There was a kimchi thing that was up there for like the past two months. Where did it go? It, 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 it was thrown away. It, it went bad and it was thrown away. What? It's fermented. It's probably probably yeah. was just getting better. Yeah. Alrighty. Thank you. Forgive me, folks. Please forgive me for that emergency. Uh, almost pooping myself, but uh, catching it by running to the bathroom. Okay, we have a winner to announce of the, of the uh, vote. It's very exciting. Oh, and it was uh, that, that was quick. Not even a contest. What happened? It, well, it was a contest, but uh, it, it was uh, by a long uh, by a long run. Uh, a, the submission A, is is the winner. So, oh, um, all get right. In touch with uh, Garrett or myself. Uh, Garrett will reach out to you, and then we'll get you. Uh, we'll get you that free tip comment. I'll figure out how to work that. 
uh, either. I forgot out. what A looked like, so. Uh, a, well, I can show you real quick. You can show me the A picture real quick. Yeah. This was A. Really oh yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah. That's that's that's, sweet, that's, that's yeah. real sweet. Yeah. yeah. All four of those right there. That's yeah. real sweet. And they had the uh, they're they're playing uh, Super Mario 3D World recently released uh, for the Twitch, right. uh, an old uh, Wii U game, but uh, very fun. Right, right. Anyway, so that's. Uh, that's the winner, and I'm gonna see who the runner-up is. Runner-up was H. Runner-up was H. So that's that. That was my pick. H was my pick. No, D was your pick. D was because your the pick. girl. D was one of my picks, but when no, I you saw can only them have all, one pick. you can only have one pick. I I re I re-nagged my pick and went to H. Whatever. If you want me to pick D, I'll pick D. But if, but I actually like. I don't H. want you to pick anything. It's over. Okay. It's over. So I, I'd like <laughs> to give both. I'd like to give both a uh, uh, a prize. So uh, we'll be in touch. And uh, thanks. That, that was fun. Thanks for everybody. Thanks for uh, participating. They were all awesome. It's it's really cool to see uh, people. Right. Uh, yeah. They, they were all beautiful. And that's how they watch the stream. Like the, they weren't just taking pictures of uh, their screens. That's how they watch you, which is cool. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. First you stole from John Diaper, now it's time to pay the piper. Try to scam me? Now there is no more AC. Time to pay for your crime for stealing my dimes. It's not on, asshole! Fuck, I'm fucking boiling up in here! Okay, you don't have to call him an asshole. You're the one who... Whatever. Unplug the AC from the wall so the crowd sit your ass down and don't beat aloud. Reap what you sow. It's gonna get hot reap what you sow hell is what you got. It's off. It's not on. It's off. This early start has knocked the height calibration way off. Grab an egg place on floor. Stand on it. It won't break, but the added height will fix it. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, wait, no, I'm a lot of eggs. I have no more eggs. I thought you were supposed to get some. No, I didn't. I didn't go to the store and buy any eggs. Ugh. No, see, because, because see, I, I go high protein in the first two or three weeks of the month, and then the last week I, I do without eggs to level my body off. And then I go back to the high protein for the first three weeks of the month again. Um, since it's, uh, speaking of eggs, so <laughs> getting back to that kimchi thing, I just the thing that was taped above the microwave, when did you decide to throw it away? Because it's been there for a long time. Was it today? Like the day before, no, like the day before yesterday or something? No, the day before yesterday was Friday and we streamed and it was on there on Friday. Okay, then I took it down after the stream. Last night. Is it still there? Is it still in the apartment? Is it in the garden? No, box? it's in the. It, it, it's in the. Uh, I threw it in the toilet. Ooh. Okay. It's too bad. Yeah, because it was smelling. It was starting to smell up the place. Okay. Thank you for subscribing. Five hundred cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Well appreciated. Perry, thank you for offering me cake. You're doing great as a streamer. Please take your shirt off. Bones. 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 For Christina Applegate, I will take my shirt off. Okay? For Christina Applegate, yes. I will be kind enough to take my shirt off. And... I haven't shaved my chest, so I'm getting freaking hairy like a freaking ape. All for the uh, for the um, uh, America's Funniest People uh, reenactment to do uh, Velcro Man's uh, uh, appearance again. So you see, Wait, you see on. the you know. 
you know you don't have a commitment from them, right? You're just are, – are you auditioning for them? Like, like there was no – I thought I was committed to do the job. I, I don't remember that at all. But it's nice to see. I mean, I think it looks good. I just don't, you know, I, I, I don't want to sell you, uh, you know, a false assumption that uh, that's definitely going to happen. Because if it's not going to happen, I'll just shave tonight. No, I want, yeah, I, just let it go for a little bit. I mean, you're growing out, but there's, I mean, I didn't even I know. Mean, is, I, is, I, I was. Are they I coming younger, back? Are, is that show coming back? I don't know. I don't know. Where, where, so where did you get that from? You I remember told we me. watched? No, I no, I did not. Uh, where we showed the clip originally on a time travel Tuesday a while ago. And, now. You, and you made a comment to me to grow the hair back to. No. Uh, I might have said maybe you should grow it back if you want to be Velcro man, something like that. But I did not say grow it back because you're <laughs> going to be on. Because I'm I, look, you're what you're talking right now sounds like we don't know if there's going to be another episode of America's Funniest People or not. And if or when or I don't know, where, but it would be, at least it would be a good get. At least grow it back to the point where you can recreate it. I think that'll be fun. At least recreate that scene because that's what thirty years ago. Yeah, about that. Okay. And then so maybe we can at least recreate it, you know, and uh, do it for uh, you know the channel. And if you're gonna shave, and if you're gonna shave, you might as well do it on stream. Why? Actually, actually. Um, you want to know what's funny? I think I did. I think the America's Funniest People uh, <coughs> was, excuse me, was back in the late eighties. No, we figured it out. Or it, was, it was actually ninety two. We we put the math. It was ninety two. It was nineteen ninety two. Yeah, yeah. So it's almost. I almost wasn't sure if I knew Don or not at that time because I was doing so much. Stand up at well, the, uh, the LA second, Cabaret. It was the second season. We figured out the second season was ninety two. So it was ninety two. Anyway, okay. uh, let's get to uh, the first phone call. I put it in your uh, chat box. <clears throat> okay. And by the way, if you're uh, watching and you're international or anywhere, <clears throat> uh, feel free to submit your phone number to a moderator. Okay. All right, star six seven. Make sure the is your your, uh, Bluetooth speaker on the jam box. Yeah, yeah. What? Okay. Yeah, Hawaii counts. So he says, I'm international in Hawaii. Sure. Of Anywhere course in Hawaii world. counts. Anywhere in the world. Hello? Thank you for subscribing. Happy belated 0626 day. I am working with Congress to make 0626 a federal holiday. America needs to never forget RC forcing HJs against her will. Okay. Um, Sorry, Streamlabs just glitched again. This, I, Perry, I, this, is, per- this is Perry Caravello. Who yeah, am I no. speaking with, please? This is the 2020 Twitch streamer of the year. This is me. Wow, that's a great looking chair you got there. Thank you. Who am I speaking with, please? You're speaking with Philip. I'm speaking with Dark Side Phil. My first phone call is, is that- Dark Side Phil. Are you serious? That's right. Yes, it is. And let me tell you something. You remember a couple weeks ago I sent you a couple little dressers in the mail with $40 and told you to put them in the credenza? What? Yeah, yeah, you've got termites in your credenza now, pal. You may have my chair, but I destroyed your credenza. So you gave me the bed bugs, huh? You piece (laughs) of shit. All bed bugs, termites, roaches, they're all coming there. Stop you it, piece Kitty. of shit. Good day. Bye. I want my chair back now. You're not going to get your chair back, bitch, because you suck. Oh! And stop stealing my people, motherfucker. Hey, why don't you just go into baby mode right now so I can get everybody back? Oh, I'm, well, I'm not doing that. <laughs> 
My, I, yeah, I hope to right. God my baby no, mode no, days are over. Back. In my it's not your chair. Excuse oh, me. Yeah, Stooge. Yeah, yeah, Stooge. Yeah, yeah. Stooge. It's not your chair. It's Twitch's it's chair. chair. It's, it's Twitch's years. chair. They allowed you to my borrow chair. it for a while because they were impressed by your streams. Now you've got someone better on Twitch, which is Perry Caravello Live. We yeah, kick your ass. We kick your ass. There's no termites in my credenza, motherfucker. That's all in oh, the there garbage. Are. There are. Yeah, there are. They're Trump in the garbage, me. motherfucker. Oh, yeah, there are. Yeah, you just keep yelling over me. Yeah, you try. We're going to keep putting trash on the patio. We're going to send Slurpees. It's all coming. Oh, there. motherfucker. Get off of me. Pizza, bitch. We're done with you. Good day. Snort. Yeah. I'm sick and tired of my people going over to him. Sick of it. And and uh, and you, and you Whitney was trying to tell me. You know who's what? in control of that. You know who's in control of me. Pe right. Exactly. And Whitney uh, Cummings tried to tell me that um, Scarlett Johansson sent me the drinks. Uh uh. I don't believe that in a heartbeat. This piece of garbage that I just called has been sending the drinks and all the poison that has been entering my apartment. So all that poison, if I see it as I'm opening the, 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 the packages up, they go right in the garbage immediately. Because no. my house... No, we're not doing that. What? We're not I'm doing not that. Putting, I'm not putting fucking insects in my dresser. Okay, I didn't, say, I didn't say insects, Perry. But if you get something in oh, the mail... Well, termites are fucking insects. Okay, yes. If you get live bugs, obviously that goes outside. I, but you haven't had that uh in, in quite a while I, I, I don't know if you got uh i don't know if you got ever, got anybody to ever do that uh somebody sent something not too long ago it was just a bunch of dead shit or no live live bugs but this this dirt bag sounds like he wants to send me live bugs now Sent me a bunch of dead bugs, and now he was going to try to send me live you bugs. You did it once, and I think you put it right outside. Was that correct? Was it ants or something like that? I, I it, was, don't it was. It was. Uh, there were, there were uh, cockroaches and ants and and shit in, in one. I put it outside immediately. He's a fucking loser. He's a motherfucking loser. So, just to uh, update people out there. Uh, the reason why that uh, tip comment played when you're on a phone is every now and then uh, Streamlabs, the, so the broadcast software, has this hiccup. And when that happens, it reshuffles the comments. Now, I have everything still here, but I'm just going to have to uh, replace some of them. Um, so that's why that happened. Uh, apparently, they pushed out some kind of update recently. So a lot of other streamers are having uh, the same issues uh, that we are. So at least I know we're not alone. Okay. But anyway. That's okay. I, I'm sorry I'm sorry to confuse you when that first started but I will replay that. All right, take this number, the first phone call. I think I remember seeing you in America's Funniest People. You were the Jack Lope, right? I was the what? No, I was Velcro Man. Velcro man, I went to Toys R Us and got two Nerf balls, and then I went to a uh, another store and got some double sided tape, as well as some uh, glue, spray on glue, and and uh, sprayed my chest with this glue, and then they threw the two Nerf balls at my chest for them to stay. And then when I came home, I took a, a long shower, and uh, I think I shaved all that hair off that night as well because of all the all the stickiness from the uh the spray on glue so i'm just gonna leave this this uh this gorilla uh hair hairdo grow back uh on my chest until uh the america's funniest people 
crew wants us to uh, have me redo uh, America's Funniest People from 30 years ago. Was it 30 or 300? I don't remember because it's just that show just stays on the air. And I keep getting older, and we keep getting better. It's Rex. Tomb is wrong. We hate you. I am rock hard thinking of December 12th, 2021. Glorious day. I will reconnect your pot of coffee to piss on your grave. Love you. This December, this 12, 12, 21 garbage. The people, whoa, 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 whoa. What, is somebody going to come over here and kill me on that day? Because somebody wants me dead on that day, no, and I don't Perry, like I it. Keep t- I keep telling you, no one's threatening to kill you. It's a prophecy. You know what a prophecy is? People are proclaiming it's a prophecy that you're, you know, going that I'm going to die on that day. Something, yeah. But it's not murder. Oh God! No one's threat. No one's threatening that. <sighs> Either I don't leave the house that day, or I'm out of town that day. Happy Randyversary. I'm sorry I missed it yesterday. How did you celebrate Perry? Did you do a lot of LLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLL
What? Okay, here's what you got to do. You got to now walk around the apartment. Let me just get the exact wording of it. Uh, walk around the apartment. How, how much slack do you have with that cord? Uh, very little. Really? Yes. That well, looks enough. To, try walking towards the camera from there. And then you gotta you gotta keep saying Mario just like that. Can you practice that part? Mario. Exactly like that. So, yeah, you gotta keep saying that with it on. So obviously you're gonna have to talk over that because it's loud. Mario. So turn it on and just walk around. But walk towards us. Work towards the camera and then walk around the apartment. Turn it on. <laughs> Point it down, point it down. Come closer, come closer. Try to get around the whole couch. You're doing good, but you, you, you got to cover every area. Okay, go over by the um, tr the, the area. Okay, the area you didn't cover is by the blinds there. Go, go over uh, towards there. So do it again. Turn it on again. And remember. By the blinds? Like, you mean my patio blinds? Yeah, yeah. So don't walk over. Perry, it's got to be it turned on before you start walking over there. Because you, you want to cover some ground here while you're still on camera. So just go, Mario. You're doing good. That was good. Walk over there. You should cover some uh, more ground. But that's that's pretty good. Hold on. It's it's a powerful uh, leaf blower, and it'll blow leaves. You know, electrically, it doesn't use gasoline like the majority of them out there do. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I think you. I think you got it. You can leave, leave it out though. Leave it plugged in and out. Leave it out. Leave it exactly the way right, it is. Right? It's yeah. gonna stay. You never know. You never know if we'll need it again. Okay. Okay. It's ridiculous that I got one of those just for this stream because I'm not working as a, as a uh, landscaper or a gardener or anything. Why would you want to do that? Do what? Landscaping or gardening? Yeah. I don't want to do that. Okay. That's why I don't know, understand why that was mailed to me. Well, probably for the, exactly what you just did. That was a really good uh, Luigi impression. Okay. Luigi's uh, Mansion is a very uh, popular uh, uh, Nintendo franchise. I, oh, okay. Okay, let's get back to this. Okay. Whenever you're ready, Perry. All right, I'm moving that out of the way. There we go. Okay. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Offer $30 to call Richardine tonight. I can PM his number. An extra $30 if Perry rekindles his friendship with Keen by the end of the call. Why would I want to have anything to do with him in any way, shape, or form? 30 bucks? I don't think that would cover $6,000 that he owes me for what my mom wrote for us to go on the, the stupid uh, uh, storm chasing tour that we took. So, no, I'm not going to call him for 30 bucks. 
No, storm ch- the storm chasing tour. My mom wrote wrote him a six thousand dollar check, and uh, yeah, I'm telling the freaking planet this, and it, nobody needs to know about it. Personal stuff, and he never paid me back, so fuck him. I want nothing to do with Richard Heaney. Screwed me over. He screwed over a, a professional photographer friend out in Burbank. It's Chubb. My boyfriend and I are role-playing the time you force-kissed on Barris like a Jedi. I never Why did you do it. that, BTW? Thanks. Bones. I never Bones. did that at all! Bones. Offer. $30 to call Richard in tonight. I can PM his number. An extra thirty dollars if Perry rekindles his friendship with Keen by the end of the call. How many times are we gonna see the same? I told you. Message? I told you a couple of comments are going to play twice because of the uh, Streamlabs glitch. I, it's nothing I can do. Anyway, so you don't want to you don't want to call him for thirty dollars. Thirty dollars to do with Richard Heaney yeah. ever, 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 ever again. Thirty dollars is not going to rekindle. Yeah, I, I agree. It's probably. You know, it was, it's probably a bad idea to call him, but I just it's, wanted to it's, make sure. It's an absolute disgrace to call him. The only rekindling I would get is for him to write me the amount of money he owes me. Other than that, I want nothing to do with him. And an extra thirty dollars if Perry finishes the call with Richard by saying "I love you." No voicemails. Florida is a one-party consent God. state. Fuck you. Fuck you. There's there's no rekindling of anything. He's a fucking lying thief, a fucking abusive bastard, and I want nothing to do with that piece of shit. I love you. Fuck you. That's where he gets. Fuck you. New fan here. Perry will have his tattoo removed. Or he will have his arm amputated and auctioned off. The Thank tattoo you! Will be you can amputate my arm, no more that tattoo. motherfucker, because the tattoo ain't moving anywhere. You're not touching this arm. You're not removing a goddamn thing. So fuck you. Try to cut my arm off, motherfucker. He's not going to touch it personally. Oh, now that you have the shirt off, can we see the tattoo? It gets so much attention lately. Could Pete, you show people? A lot of people probably haven't seen it. There's no need for this tattoo to ever be touched, ever! Can you show no, I'm not a professional skateboarder. No, I'm not a professional snowboarder. But yes, I went snowboarding twice So when I first bought my snowboard. I plan on snowboarding as much as possible this winter, now that I have fucking money to be able to go snowboarding. Can we see it a little closer? Can you... So there we are. There we are. Okay. Case. Skateboarder, snowboarder, actor, and comedian. Okay? Bottom two are correct. Bottom two I wouldn't touch. The, the whole fucking tattoo is fine! What about... And I'm just throwing this out there. What about if we got a really hot woman to do it? Somebody that would be your type. Nobody oh. is touching my arm! No one is touching my fucking arm! Boy. That clip reel is getting longer and longer for that life. No one is touching my motherfucking arm! This arm doesn't get touched ever! A trillion dollars! This arm still doesn't get touched ever! A dozen fucking Ford Shelby Mustangs and a half a dozen fucking Ford Shelby trucks! I don't give a fuck! My arm ain't gonna get touched! Oh! We'll see. Fucking hey! Francis is slurpy bitch Carmelo, how does it feel to have found out after fucking round? Listen to two more the slurpy boys will come slurping. Look at this guy, this idiot talking about. Uh, how does it feel to be found out after effing around? Slurping what around? I don't know. Maybe they're talking about the air conditioning? I don't know. How does it feel to have found out after 
effing around. Listening to Tom B or the Slurpee Boys will come slurping. I guess if you don't listen to me, I, I guess they're threatening more Slurpees. So good idea to listen to me. Yes. Has Slim with Jay. There's no one that doesn't live here allowed to come swimming here. We can have two guests if we want. I don't have any guests at this time, period. Thank you. Good day. There's no pool party here ever. We've already had our our rules given to us about the pool uh, usage and what's going on. I read amputated his arm. He would lose 10 pounds and no one would ever have to see that shitty snowboarder tattoo again. One armed parry rules. What the fuck? You're not touching my body! Period! Period! Fucking period! You're not touching my body! End of story! Perry, I have to get up for a second. Can you uh, entertain the... Uh, yes, I will. Our, okay. our guests for the next... Yes, I will. Okay, they're, they're, they're dwelling on trying to change my tattoo. And guess what? The tattoo was done on my arm some years ago. Uh, yeah, and I'm leaving it the way it is. There is no altering of the tattoo. There's no removing of the word snowboard on my arm and, and trying to put the word streamer there. Fuck that. It ain't going to fucking happen. It ain't going to fucking happen. No. And am I going to put streamer anywhere else in my body? I'm not putting any more ink on my body. Okay, I'm not putting any more ink on my body, and I'm not removing any ink from my body. This is like an ID card to me because, yeah, I was a snake, a skateboarder, a well-known skateboarder, uh, snowboarding. The guy that created snowboards was the guy that I wanted to skateboard for. So uh, that's Tom Sims of Sims Skateboards and Snowboards. So um, I ended up buying a Lamar board. Burt Lamar was a pro skateboarder for Tom Sims. And Lamar, Burt Lamar moved, uh, I believe he moved to the Lake Tahoe and opened up his own uh, snowboarding company. And that's why I bought a Lamar board. I knew Burt Lamar from skateboarding at Skater Cross. We weren't great friends. We just knew each other at Skater Cross when Skater Cross Skateboard Park was here. Um in Reseda off of uh, Van Owen and Reseda Boulevard some years ago, back in the 70s, back when I uh, was was good, or when I was getting good. Wait, you're not talking about skateboard, right? You just got back. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, okay. Just, just <laughs> See, little bit. I walk away and he talks about skateboard. I had to go because I get a delivery. Okay. At my door. And again. the delivery. Well, again. Um, the food? Is it food or, or is it... Uh, it's booze, once again. Uh, surprise. Booze again? Oh, so yeah. they don't want you to leave your house. It's the same It's the same bottle. It's great. Jameson Triple Distilled Irish Whiskey. and uh, So they don't want you to leave your, your old apartment, I guess, or no. your old home. Yeah, so for those who don't know, I, was, uh, I moved last Monday, and I thought last Sunday was going to be my last stream in the apartment. But because I couldn't get internet uh, where I moved, I've been using the apartment this past week to do the streams, even though it's empty, but uh, people still have the address. Uh, Joey was giving the address to people last Sunday to send stuff. So, uh, Dozen Done has been sending me these beautiful, but I will say it's really good stuff because I had a preconceived notion about Jameson that it just like, it's like fire. It's like, just like burns your thing, but this is the good stuff. And I will open that up, because why not? It's disrespectful to not sample it. It's also disrespecting the queue. So I am going to have a drink. Uh, Perry, I don't expect you to join me, but... Uh, no, I do. No, I will not join you. And when I, when I say to entertain our guests, I don't want really to skate, skate, skateboard stories. So. No, I, I just, you know, skateboard, snowboard. The creator of snowboards is the guy that I wanted to skateboard for, so... Allegedly. Yeah. Back when uh, when uh, I, I was younger, right. <clears throat> okay, why don't we do right. another call? You have a phone number on the uh, chat. Screen. I have a phone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna go. go. Blast. If 
I could find. You go get a glass. I will go find a way to up the new number. Thank you. Okay, this is star six seven. This is Perry Carabello live. Who am I speaking with, please? This is Buddy Head. Who? Buddy Head. Buddy Head. Never heard of you. That's all right. I don't need to hear of you. I... Pleasure to, to talk to you, Buddy Head. Where am I calling, if you don't yeah. mind me asking? Uh, I'm in East Los Angeles. East LA. Very I'm, nice. I'm a, yeah, I'm a big fan. Thank you. Very nice to hear from you. I, I just I just had some questions on how you handle you know just your uh, your your career like when things get tough like what do you tell yourself to to stay positive and and keep keep with the good fight what advice can you pass on to fellow artists Wow um, it, it it is definitely fellow artists if uh, you're an entertainer yourself uh, it's not an easy business my friend uh, and and just fight the fight the hard fight. Just fight the hard fight because we are all fighting this business to to make it each and every uh, every every TV show, every radio stream, every internet stream, every uh, radio talk show, every uh, movie we film. If uh, we're making filming movies, um, just stay positive and and do what you can to stay positive. I know you know with this pandemic that we've. Uh, gone through for the past year and a half everything has been a fucking mess and hard very very hard for all of us okay but again yeah do what you can to stay positive all right it's well, not easy i my admit last question is what what happened in 1992 don't don't worry about it i was sexually assaulted by a casting director that's all i'm gonna say nothing more to say that, that's all you want to elaborate that's on? That's all I'm going to elaborate on. I was sexually assaulted by a casting director, and that's it. All right. Nothing more said. Well, okay? Well, I, pre I appreciate your advice, and um, thank you. Thank you. All right. Good day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, I don't want to bring up uh, what, what, what happened word for word or, or, or get into detail about what happened in 1992 ever again. Okay? Okay. Tom? Yeah, I hear, I hear you. Sorry. I think the delivery guy who brought me the Jameson had to come back because he couldn't scan my ID. Uh, so when, whenever you get an alcohol delivery, apparently that you got to give your license as you've done, you know, when a guy comes to your door. So it, right. scan it. So I had to run to the door. Uh, so I missed, I missed the call. So... Well, the, the 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 caller wanted to know what happened in '92, and I told him that I was sexually assaulted by a casting director. I didn't give him detail. I uh, left it um, broad and and open for him to know that I was sexually assaulted by a casting director. Okay. Um, and I didn't go any farther than that. And, well, and then I en ended the call. Let's change topics. Please. Let's change Please. topics. Okay. I have an offer for you that that's very up your alley. Uh, Danky Doodles is offering thirty dollars if you can read something in Italian. Have you ever read in Italian before? Don't know how to read in Italian. Okay, but you can read the words if they're written in Italian, right? Possibly. I've. I've. Uh, well, well, let's try it. I've never. I could try. Okay, I just pasted you uh, in uh, the chat box. What to uh, what to what to say? It's in the chat box. It says Randy Callahan, amore mio, o come manchi agni. Let's see, Giorno nel 1992. Abbiamo fatto I. Is that's either an I or an L? Is that is that I? 
I am more or, or, or la more. Now, now, tio, officio casting. Okay, that is the practice round. Now you can do it for real. Do do a, do a good job. Like really try to. Now that you've read, now that you had the one read through. Randy Callahan, amore mio. O o kami manchi a agni giorno nel. Now, 1992, abbiamo fatto uh, l'amore nel, nel tuo ufficio casting. Is that, is that, uh, is that how you read it in Italian? I don't know. Hello? Sorry, let's try it one more time just to be sure. Give it, give it passion this time. Oh God! Passion. The, oh God! Yeah, I'm passion. just reading it the way I can read. It's a romance language. I'm not even Italian. I got You, you claim to be Italian. You don't even know how to read Italian. I don't read my fucking home. Perry. Just because have, you're Italian, have, have you ever you have said to know your language? Have you ever said the word ciao? Have you ever said the word mi amore? Yeah, I say ciao. I say I say buongiorno. You know, mi chiamo. Uh, I, I say uh, baffangu. Me you know, uh, Perry. Uh, um, that's that's that's. I say mange. Right. Okay. Me chamo Perry. That means my name is Perry. Okay. Me chamo. Hey, I, see, I took I took Italian. You, you travel the world. I no, don't. I, yeah, but I took I also took Italian in college, so I know you know. I can watch the Godfather scene, where uh, Michael is in the Italian restaurant talking to the cop and. Uh, What's the other mobster's name? I can't think of his name. And I can kind of make out what they're saying. Kind of. Because you know the language. Well, there's no subtitles in that scene, but I can kind of... No, I don't know the language. I can't speak it you know, fluently, but I can get by. But anyway. That's all you... That Yeah. You can get by because you took the language. Anyway. You learned well, how to point. talk. My point is speak. you can read it phonetically. Okay, you're an actor. You can just give it passion. Just give it I'll, one more I'll read, read the line passion. again. Thank you. Randy Callahan e more mio. O cammi ma manchi a agni si giorno nel 1992 abbiamo fatto l'amore nel, nel, nel tuo ufficio casting. Was that good? Hello, hello. It, was much, it was much better, Perry. You can give me a beat when you because I'm doing things in the background. So if you don't I'm hear sorry. me for one millisecond, you don't have to say hello, hello. All okay, right. I will be, I will be there. And yes, it was good enough. It was good enough. Thank you. All I can say about reading in another language is I tried. Perry's in. So tired of you crying and yelling. We all want a warm, lovable time. Why not just lay out rules for us? What are the things we can't talk about? Uh, I already read it in Italian what I don't want you to talk about anymore. What happened in 92? We're done. That, 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 that event is done, over, and no need to keep bringing it up. Like, that's the only thing that's funny about me now. I mean, it's ridiculous. I did a movie that, that, that was funny, the, a cult classic film for Comedy Central that was funny. What's the matter with talking about that? What's the matter with talking about what I, what I do uh, to keep myself uh, alive each and every day? I mean, yeah, it's it's not easy to get around and, and do things these days because of, you know, this uh, pandemic. Now that the majority of us are vaccinated, we can do things now. And it's it's an honor to be able to go to the store. It's an honor to be able to go, go uh, get clothes or get food or whatever at, at a department store or at a grocery store. Perry, 
What model Stetson hat is that? Love it. Is it waterproof? Can you wear it in the pool when we chicken fight it's all your not neighbors? Waterproof. Hashtag swim life. No, I would never put this hat on and wear it in the pool. Ever, ever, ever. God. Why, why, why would somebody moronically Party of stuttering put Josh. nice I have fallen like hard on. times and the cockroaches have taken over. I am drunk and a bad father. Any advice to help me do better? John, just love your wife and love your children, man. Uh, don't, uh, don't, don't cheat on your wife and, and don't beat your kids. Be a, be a loving father. Be a loving father. Do things with your children. I mean, if you got sons, play baseball or football with them. Throw a frisbee with them. You know, play games with them. Okay, uh, well, since you talked over the start of it, I'm going to read it again. Perry, it's Stuttering John. I have fell on hard times and the cockroaches have taken over. So he's got a cockroach problem. I am drunk and a bad father. Any advice to help me do, do, do better? Do what you, all I can say is do what you can to not be an alcoholic. Stop drinking the booze. You know, it's, it's uh, not going to help you. It's going to destroy you. Be a better father by uh, not abusing your family. Not, don't abuse any of your children. Don't abuse your wife. Uh, respect them. Respect them, respect them, respect them, and love them, too. Um, I know that's a broad and spacious word, saying respect and say love. Go play games with them. Go go uh, throw a football with them or, or throw a baseball with them, you know. Play a little uh, baseball. If you have more than one child, you know, go, go to the park and play a little uh, baseball or football with your kids. Or throw a frisbee with your kids, you know, do stuff like that. I mean, I only have one child and I haven't seen her in ages, but uh, uh, it's it's not uh, an easy thing. I miss her to death and I can't wait till uh, it, it's time that I will see her. Perry, be a true rock and roller. Zap a turd then rub it on your bare chest. Smash a bottle and roll around in the glass. Hashtag what the rock fuck? God. That's not being a rock and roller. That's being a psychopath. That's got nothing to do with rock and roll. Absolutely nothing to do with rock and roll. Please. Ugh. This is plain gross. Happy Carmelo slash Callahan Day from our staff from 7-Eleven. May we blow your mind with this blessing as you jerk us off with your constant bragging. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Because there's, there's nothing to celebrate. Nothing. You may want to celebrate it, but I'm not celebrating it. Why are you wearing a woman's shirt, Percy? Did Randers get that for you? I'm not wearing any any shirts at all. Why would I be wearing a woman's shirt? I don't have a woman's shirt. I wear t-shirts. Call that number. So much is asked about June 26, 1992, but what did you do 29 years ago today? June 27th, 1992, the day after. Do you have a nice, relaxing day? Bitch! Look, you fucked up Star Wars. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Thank you. You're not, you're not Carrie Fisher. Don't ever think you are as good or better than Carrie Fisher. That's insulting Carrie Fisher by saying you're the best, best uh, uh, Jedi ever. Ever. That's bullshit. Ebar. Ebar, you little valley girl. That's bullshit. Okay? 
Carrie Fisher was the first and she'll always be the best. End of story. <laughs> That's my favorite of the night. Wow. That was good. I mean, to be to, to be fair, she's just the actress. She's not the actual you know, Jedi herself. Exactly. The best Jedi ever. <laughs> so how many years are for uh, how long? Perry, an alcoholic beverage is allowed at your pool. I would be willing to fill a cooler of beer for all of your neighbors at the pool. You're not allowed to come to my home and use my pool. End of story. And no alcoholic beverages are not allowed out by my pool. So you're not allowed here, period. I don't even want you knocking on my fucking door. I'll say hello to you on the sidewalk. That's it from my patio. Other than that, I don't want to even have it. I don't want you in my complex Sorry, at all. Okay. I didn't mean to cut you off. Uh, what were you going to say? How many years what before that came in? How many, How years? many years? Talking to me? Yeah. You were, you were about to say something. You're like talk, maybe you're going talking about Star Wars or something. You were like, how many years? And then the, the tip comment came in. I've, um, oh, if you don't shit. remember. Forget. I no, I don't. Remember. How many years? It was Carrie Fisher was, is the original, and that's it. Bottom line about yeah. Star Wars. Yeah, that that young girl that's now in Star Wars. And she's just an actress. Okay. Um. Why don't you call that next number? Next number. Where are we? Oh yeah. Right here. Nine oh eight. Excuse me. Like always. Come to daddy. Okay, star six, seven. How'd you know it was me? You know who this is, buddy. Keep talking. It's Rich. R Rich, Rich who? The, the, the wacky guy that keeps gyrating himself on the uh, internet? Richard Heaney, buddy. You're not Richard Heaney. Yes, I am. You don't sound like Richard Heaney. You're not Richard Heaney. Good day. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. I can prove I'm Richard Heaney. Oh, God. Hello? You're not Richard Heaney. You don't sound like him at all. How would you know? What do you mean, how would I know? I used to know the guy. If you knew me, you knew who I sounded like. Good day. You wouldn't be making these accusations. Acu all right, hold on. Will you listen to me? Goodbye. I just hung up on him. He's a loser. It's Richard Heaney, the fucking liar. What if it really was Richard Heaney? What? What if it really was Richard Heaney? So what? So what? He's a he's a liar, a thief, a fucking crook. He, he, he abusive to uh, to uh, our, our our head our headshot specialist. I mean, I mean. Yeah, I want nothing to do with him. Zero to do with him. Okay. Screwed me over financially. Screwed my mom over it's financially. Fuck him. John Iver threw a RCPC anniversary party yesterday. There was a Perry impersonator sucking people off. I did not go. You're She's disgusting, you sick bastard. And stop bringing that up. Stop bringing up what happened yesterday. So, to okay? be fair, Wes said he didn't go, to be fair. So you're, you're, you're yelling at him, but he's just reporting. Whatever.
It's so hot you are starting to swell it's so hot and you are starting to smell God saw you steal from me and you are now in your own personal hell. Eight hours to go. Yeah, it is fucking hot, motherfucker, and I'm dying in here. It's 92 outside, in the sun, at 10 or 15 degrees, and it'll fucking uh, let you know what it's like in this apartment. It's fucking murder in here. And you're a fucking asshole, too. God damn it. I poppy take that ugly shirt off so we can see those totties in their full glory. Stand up and shuffle shuffle. You're an iconic. What happened in 1992? I already did, and it's already been talked about so many fucking times it doesn't need to be brought up again. Stop asking what happened in 92. I'll tell you, all right, here's, here's what happened in 92. I started my fucking acting career in 92, Okay. Started doing stand-up comedy in 88. Started doing acting in 92. End of story. Perry, you Brittany? look more handsome now than in 2003. Best streamer on Twitch. Tell Don Barris to call me. I'm not interested in talking to Don Barris. Why do you want Don Barris to call you? But thank you. Thank you for the polite remark. I think I remember seeing you in America's Funniest People. You were the jackalope, right? I was Velcro man. Fuck. Yeah, by day I'm a I'm a cross cross town or, or uh, what did I say? I said a cross uh, cross. Blah. I said by day I'm a cross city trucker, you know, or, or a cross country trucker, and then I just go by night I'm Velcro man and blew up in my uh, my shirt and then uh, had two Nerf balls thrown at me with. Uh, with double-sided carpet tape, and uh, and they stuck on my chest, and I went, ta-da! I see some people asking if there's video of Velcroman. There is. We played it on the stream a while back, but uh, if you guys want to play it again, we can play it again a little later. I was going to ask you if you had that. I got it on VHS tape, and that's it. Yeah, I, ha I have a clip of it. I, <coughs> I can load it in. Happy belated 0626 day. I am working with Congress to make 0626 a federal holiday. America needs oh, to never forget wow. RC forcing HJs against her will. Do not make that day a fucking holiday, you idiot. God. Oh, God almighty. Somebody might have just written written their, uh, or signed up saying that through Joseph Biden saying this. The president's got way more important shit to, to fix and clean up and... As a longtime Big Three fan, I must use my free tip comment to congratulate Perry on his recent 29th anniversary of getting into showbiz. Hashtag peak Twitter. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. You're, now that's a respectful remark. 29 years of getting into show business. Thank you. Yes, thank you. If you want to add all the years of doing open mic comedy too, it's 29, it's 32 or 34 years of open mic comedy and acting. I want to go all the way back to 1988. 33 years. Hit by old lady wrong side of freeway. Good. 
Great by casting director. Good. Broke your neck skateboarding. Good brother stole a wolf fund. Good. No, it wasn't good that my brother stole the will funds, asshole. But everything else happened, yes. <sighs> Get robbed by my fucking brother stealing the will funds. Jack off. <clears throat> I'm alive, that's what's good. Serious question for Toom. How did you start working with Perry? How did you guys meet? We original... Oh, I'm going to let you answer this. Sorry. No, they asked you. You can answer it. Okay, we originally met at the Laugh Factory. Uh, he was doing comedy. Uh, I guess cross-country comedy and I was doing open mic comedy. And that's how we originally met. Um, and then uh, that was basically it at the Laugh Factory, one one time meeting. And then I guess you saw me on the internet looking for a uh, publicist and a uh, and a uh, uh, manager, and uh, you you got on to help me out with my situation. That's not quite it, but that'll suffice. Is that yes or, or it's a little clo bit? Close enough. Close. Close enough. Okay. Thank you. Perry, big fan. I loved you as Bobby and the Sopranos. How's the gravy today? Somebody is at my door knocking. Can I go answer the door, please? There is no gravy here. There's no food yeah, here yeah. yet. Okay. Yeah. Waxing your body. That's for when you. Uh, yeah, I'll set that up there. Get to that. I got two huge black sharpies. I'm gonna set over there inside and throw you down. I got. Somebody sent me four fucking drinks. Why does it have to be it's four just, effing drinks? You just say because it's drinks? something I don't want. Four drinks, okay. okay. And then uh, uh, I'll throw a stupid receipt in the trash. And of course, probably a anchovy piece of shit stuffed with nothing but yeah, a stupid anchovy pizza. Uh, that seems different. Was it cut up? No, time? it doesn't. It's the same goddamn thing. Yeah, but it's in pieces. That's how it was sent. Okay. All right. I did promise you. I, was... I I did promise you that you didn't have to sample it anymore, so I'm not going to make you sample. Thank you. Come on, you thank me in one hand and then you go to the toilet in the other, but go ahead, just make it quick. Thank you. So this winter, you're coming to California to, to, um, oh, we'll see. <laughs> Where are you getting that from? When did I say that? 
Now you were talking about coming out here this this fall or winter. I didn't Maybe say I that. can get a new uh, truck this this winter. I didn't say that was coming out for sure, but yes, I'll come out at some point. So I can get my new four by four. Perry, it's going to be extremely hot today, so I've sent over sixty cases of popsicles. To you make sure you stick them in your freezer before they melt. Oh God. Do not send over 60 cases of fucking popsicles. That's ridiculous. Fucking crazy asses. Christ almighty. 60 cases. That's fucking more than a fucking uh, a restaurant needs. God, stupid shit. An itch. Hold on a second. I got an itch. I might hang up. I hope not. But let's let's. let's... Okay, we're still connected. It's fine. Don't don't worry about okay. it. Okay. Okay. Can you sample just? Be... Sample one. Yeah. Thank you. I'll sample one. I'll be kind. Excuse me. <clears throat> it tastes like Coke. That's all. Okay, so what else? Do I need to Wait, why did, keep this yeah, Why here? did you sample the one that you've sampled a million times? Are they all the same? Because the one towards the back looks no. different. Yeah, the, the, this looks like Slurpee. This yeah, is a Slurpee. So, so try the one that looks different. The, 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 that one looks orange, the, the other one. Not, not the two front. The two front ones. The two front are, are, are black colored drinks. And, and these are brown. Colored drinks. Black colored drinks is a is definitely a Coca Cola. And and uh, brown Slurpee, I have no idea what flavor that is. That's all I can say. I don't know their. I don't go to Seven Eleven. So you don't Slurpees. need. You don't need to know what flavor it is. You just need to sample it. I just need to sample it. Okay. Uh, that's like a slurpy coke. Very sweet, tangy flavor. I don't like it. Too sweet. Okay. Well, thanks for sampling, Perry. I appreciate it. Too sweet for me. It's Chubb. My boyfriend and I are role-playing the time you force kissed Dom Barris like a Jedi. Why did you do that, <sighs> BTW? Thanks. Shut Bones. the fuck up. Bones. I never force Bones. kissed Don Barris. He picked me up off the ground and dropped me on his fucking face. How the fuck does that me make it look like I'm force kissing him? Huh? How? Stop bringing that stupid shit up anyway. Fucking ridiculous. Sorry to hear about the termites destroying your credenza and all the bed bugs. That Phil guy seems like a real jerk and probably his shitty faucet. He's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Are we getting another message coming up soon? Or? Yeah, I, I, sometimes I let it breathe a little bit. Okay, you just good. Comment. good. 
it's disgusting, right. it's disgusting. So, well, you know. The the grossness is the fact that there were bugs in my in my uh, dresser, but all the bugs were dead bugs. I don't want them sending me a fucking package like that again. Hey, Perry, it's your neighbor. What the fuck are you doing over there? Are you having sex with Nick Hobbs again? What's all that noise? The fuck? I don't know a Nick Hobbs. And, and uh, I just saw Trevor leave, so... And it could be the girl on the other side, but who knows? Perry coming over in 20 minutes to shit in the tank of your toilet. Gonna be a steal. No, you're not. I am. I am. The upper. Decker. Man. No, you're not. You're not allowed in. You're not invited here. You're not allowed in here. That's all. Good day. Coming over in 20 minutes. <laughs> Come on, just go into baby mode, loser. Snort. I have ruined your shitty flea market credenza. Snort. What more do I need to do to get back my chair? What more? You're never going to get this chair back ever. Ever. How long did you have this chair? How long did he have this chair, Tom? Do you know? No, to be honest, I didn't even know who he was until we started the stream. So, no, I don't know how long he had it for. Okay. He might have had it a year. He might have had it five years or ten years. If he had it ten years, that's, that's a fucking, that's a huge compliment. But wait, how long has Twitch been on the uh, internet? Can you answer that question for me? You want me to answer? I, I, honestly, I don't know. Definitely, uh, definitely a while. Okay, so... right now i'll look it up right now i don't yeah. think he's been on since the start of twitch though i think he's been on since 2012 or something like that okay i think i'm not sure uh, twitch started in 2011 2011 okay let's say he's been a little, a little, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and say say that he had the chair since 2012 okay 12 Let's say he almost had the chair 20 years. Mm. Now it's my turn. He had the chair almost 20 years. Well, again, Tattoo artists use dead pigs to practice their work on. Why did they think you were dead? I have no idea why somebody thought I was dead. And uh, about tattoos, there's nobody touching my body with another tattoo or removing this tattoo that's on my body. End of story. I Again, money, there's not a dollar amount to fucking make me change my arm. Not a dollar amount. Not at all. Adding more tattoos on my body, not going to happen. My arm is my ID. Pros if Perry amputated his arm, he would lose 10 pounds and no one would ever have to see that shitty snowboard or tattoo again. One armed Perry rules. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. One armed Perry rules. You're a fucking asshole. A motherfucking asshole. Amputate my arm. How about we amputate your fucking head, Jagoff? A 
Imagine a fucking baseball bat bashing your face in. December 12th, 2021. For what? What the fuck did I do? God damn. I want to know why somebody wants to murder me on, on, on the anniversary of my, when my dad passed away. I don't understand this bullshit. $30 if you pour two cups of flour into the shop vats and then put it on below. Will be a cool confetti effect. Love from Sweden. I don't have any flour. I don't have any flour, okay? But you would do it if you had flour? If I had flour, I'd open the door and put flour in the uh, hose. That would be fun. All right, maybe we can send you some flour. No need. God damn. Too hot today. We'll wait till the fucking weather cools down. Christ. Snort. So I guess you liked all the slurpees. Snort. I hit the tips goal so you can expect them 24-7. Baby mode. Baby oh mode. my god. Baby mode. Snort. Get the fuck out of here, Jagoff. Prick. Send them 24-7. I don't want your fucking slurpees. Holy cow, Perry. It looks like you were hit by a professional boxer in the sides and kidneys. Cannot wait until we swim together, pal. Jay? We're not swimming together, douchebag! I heard 7-Up is your favorite soda beverage. I've got bad news, though. I learned the manufacturer of 7-Up also makes RC Cola, a.k.a. Royal Crown Cola. I don't know any of, I don't know about any of this, so I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not interested in uh, 7-Eleven drinks. Uh, you guys just like to bring them over to me and uh, make me... Uh, Go, go, cuckoo over all this sugar in these drinks. That's what you guys want to do. I'm on the verge of becoming diabetic now, and you're bringing this shit to me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I had another knock at my door. My door? <laughs> yeah, I had a knock at your door. I had to fly to California to open your door. Let me see what's going on. No, Perry, my door. My door. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My door. I said I had a knock at my door. Okay. Let's see what this is. Sorry. I thought I heard Trevor opening there and shutting his door next I love door. Getting, I love getting back to the screen and seeing you just sitting there, by the way. That's always great. Well, uh, oh, wow. Somebody, um, somebody, uh, actually it was Jesus Christ, sent me a steak. A steak? Which, a steak, yeah. Nice. Steak. Nice and healthy. Ugh. Um, uh, a cooked Very meal nice. from a good restaurant near you? Yeah, yeah. No, I just, like, literally just Very came. Good. So I'm super, um, super thankful for that. You know, I, I actually, you know, because it's, it's an afternoon, late afternoon. Um, Early stream, evening, right. So uh, I didn't really get to eat anything today. Uh, so thank you. Really appreciate mm -hmm. that. So, yeah, steak goes great with alcohol. So steak and, uh, steak and whiskey. <laughs> Uh, so there you uh, are, man. You. you got you got you got dinner right there in front of you. Very good. Yeah, thank you. It's really, really, really nice. Really appreciate it. That's uh, Jesus Christ. J uh, with a G. G Z U S K R E I S T. He's he's in the stream quite a bit. Really great supporter, and uh, I really, really appreciate awesome. that. Thank you. 
Uh, and it, it is, I'm suffering with you, Perry, because it is hot as hell in this, uh, this office I'm in, because I'm on the, uh, I'm on the fourth floor. I have the windows open, but it's not doing, it's not doing much good. It's like a 90, oh, 90 degree, 90 degrees and humid. In, uh, it in says that, so. 92 on my computer in the sun at 10 to 15 degrees. Uh, and if I was skateboarding, I would be dying. I, I wouldn't be skateboarding in the valley on a day like today. I'd be out at the beach where it's a lot cooler than it is here in the valley. Okay. Sorry. Uh, I'll move on. I'll get you okay. phone number two. By the way, uh, just to reiterate, if you're, uh, if you're out there internationally or anywhere, get your phone number. Uh, as long as you're a subscriber to Twitch, get your phone number to a moderator and Perry can call you. Wow. 106 where hero is Jesus. Can I work? Can I move the drinks over to the dining room table, please? Just leave them because... there. For now. Just leave them there for now. If you could. Thank you. Perry, the 12, 12, 21 prophecy is clear. The tattoo must be altered. Failure to do so will result in certain doom. Be smart about this, Perry. Hashtag save us. What, what, what are you gonna what are you gonna fucking do to me? Huh? I touch it my arm! The tattoo doesn't get fucking removed! Or the arm doesn't get touched! Fuck you! Oh! Bitch. Francis Slurpee, bitch Carmelo, you fuck around again. You're gonna be building a Slurpee pyramid that'll make you say, oh geez. Slurpee boys be slurping. What the fuck? Look, I put this on my body. It's my body, it's what I like. People are not going to tell me what to do to my fucking body. And nobody's going to come over here and fucking kill me on 12, 12, 21 either. Not going to fucking happen. Because if I'm not streaming that day... Perry, what are the odds you would be sexually assaulted by one casting director and blow another casting director for three SAG vouchers in the same year? I never blew anybody. Ah, oh, fucking A. Perry, how did you survive the fake pandemic from a sexual perspective? How did you fulfill your needs and bisexual urges? Masturbate? How often? Don't worry about my sexual urges. And, uh, I, I, I survived. I'm, I'm here. I'm alive, okay? When needing to go to the grocery store, I went to the grocery store. When needing to go to my doctor's, I went to my doctor's. When needing to go to my dentist, I went to my dentist. When needing to go to my auto mechanics, I needed to go get to my auto mechanics. That, that, that's how I survived. Just like everybody else, the same way. You sick bastard. How dare you say such vile things in the beautiful Italian language? Your status as an Italian is now under review. Disgrazia. Stupid. My status of being Italian is under review. Fucking, fucking ridiculous. Just look at my name, dumb fuck. Perry, you told the caller you were sexually assaulted by a casting director in 1992. The same year you had consensual sex with Randy Callahan. Never did I have anything consensual with that guy. Ever. Stop, at, stop bringing the stupid... 
Stop bringing it up. Let's get Idiots. to another call. It is Subscriber Sunday yeah. after, yes. after all. Anybody, anywhere in the world, you can submit your phone number to a uh, moderator. Um, and Perry will call you. Star six seven. Whoops. Your call no, cannot. No, 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 no. Oops, 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 oops. Hit the wrong button. Dumbass. Sorry. On again. Hello. This is Perry Caravello live. Who am I speaking with, please? Perry. It's your old friend, Corey Feldman. How are you? Who? Corey Feldman. Corey. Wow. Yeah. Hey, buddy. How you been, man? Good. Hey, can we start this call off on a good note? Can you do a famous, oh, 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 oh. The old Sam okay. Kennison scream. That was good. So, hey, Perry, I was thinking about when the Vegas event happens, the whole tattoo editing thing. There's no um, tattoo. Th dude, 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 let me explain something to you. There's nothing that's going to be touched on my arm. There's no tattoo removal of anything on my body at all, ever, 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 ever. Nothing is being edited on my body. Nothing's being removed or replaced. Anything. Okay. Uh, well, you know, that's debatable, but, um, you know, anyways, when we're in Vegas, uh, do you want to go skateboarding uh, and hang some brain like in the old days? Dude, I can't skateboard like I used to at all. All I do is when, when I go to the skate park over here in uh, uh, um, Van Nuys at the Pedlo Field or when I go to the Cove, is I just want, oh, I, I look forward to just doing axle grinds and that's it. I cannot skate like I used to skate in the old days. I can't do slide rock and rolls. I can't do, I can't uh, do laybacks like I used to do, like Jay Smith. Um, I can't do any so of that shit. That, are you saying that you're not a professional anymore? Exactly. What I'm saying is, I'm I'm just sticking with the sport because it was my love. It was a sport that I was seeking to be a pro skater, and no, I'm not what I used to be, at all. Well, Perry, that's a problem because your tattoo says professional skateboarder. It doesn't say it doesn't say professional. It just says skateboarder, snowboarder, actor, comedian. Oh, okay, Perry. Hey, before I go, can you do a truffle shuffle just like you did in the Goonies? What? I was can never you do in a the truffle Goonies. Shuffle just like you did in the Goonies. I never was in the Goonies. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you were. Don't lie, Perry. I was not in the Goonies. That was your movie, Knucklehead. Yeah, and you were there with me. No, I wasn't. Okay, Perry. You seem to be having some brain fog today, so I'll catch you in Vegas for the tattoo party, and uh, you have a good there day. There is no tattoo party. God that's almighty. That's, that's debatable. There is no day. tattoo party. Good day, Corey. Bye. Fuck. That was nice. You guys are doing what you can to try to get me to remove my arm, huh? Not gonna happen. Not nobody gonna fucking wants, happen. Nobody wants to remove your arm. Where are you getting this from? Oh, like, removing like, the tattoo to me is like removing my arm. Because oh, it'll be bloody as shit. It'll be a fucking fight that I'm gonna be having with people. And so I'm not going to Vegas. If you guys want to have your party in Vegas... See, have a good time. No, you are going to Vegas, Perry. I'm Perry? not going to fucking Vegas. No yes. fucking way. Perry, the tattoo removal might be in debate. You going to Vegas is not. You are going to Vegas because it's a Perry Curville live live event. So don't be a jerk. You are going to Vegas.
the tattoo removal is what you guys are going to dream of. I, again, how many fucking times do I have to tell you? I don't care how much money you want to give me. I don't care how many homes you want to give me. Right. I don't care what you want to give me. The arm is not to be touched again. It's my ID. End of story. Right. Okay, here's the problem. See, right now you're stream, Perry, and when you're live on the air, you're not necessarily uh, logical. You become logical off the stream, where you're like, I'm sorry I did this, or I shouldn't, Perry, listen to me. Go on. I'm sorry I did this, I'm sorry I said this, I shouldn't have acted this way, that way. And then when you look, when you break down like your finances and see how things are, how well things are going, you somehow get reasonable off air. But when you say things like, if you paid me a trillion dollars, which of course is an imaginary figure, uh, you, you, it's so silly. I mean, or how many homes, or if you buy me a new truck. I mean, obviously, I would pretty much get anything tattooed on my body for you know a certain amount of money. And I don't have, I'm not a tattoo guy. I don't have any tattoos. So for you to say that there's no amount of money that will get this tattoo removed. It's just foolish, okay? I wouldn't do it for a billion dollars. Of course you would do it for a billion dollars. Anybody would. But you're, you're in this moment now where you're raging out about it and you're not thinking clearly. But you will. So that's why I say you will willingly volunteer to do it. No one's going to force you. No one's going to hold you down. That's not going to happen. No one's talking about that. That's the goal. That's what it looks That's what the... That's no. What, that's the no. intentional did you just, goal. Did you listen to anything I just I said? I listened exactly to what you're saying. No, you didn't. Because I said that the goal is for you to want to do it willingly based on whatever... Never is there going to be a willingly... There, there's no willing of any removal okay, right. you're saying of, that of my now. tattoo. We'll see, we'll see what happens, okay? We'll see if I'm right or if uh, you're right, okay? We'll see, as I say. I don't know why I need to willingly remove my, my. I'm new here, but it's a very inspiring space. I'm learning a lot. What is the address of the pool party? I'm bringing my 12 foot bong my G. Let's go. Uh, again, pool rules. No pool party here. Absolutely, positively no pool party here. If, I, if, if, again, if I'm to have guests here, I'm only to have two guests here. Not what you guys want to have is a pool party. This is an apartment complex that you don't live in, so there's no pool party here. Not my private home. If I had a private home, that would be totally different. And I'm not going to be owning a, or living in a private home ever anytime soon. Fucking assholes. Um, Mark made a really interesting comment in the chat. He said, Tom, what amount of money for you, meaning me, to get an exact replica of Perry's tattoo? It's meaning like I'd have to get exactly what you have on your arm, on my arm. And uh, honestly, Mark, that would have to be quite a hefty sum. Uh, yeah. I, I would do it for a billion dollars. Easy, easy. And uh, probably for a lot less. But uh, that would have to be that would have to be a pretty good payday. Maybe when you're getting your tattoo removed, I get mine put on. My tattoo is not gonna get removed. Period. It's okay. not gonna fucking happen. All right, we'll see. Uh, let's call another number for subs international subscriber Sunday. By the way, no international numbers uh, yet, so uh, it's all it's all been uh, domestic so far. But uh, if you're out there, send in your number. Uh, to an to a moderator, but Perry, you have another number in, on your screen. Uh, let's go here. <clears throat> I already called three. The three one three number is a new one. Didn't I call that? No, I just put it up there. Three one three. I think. Wait, hi, on that. Wasn't that Corey? Now Isn't that Corey get, Feldman? No, Perry. Now you got. Now you got me second guessing myself. I thought I just paid. Oh no, I'm sorry. You know what? I didn't paste it in. Sorry. My bad. Okay. Sorry. See, sometimes we're all a little forgetful. 
Okay, there you go. Yes. There we go. Thank you. Hello? This is Perry Caravel Alive. Who am I speaking with, please? Oh, this is Jake. I'm about to be your new neighbor. Jake? Really? Yeah, I just got accepted into your apartment complex. I'm about to live in your apartment complex. Very nice. Very nice. <sighs> yeah, it's going to be awesome. So, since you all have two guests and I'll have two guests, that's enough for a pool party. Do you think that's not that bad? Like, you and me and two No, I'm not people? inviting anybody over here. Do not. Wait, really? There's no fucking pool party. You're going to get thrown out of here before you even fucking move in. No, I'm not, because it's only going to be you, me, and four other people. That's two guests each, bro. Come on. That's Tony Hawk for you and Tom. Or maybe like Tony Hawk and Garrett, and then me and my friends. It's not that bad. We're not going to... I don't want anybody here. Period. Good day. Fucking asshole. Goodbye. I want nobody at my house! Hey, Perry, you're hanging up on every single subscriber call on Subscriber look, Sunday. Look, Not look, acceptable. Look. There's no fucking pool party here! No fucking pool party at my complex! God damn it! But why are you hanging up on subscribers? It's not good. I'm sorry. I'm getting bad. I don't want people... I'm being disrespected here. Everybody wants to have this pool party at my complex where I had specifically got the rule that I even read the fucking rule sheet. God damn it. There is no fucking pool party here. What rule sheet? Oh, don't fuck with me. Do not fuck with me. I'm not, how am I effing with you? I just asked a question. The, I read the pool rules. There is no pool party here. You know, it's amazing what you pick and choose to remember, because that was like, what, like, I don't know, uh, over a week ago, and you have vivid memory of that, but you sometimes you can't remember something that happened an hour ago. So you have a very selective memory. I have a short-term memory no, problem. No, I know, okay? you, I know you do, but that's short-term, and you mem remember it just fine. There's some things that click and some things that don't. I do think there is a laziness factor applied to your short-term memory with some things. Whatever. Whatever. Perry, you keep getting mad. I have already told you. Tom B is going to introduce us and then we will swim at your pool. We can do chicken fights. What the fuck? No, it's not gonna fucking happen. Tom's not going to be in California until this fall. He was already out here. Or are you coming back surprisingly in a few weeks? Snort. I would say in about a month that Credenza has sawdust. Snort. I paid a lot for those termite eggs. Snort. And like an idiot, you put them in there. There's no termite eggs in my credenza. Fucking asshole. What's the bed bug update? Is it, uh, last week... Um, there was some kind of uh, concern that you might have them and you had scratches on your leg. Have they gone away? Has that issue been alleviated? I haven't uh, had any bed bugs. I, I sleep on my on my blanket. I mean, I washed my sheets and my blanket and and everything felt fine. So Okay, I, so you haven't had any like bites or no, anything like that? Okay, no. So that was, you could have just had mosquito bites or something. Yeah, I, probably. Okay, so crisis averted. So far, so good. This, this dark side fill stuff. <clears throat> Thanks for subscribing. This dark side fill bug problem. Uh, I I don't like hearing it, and uh, I'm even just gonna walk over to my 
dresser drawers and make sure it's all gone. Do you mind? Uh, if you take the camera and film it, then uh, that'll be fine. The, the, yeah, that Samsung's fine. Let's you get to talk over there. loud and narrate it for everybody. Yeah, yeah. Action. Action. Okay, I'm walking over to my bedroom, and uh, let's take a check in my dressers. Hold on, let's turn on this light so we can see in here. This is my bedroom light. Okay, dresser drawers, and there's no no uh, problem there. Nothing down there. Nothing down there. Uh, nothing in there. Nothing there. Nothing there. And I'm um, I'm absolutely positive I did not put anything in these in these drawers either. This is a dress sock drawer. This is a uh, drawer for uh, my, my ski stuff. These are my athletic socks that I wear constantly. And over on this side. On this side I've got sweater. Yeah, everything's everything's good. Everything's good. So his, his bullshit is complete bullshit. Okay, I'll turn the lamp off again his stupid improper lies is just a bunch of bullshit I'm tired of it it's garbage so dresser drawer is fine <sighs> send that to you after the stream is over actually okay. while you have that while you have that uh, there's a Related offer uh, with the phone. Hold on. Related offer with my phone? Yeah. Um, here's an offer from uh, Jay Sibes. $25 for you to take one of the Slurpees and use the phone to capture it. You know, the phone. You know, the one you just used. Open your patio door and throw it onto Reseda Boulevard. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! What, F me or F the person who sent it? The person that sent it! Well, that's Jay, and Jay has given us so many I'm gifted not subs. I'm throwing my phone anywhere, jag off! $25! Okay, first... The phone was $1,000, motherfucker! Right. A uh, couple of things. Number one, that's Jay. Jay has given us a shit ton of subscribers, so... Tough. Tough. Okay. Tough. Let me break this down for you. If you My have... My phone is not getting thrown anywhere! Okay. Again, let me just talk and then you can... See how conversation works is when one person talks, the other person yeah, listens. I started talking. No, when I was in the middle of talking, you started talking, which you do all the time. Anyway, this is how it works. I'm just going to break down a scenario for you. If you open up the patio door and you have your phone in one hand and a Slurpee in the other... Which one do you think someone would be asking you to throw out? The phone or the Slurpee? Either. No. See, the phone would be to film you throwing the Slurpee. So you jumped the gun and thought that Jay meant that you throw the phone. No. Somebody is not banging down my front door right now. Okay, we'll go answer it and then we'll return. Okay. Seems like a really nice man. Please be, please be polite to him. Who is it? Just answer the door. No more who is it. Okay, looks like a Baskin and Robbins bag. It's stapled together like crazy. More sugary shit. And this is what came. Can I Some see? ice cream. Can you, can you take it out? That looks nice. Just the ice cream? 
Ice cream with the green covering on top. Okay, can we take it off? I've so you can never, see? never seen this before. Have you ever seen that type of covering before? No, but then again, I'm not that big. I'm very basic. It's probably it pickle. It might be pickle, and if it is, it's going in the garbage. I've never heard of a uh, pickle flavored ice cream. It's weird. It's different. Can I see it again? Can you show it up close? It's. Oh. Maybe the people in the chat know. People saying avocado ice cream. I've never heard of that. Avocados. Yeah, I, 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 avocados new. Yeah, I bet that'll cool you. They're you know doing, what? I bet. Doing so, they're doing so much new shit these days. I'll tell you what, whoever sent that's probably really considerate because they knew you're hot. They know it's a high, hot day. And what cools somebody off better than ice cream? Oh, pistachio. Somebody says it's pistachio. Pistachio. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. I am very basic with ice cream. I like vanilla on the occasion I have ice cream. I like... That's about it. <laughs> I really... I'm very vanilla when it comes to ice cream. Uh, I'll do a black and white shake. I, I, like, my, I like my Trader Joe's ice cream. Because uh, without Trader Joe's ice cream, I have to take my pills. Oh, it was rusty. I like rusty. pills. Rusty Brewster sent it to you. He said it was me. Rusty Brewster. Thank you. Could thank him. Rusty, thank you. Thank you, Rusty. That's a nice one. Very, very nice. He knew, very you, nice. Knew, you knew you were sweating in there. It's a hot day. We're all sweating. Yeah. It's cooling off a little bit. I'm getting. By the way, I'm getting a bunch of messages. People panicked. Uh, didn't know that you were on early today. Uh, and I'm sorry. It was kind of a last-minute announcement that we were doing International Subscriber Sunday today. It was done for a couple of reasons. Scheduling-wise... It worked out for me and Perry uh, to do it earlier. Plus, you know, with me going back and forth to the apartment to stream, and I know people had been requesting it. Anyway, so that that's the reason for the early stream. And I'm sorry there wasn't a lot of uh, uh, advance notice. We did we did push it out on social media uh, a few days ago, but I, I'm getting a lot of messages. People wondering people wanting to know if this is a replay or not. But no, it's it's live. Sorry. Okay, Perry. I'm gonna not bad. I'm going to continue with the comments and you can do another call, okay? okay? All right. Then I'm going to move this out of the well, way. Well, actually, no, let me get back to what I was saying. No, 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 no. Mo no leave those there because this is going to come into play. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sorry. Just when you thought it was safe. Uh, oh. None Never is it safe on this stream. None of oh! your, your business says, hi, Perry. I love you and Tom B. Uh, yeah. The Slurpee offer. Thanks, thanks for reminding me. I, I almost forgot. Um, so, basically, you take one of the Slurpees, your choice, you take the phone with the other hand to film it, and you open your patio door, and you hurl the Slurpee out on Reseda Boulevard, right? That's, that's what it is. Offer accepted. Which is your better arm for throwing? My right. Okay, so you're gonna throw but with your right and film with your because left. Of the heat. Because of the heat, I gotta. Uh, I can only imagine how hot it is how, how hot it is in there because I have been in there recently and it was. Pretty bad. Okay. Okay, so how are you gonna film this? Do you wanna use the tripod, the, the one I got you, the new one? Um. Oh, you think you can hold it with your okay. phone okay? With your hand okay? You think you can hold it with your hand okay while throwing it? Because it's got to be a good video. Okay, that's Throw cool. one and hold hold the camera in the other hand? Yeah. So. Yeah, as long as you get a good, good shot of video. That's the Samsung you got there? Yes. Okay, that'll be good. So start the video now.
Okay. Get back, but really, you get try to take a good steady shot. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you go, before you go, should I'm just gonna ask the chat this: Should he say anything as he throws? Like you know, slurs you away, slurp, uh, slushy away, slurpy away. Uh, any any kind of statement that he should say as he throws it, just to add to it. Jay, by the way, Jay, it's your call if you want to pipe it. It's hot as fuck, so please. We know, we know, we know. Fire in the hole, okay. Fire in the hole! Wait, wh did that make it? I didn't go to the street, I got to the sidewalk. No, try it, we gotta get to the street. We gotta get to the street. It's not gonna get to the street! I can't throw that fucking far! Well, that was a test, that was a test. We weren't, that wasn't a real one. I didn't, I didn't even say, I, I was just looking at fire in the hole as like maybe something to say. Perry, that wasn't- It's fucking hot, it's fucking hot. Perry, it's fucking let's, hot. Let's do, let's do, let's do one more. That was a terrible throw. Come on, man. That's an embarrassing. Get a, get a better throw. You got three more there. You can do one more. Do one more. Jay wants you to smash a car with it. I'm sure he means a parked car. I'm not smashing it up against a oh. fucking car. Okay. Okay. You know what? Just get one more. Do, idiot. Do a, do a good one this time. Good throw. Before you give a good wind up, maybe throw your leg into it. You still rolling with the video, right? Uh, still rolling. One, one minute, 20, 39 seconds. All right. Fire in the hole, and bam! That's it. Is that car honking at you? <laughs> no. Okay, you can turn the video off. Two minutes. Very good. Did that one make it to the street? No, it only got to the sidewalk. I can't throw like I used to, like I was younger anymore. My arm's too fucked up for that. Wait, no, you can't. My arm's way too fucked up for that. Okay. What's the fastest you think you could throw? I can't throw shit anymore. My my fucking right side was paralyzed Not after what I'm my asking, surgery. Perry. Not what I'm asking, Perry. Not. You just said your right hand was your strong hand. Now you said your no, right hand was paralyzed. Didn't didn't you say his right? Just, my right, look, after my neck surgery, uh, <clears throat> my right side is weak as shit. Right, okay? but, didn't, but didn't he say his right side was his strong side? The right side my right side is, was, years ago, stronger than my left. Right. But I have no strength. All right, look, just... Stop trying to fucking turn me into I'm something not, strong. I am not a I'm strong not guy anymore. I'm turning you into anything, but, for, okay, for, for the sake of thoroughness can you maybe throw one from your left arm just to see the difference see if that makes the street come on yeah. you look fucking retarded now well i'm not touching that one uh let's just get a really good good throw there's not gonna can, be I, a fucking it's not gonna be a good throw at all. Well, we're, we're, us. we're using the other hand, so maybe this is better. So, be. so make sure. Are, are you using the other hand? I can't see. I'm opening up the door. I haven't turned the damn thing on yet. Okay, but you're using the other hand, right? I can't see what hand is in which. I'll do the left hand. Yeah, left hand. Throw this one out. Yes. Thank you. Uh, get outside, you way, fucking flies, goddammit. By the way, Perry, before you do this, what? Jay, said what? He gave, okay, Jay said he gave you an extra 10 because you're trying real hard. He originally offered, the original offer was 25, he brought it up to 35 because you're doing a great job. So that's what happens, you're rewarded. Go ahead. Go 
ball landing on the sidewalk. Dude, I have no strength to throw for the shit anymore. Stop talking down about yourself. That looked like that looked like the better throw. It sucks. It still sucks. Okay, stop talking down about yourself. That's a right. it's a long distance action. I mean, if you got it to the sidewalk, it's pretty good. It's all the the, the we're all three of them got just to that's the that's good. Harry, that's good. I don't like when you talk down about yourself. That you did a good job. Thank you. <clears throat> It's just freaking scorching out there, okay. Video off. Okay. Gonna shut the blinds now. That dipshit Phil thinks he's gonna take his chair back. And it's no longer his chair, it's now my chair. So the dipshit Phil better learn to be a real man and, and uh Well you know what? I, you know what you know what I think honestly? I think he's panicked because Friday you were raging, you know, there's been a couple of times in recent history where you've been raging out and basically gift wrapping him uh subscribers and followers, people leaving your channel, but today you're doing really good. And he's panicking now, like, because he wants the baby mode. That's way too bright. Can you close the blinds a little bit? It's way too bright. You know what I'm saying, Perry? Like, he's panicked now. When you do, when you do good, that's good. That's good. Leave it shut like this or open it up a little bit? Like, that's, right? No, see, that's too much. Go back. That's good. That's the good. sun's coming down on that side. That's no, why. No, you're good. Right now it's good. Right now it's good. Okay. Right now it's good. Yeah, the sun's coming down. And there's a crack in one blind. Okay. 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 Here we go. Finish off this ice cream. Thanks for subscribing. Perry, what is your workout routine? You are big fat slobbing outside of energy drinks and Randy Callahan's come. What is your secret, you loser? Workout routine. Normally when I'm in the gym, it's six sets of bench. Uh, six sets bench pressing. Six sets of uh, pull down. Six sets of curls. Uh, my weights, bench weight, I'm lucky if I could bench, what, um, between 45 and 75 pounds, I think. I mean, I, I tried to do 75 pounds the other day, and I was barely able to do one rep. When I used to be able to bench uh, 205 and 225 before the uh, – the, uh, disc replacement surgery so it's it's yeah it's just so after the disc replacement surgery in my neck it was uh i was a lot stronger so and then uh, i did pull downs i, I sometimes work my life i saw you liked the photo of my teats on instagram when will yo come out and hang out in hollywood get out of that disgusting apartment Oh, very nice of you to come on, Sophia. Very nice. <clears throat> Aren't you married, though? Or do you want to hang out with me? I mean, if you want to hang out with me, I would love to hang out with you. But I, again, if it's if you're if you're a married woman, I I would prefer you staying married to who you're married to. I mean, I got a crush on Scarlett Johansson, but uh, I also like you too. I have nothing against you in any way, shape, or form. Thank you for subscribing. Jay, thank you. Thank you for the subs. Thank you very much. 
See, and he probably sent, he's definitely sent that in before you even did his uh, offer. So again, that just goes to show you how cool Jay is and what a valued uh, member of the PCL family he is. So thank you, Jay, as always. Thank you very much, Jay. Snort. Maybe if I brag every stream about blowing a casting director, Twitch will give my chair back. Snort. You. What the man, fuck? I destroyed the credenza. You're not going to get your chair and you're not going to get my credenza, motherfucker. There's no bugs in my house. Fuck you with your stupid bug routine. Thank you for the five subs. Thank you very much. Terry. When somebody gives you mm. five subs, give a good... I said thank you. No, you said thank you for the five subs. Like, you're almost... Well, I mean, like, I'm eating... I mean, I'm, I'm trying to finish off this ice cream. Okay, I, I get it, Perry. But you can put the ice cream down to acknowledge that somebody just gifted five subs. And again, f subs are five bucks. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you. So that's 25 bucks somebody spent. You know, I mean, that's... It, it's... Thank you. It's worth acknowledging in a bigger way than thank you for the fire subs. That's all I'm saying. You're getting in my face. You're ripping me a new asshole. I know how you are. No, I'm, uh, Perry, I'm just telling you, it's it goes a long way to be grateful for things when somebody does something nice for you. I'm very grateful for everybody that comes on the stream and watches our stream, that subs that sends us money on our stream. Very grateful and very thankful. Okay, extremely. Right. So when you say thank you for subscribing, that's, you know, I get that that comes up a lot. But when somebody gifts you, somebody's gifting five subs to random people who may turn into be subscribers themselves. So it's just worth acknowledging like, hey, that's great. You're helping pay my bills. You help keeping a roof over my head. Like this is how, this is your job. This is how you right. make a living. So it, it's nice. Yes, and I'm very, very thankful to everybody. Very thankful. More, more, more. <laughs> More subs and more money is more, more happiness for the, all of us. Perry, I'm confused by the stream start times. Can we try to sync your fans by calling your local time Perry start time PST? I'm Detroit, which is PST3. Um, well, we changed 12 noon on Sunday to see if, how, how it works today. To see if 12 noon is going to be a, a good starting time for us on uh, every Sunday. So uh, today is International Subscriber Sunday. No, we're not going to go to 12 noon permanently. It's a once in a while thing for international okay. fans. But anyway, okay. we, we are toying with a 2 p.m. Pacific start for Sunday. 2 p.m. is what I feel should be the start time on Sunday. 2 p.m. I think that would work for okay. everybody. But a lot of people still like... Uh, the 5 p.m. start. Uh, but anyway. Yeah. 2 p.m. Yeah, 2 p.m. sounds good, too. Possibly. Not all the time, just every once in a while? Or, or how do you want to work that? I, I think I think two, my personal opinion, I'd, I'd like to get feedback from, because I, I value the feedback from uh, uh, everybody else out there. I think 2 p.m. on a Sunday would be the sweet spot. Okay? And here's why. Here's, okay. 2 p.m., obviously good for West Coast people. you got to consider the other time zones. You know, I'm on the East Coast. Two p, you know, 5 p.m. start means 8 p.m. on um, right. the East Coast. And 2 p.m. here is 5 p.m. by you. 8 p.m. is a little tough for people because they're, you know, whatever they're doing. They're, they're sleeping. Getting, they're well, sleeping. Not, no, no. What lunatic is sleeping at 8 p.m.? No. Nobody's sleeping. No, I'm talking, I'm talking uh, 8 p.m., your time would be a different hour in in England or in well England in Australia. Different. Yeah, what, right? You got to give some consideration for any, like you know. Right. Still, still, even today, uh, twelve p.m. That's eight p.m. for England, right? Uh, and, okay. and a lot of Europe. So, and later in other parts of Europe. So, eight p.m. is tough. Uh, you know, even for me, like when I, you know, the streams go long or whatever, it's it's a little rough. So. I think Is somebody at my door because I'm hearing knocking. Well, I don't know. Let me check real quick. Hello. 
No. Nobody's at your door. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm hearing. But anyway, um, there's this thing where it's hard to get a complete. It's hard to please everybody, basically, because you know, like 12 p.m. is right. for Australians. We got a huge Australian following. It's hard to please everybody globally. But anyway, I think 2 p.m. start. I don't know when we're gonna start uh, start it. You know, maybe sometime in July. But I think we lock in at some point and see how it is. See how people like it. You know, I'm I'm, a, I'm amenable to changing it if uh, people don't like right. it. I think. T- sure. So, but most people are saying in the chat that they dig the uh, uh, the 2 p.m. start time, and we'll still once in a while do a 12 p.m. or maybe even an 11 a.m. start uh, for International Subscriber Sunday because that would at least mean 7 right. p.m. for. Because the thing about right. 8 p.m. is most people are winding down their day. If you got kids, you're still getting your kids exactly. settled. It's it's tough. It's tough. Anyway, we'll, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but. I think 2 p.m. would be the sweet spot. And then still keep 5 p.m. for Wednesday and right. 6 p.m. for Friday. Right. Ugh. Just got a brain freeze. Forgive me. Mm. Wow. That Just got a brain Wednesday. freeze. Yeah. Perry, I was hired as your tattoo artist. I booked my flight and will be coming over tomorrow at 5.30 a.m. to do your tattoo. Can't You're not to touching you. my arm! Fuck you! Sorry. You're not touching my body. Nobody's removing anything off my body. So many plans on coming over here. What, what, did you pay somebody to fly out to uh, remove my uh, tattoo? No. Well, guess what? Again, stop bringing up you want them to have my tattoo removed because it's not going to happen. We'll see. Not going to fucking happen ever, ever, ever. Thank you very, very, very much for the five subs. Five subs, yeah. Thank you. That's better. And Mo and Drip's another absolute VIP in the channel and has been extremely uh, generous. So thank you, Mo. And now that I'm done with ice cream, I can be more attentive to what's on the screen. Perry, I've made plans for two live crew to play at your pool party on July 4th. What? Please be prepared cater for the group. There is no fucking pool party. How many fucking times do I got to tell people? You're not going to have a puck. Move to Norco. We'll send a trash team for your stuff and forensic clean. We'll have clean problems for celebs before. Start fresh. In Norco, oh, oh, oh. oh. I, I am not moving to Norco. I'm not leaving Reseda. Kabish, thank you. Move to Norco. Forget it. I never understood what you meant by force kiss. I get it now. You are so angry at Daisy Ridley because you use the force better to rape kiss Don. Get the fuck out of here. God damn. The fucking guy picks me up off the ground and drops me on his fucking face. Making my lips meet his lips. That's what happened. God damn. Stop saying I kissed Don because I never kissed Don. And you got another number you want me to call? Can I go pee first? If you don't mind? If you absolutely have to, go ahead. Yeah, I was trying to give you another. Uh, Thank you. Okay. If you absolutely have to. Okay, Perry, I, I put the uh, next number in your uh, window. 
Do you just have that window up the whole stream? You don't minimize it? What are you talking about? The chat window. I, where just, I, just, I just minimized it, and now I put it back up. Okay, I got you. Okay. 367. 404, correct? Thank you. Hello? Hello? Hey, Perry. Hey, who, who am I speaking with? This is Perry Curville Live? Hey, Perry. Um, my name is Zub, and I'm from New York. I don't think we've ever spoken together, have we? No, we have not. So listen, Perry, um, I wanted to get in touch with you. I'm basically doing an autobiography for you, but it's freelance. And I figure if I make money, I give it right to you. Does that sound okay? H how are you doing an autobiography of me? Well... I have information from you from the internet and Wikipedia. The reason I'm calling is there's some stories I don't want. It's to not all true. It's sure not all true. The shit that you see on Wikipedia and on the internet is not all true. Exactly. Exactly. So there are a couple of things I don't want to add in the autobiography, and I want you to sign off for me. Is that cool? That all depends. I. So I do not. I do not want to include the 1992 incident. Do you Thank agree? Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. To, yes, thank you. I mean, remove I think if that. People hear about that; they're going to get the wrong idea. I don't want to include it. Okay. Thank you. Okay, and I also don't want to include the time that you said Don was dead and then lured him to the comedy store. I don't want to include. Right. That. You okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. okay. Thank you. And then the final, the final thing here, Perry, is I've come across some stories from some people, and I told them, look, Perry doesn't have a lot of money. I want to add your stories to the autobiography. Is there something else he can do? And they said they wouldn't mind if you just apologized. Are you cool with that? Apologize for what? Well, I spoke to this woman called Lisa Marie, and she said you're a great guy, but one time you said you ate her ass, and that wasn't true. That she was, was one look, look, I apologized to Lisa Marie Bullock years ago about this, and if she's going to keep bitching about the same stupid redundant, ridiculous remark. I mean, fuck. Okay, I'll take care of it, Perry. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Another person that wanted uh, just a slight apology was uh, Neil Lee. Do you want to apologize to him? For what? He said that one time he came to your apartment and tried to help you clean, but uh, you weren't very supportive or appreciative, so he just wanted a quick sorry. Well, well what's, what's what? I don't want him cleaning in my house. I don't want him in my house. I don't want, I look, I am a very particular person. I have an organization that's a little funky, but it's organized in the way I like it organized, okay? When Tom Brennan was in town, he helped me clean up a lot of stuff here, and it's a lot more organized than, uh, than I've normally kept it, okay? A lot better organiz organized. But nobody else is allowed in my home to clean. Okay, I'm going to tell Neil Leeds to not show up then. Fair Neil Leeds is not allowed here. Okay, understood. Now, this one I said no to, but I just wanted to run it by you. Mole wanted an apology because you keep saying you're not best friends. But I just Mole can kiss, kiss my ass! Okay, I'll take care He's of that. He's not my fucking friend. He never was my fucking friend. All he keeps doing is saying, oh, I'm his best friend. Because he's got no friends agree. except for that bag of weed that he keeps smoking. That's his best fucking friend. 100% agree. I'll take care of it. I got a call from a representative from haagen who wanted an apology. Any interest in apologizing to haagen -Dazs? What? No, no, dice. haagen apology for what? Something about fecal... I don't know what they were talking about. They said something about fecal matter and you walked in and I don't know what he was talking about. So, look, But I said I'd run it by you. Look, when... I lived in Palm Springs. I was very ill at those in those a, those days. Okay, I knew the owner of Hagen Dazs back in Palm Springs. He was one of my school teachers. Him and his wife were both school teachers, and they built the the ice cream store Hagen Dazs. 
I mean, okay, God, I, I mean, what's well, well, why do I need to apologize now? So what? Forty fucking years later. I totally agree. Totally agree. Jesus um, Christ. I got a call from the state of California. They wanted an apology. Any interest in apologizing to them? For what? I don't know. They said something about you getting a paycheck from them every month for like 20 years for like 750 bucks. I don't know what he was talking about. I said I'd run by you. Shut the fuck up. It's, it's complete. It's a fucking lie. Okay. I'll take care of it. And then finally, Perry, last last one, Dimitri Moreland wants an apology. And Dimitri he- Moreland can kiss my motherfucking ass. Everybody wants to, to apo- wants me to apologize. Fuck this apology bullshit, because it's all a scam. It's all a fucking scam. The fuck with me. I don't I don't want to actually tell Dimitri that you he can kiss your ass because I feel like he is a fucking nutcase. Leave it. Uh, I leave it there. He's a fucking nutcase. Okay. All right. So it sounds like there's zero apologies from what I'm gathering. Yeah, I'm, I don't need to apologize to anybody that needs to. Fuck. If Lisa Marie was in front of me, I would apologize to her. That's nice. Okay. I'll let Lisa Marie know that you that you're still you still feel bad for what happened, but I'll tell everyone else, including Mold, to go fuck themselves. Sounds Thank good. Thank you. Okay. You got it, buddy. And um, I think you're doing a great job. Keep Thank it you. Up. Thank you. And, you know, consider consider maybe giving Tom a raise because I just think he's doing a really good job. And for my you. calculation, he might, he's probably spent six figures on you. So I think a raise is, is due. What do you say? Season three raise for Tom B? He spends a ton of money on me. So well, just, thank you. My, my, only, my only advice is, is this, then. Let's sign off with this. Tom does a great job. I know sometimes the offers piss you off, but think about it, Terry. The offers make you money. They make your rent. Even if they're in- Dude, I, I know what you're talking about, okay? But there are certain things that I will not do, okay? I think, look, if it's anything sexual, don't do it. But other than that, you got to be open to it, man. Especially if What do you think funny. I've been doing? Oh my god! I, I was rewatching the stream yesterday. You got paid. You were offered five hundred bucks to paper shred your Mike, Michael and Dell towels, and you said no. Oh fuck you! Remember that? It won't fucking go through a shredder. Towels don't go through a shredder. They don't yell at me. I'm writing your autobiography for. Free. You're a fucking idiot. You're not allowed to write my autobiography because I won't allow it to happen. Then I'm writing it on How much money are you fucking paying me to write my autobiography? You don't know shit about me, motherfucker. How much money are you going to pay me to write my autobiography, motherfucker? Then go fuck yourself, you fucking loser. You motherfucker. Not paying me shit to write about me, cocksucker. He's a fucking crook, and I don't want it. $75 to wax an eyebrow. Another $50 to draw it back on with the Sharpie. Get the fuck out of here. It'll never happen. No waxing my eyebrows, ever. No waxing my eyebrows at all, weirdos. No waxing my eyebrows and no removal of my tattoos. Period. You know, not for nothing, but this might be a record. It's another subscriber that you hung up on. He's an asshole! (laughs) Okay, Perry, in your opinion, but still, you know, we don't want to uh, make a habit of hanging up on subscribers. Harry, you have been rude to me. Just want to be your friend. I will still buy you water socks. What is your shoe size, buddy? Hash slim with Jay. My shoe size is a size 11. Why? Excuse me. All the soda that's in my body. Oh, I'm going to get that harm. Thank you for the $5 donated. 
Oh, I'm going to get. No, you're not going to touch my arm. The arm is not to be touched. Period. Perry, at her July 4th pool party I will do what you did to Tom Brennan and punch your ass into the pool. I'm also going to shit in her bed. See you then. You're not allowed here, motherfucker! Sick son of a bitch. Who is your favorite porn actor? You talk a lot about gay porn actor open mic. Is he your favorite? He is extreme for my taste, but you do you. I don't have a I don't I don't have a favorite porn actor. Uh, I mean, I, I've, I've known a few of them, but but I mean, I'm not I, I don't hang out with those people anymore. Can you ever just answer a straight question? Can you, you know, just, who are some of your favorites? Who is some that you've enjoyed? Victoria Gibbons was one of my favorite girls. She was also a, a, a strip club dancer here in the Valley. I mean, uh, uh, that's Victoria. Jenna Jameson is another girl that I knew from the Rainbow Bar and Grill as well as uh, from the strip clubs and, and uh, porn movies. Um I'd also occasionally run into Ron Jeremy in, in uh, on the Sunset Strip. Um, <clears throat> those are the basic three that I knew. I mean, there's a lot of them out there that uh, that uh, I met at the one one porn porn show, um, the AdultCon.com event. They did in Woodland Hills, and then they did it again at the LA. Perry, have you declared your stream lab earnings to the Social Security Administration? You can be fined up to two hundred fifty thousand dollars if you don't declare. Plus, listen, don't worry about it. Everything's handled by my accountant. Okay. And my cousins take care of my finances as well. Mind your own business. Thank you for subscribing. Perry, I am ABIP. Look at my sub donation total. Call me King J. You are Perry, my lowly slave. We will swim in your pool because I said so. You might be King J, but you're not swimming here. Gabish? I thank you for all the all the kind words and all the donations and stuff, but I am not having a pool party, and I'm not having friends over to go swimming. Uh, you know, Jay makes a good point, though. He is a very generous. Again, uh, what what if it's very, just Jay? What if it's just Jay? That's one person. Again, one person. I am not having people over. To go swimming. Right. You, I don't trust people. anybody. You're saying people plural. What if it's just one person? I don't want. I, I don't know this guy personally. Okay. Have you gone He's food shopping? He's a fan. You, Perry, He's a fan. Excuse, excuse me. Excuse me. Have you gone food shopping at all this week? Uh, In the past ten days, have you gone food shopping? The answer is yes. I don't. Yes, you. I, don't I don't remember. I think so. I, okay, I don't remember. Probably. Okay. My point is. Jay has contributed to that. Jay has contributed to your bills. Jay has contributed to a lot of things. If he wants to go swimming in the pool, you could be a good guy and just say, yes, you can come. It doesn't mean there's a party, but maybe just he can come by himself. But I'm not going... I didn't invite him over. I mean, we, we are not having a get-together or nothing. So, no, I'm not interested. Okay, again... You can you can invite him over, and it's, it doesn't mean you have to have a party. I'm just saying, just think about it. Just think of it. He has done a lot. He's, he's super generous. I know I appreciate Jay. I'll call him King Jay for now on. That's his new name, King Jay. 
All right, King J to you, but he's J to me. I, no, not, he's King no. J to you more than me because he's not he's not paying my bills. He's paying your bills. Come on. King All J. Right. You can call him King J. Okay, I'll call him King J for the day. Just hold up your hands and, and bow down and say, all hail King J. All hail King J. God. Come on. He's all around. hail King J. All hail King J. Thank you. Thank you, J. Happy National Pineapple Day. I was going to send a pineapple pizza but he'll give an IOU instead. If him ever in the area he'll treat you to lunch. Uh, well, why, when, and where? Why do you want to treat me to lunch? When do you want to treat me to lunch? And where do you want to take me to lunch? Hey, Richard, it's your dad. Do you think Perry would mind if we brought a deer we found on the side of the road to grill up for the pool party? I don't want your fucking road kill, and I don't want to have... Um, there's no pool party. There's no fucking parties at my building. God damn it. Fuck. When are we doing the anniversary celebration? June 26, 1992 holds a special day in our hearts and a special place for Randy inside you. Hashtag tips for tomb. There is no celebration of that day ever, ever, ever. Sick fucking bastards. You guys may want to celebrate it thinking that it's a great day, but it's not a great day in my eyes. Bonjour. In France, we are gathered at the Eiffel Tower watching the stream. Please tell the 92 story in French accent so they can understand the words. Not going to happen. It is it international. Ain't gonna it, happen. Harry, just hold on a second. It is International Subscriber Sunday, and Perry, hold on. Put the phone down for a second. Put the phone Fuck. down. Can you can you just maybe? I know you did it for the last time the other night in English, but with a French accent for the French international fans. We've never had a French caller, by the way. Uh, <clears throat> this would be a good. This would be a good way to. We haven't had one international call, by the way. All all the international callers are shy today. I've gotten a couple messages like, "I want Perry to call me, but I'm shy." <laughs> so. Which, uh, you know, is fine. I understand that. But do do the French accent and tell tell them the only to... the only way I the only way I I, I only know how um, uh, the French accent goes by the way that cartoon character. Uh, okay, so do it that. But stick to the accent and tell the ninety two story for the nice French people. They're watching at the Eiffel Tower. See, see, last time I tell the ninety two, the nineteen ninety two matter that ever happened to me. There is no more, and uh, uh, there is no more ever, 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 ever again matter after tonight. So I will answer an ad. I definitely answered an ad in the penny saver that says, if you want to become a film star, dial disease number, you know. So uh, <clears throat> I, I wanted to change my line of work and possibly uh, become an actor. But I was doing open mic comedy at the time, and uh, I figured, okay, uh, for open mic comedy, going into regular acting, let's see if this works. So uh, I did a a, uh, a billboard ad for a, uh, a hospital in San Diego called Alvarado Hospital at Magic Mountain Studios. Okay, we're all standing, uh, all dressed up like doctors and nurses and shit, and standing on this like forty foot high platform. Um, God, between the hours of like 8 p.m. and 5 in the morning that night. Where's the accent? Where's the accent? Oh, 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 oh. forgive me. Start over. Forgive Start me. over. 
Start from start over. Well, you lost the accent. It's supposed to be for the accent for the I French fans. I am very, very, I am very, very sorry. Okay, I don't, I don't. Start uh, forgive from the me. Top. Take it from the top. Come on, stick well, to the I'm not the one who lost the accent. You did. The French fans are saying to redo it. They're all gathered by the Eiffel Tower, apparently. So come on. Forgive me. I got to sound like I did an ad in the Penti Sever. And I, uh, the, 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 I went to the studio. Uh, I mean, I met, I met this uh, gentleman. And then he uh, sent me up to the studio, the Magic Mountain Studio. We make, we, we do an ad for a hospital in San Diego called Alvarado Hospital. But there was a look-alike woman there, or a woman that I thought looked alike, uh, a Shannon Dorte. Okay, the San Androte and I was kind of hanging out a little bit in the evening, but as as the evening ended and it was actually the next morning, uh, uh, she asked me to for directions away from the Magic Mountain Studio, and I just said to follow me back to the freeway. And as I get on to the freeway, I pull over. She pull over behind me. I asked her if she's fine. She says she knows where she's going. I reached my head into the car to give her a good night kiss on the cheek. She freaked out and moved her entire body to the other side of the car. I backed away. I apologized. Then I get a phone call the next day, uh, kind of a wake up call. And uh, the the uh, uh, chap that calls me is uh, the the uh, casting director named uh, you know who, Randy Callihan. So uh, I, I go into the office. He, he calls me and tells me to come to the office. That uh, he, he's got uh, another job for me. And I thought the job was auto detailing his car. So I go into the office and I ask and I uh, say that I'm going to the, I'll be more than happy to detail your car. And he says, no, wrong type of job. And he's staring at my crotch. And I got very nervous. And I says, I'm not going to suck your dick. You're losing the accent. You're losing the accent. He says, I am mean, the, and I say, oh, oh no, it's not going to happen. And then he says, okay. And he says, uh, you don't suck your mine. I goes, I suck yours, and you was shucking me off. And then he goes, I give you a job tomorrow working with uh, Christina Apogate. So I, I, uh, I, I try to bargain the DL. But uh, he won a ZDL. He ended up giving me orals, or, oral, oral, say X, say X. And uh, I had to shuck him off. And uh, that's, the, that's the end. That's the end. Thank you. No, it's not the end. You got to say what happened. I did that! No, you said what was going to happen. You didn't say what was I happen. said he, he ended up sucking my dick and I had to jerk him off. Okay, I thought we get into a little more detail. Okay, that's fine. Uh-huh. Um, here's an offer. Faster Blade yeah. is offering $10 to take two googly eyes. Now, the eyes you got in Mailbag Friday, the, uh, Friday, the googly eyes. Two googly eyes on the back of the cabinet above the microwave and then tape a banana peel under the eyes to use as the mouth. That's kind of fun. Tape two googly eyes? Two googly eyes where where the kimchi was, basically. So two googly eyes above on the cabinet and then underneath you're going to use a banana peel and tape that and use as the smiling mouth. I think that's a fun one. How do I tape a banana peel? Very easy with clear tape. You mean tape the entire banana up all below? It didn't say the banana, it said the banana peel. So technically you could eat the banana and just put the peel under it as long as it's shaped as like a, you know, some kind of mouth. It doesn't have to be smiling, it can be in any real position, just as long as it serves as the mouth.
Let's do the googly eyes first. People are calling this I the kim- in my hands. Okay, let's do those first. People are calling this the kimchi memorial. Yeah, and uh, Elbow75 makes a good point. Take two of the biggest eyes, the biggest eyes in there, so everybody can see it from a distance. Find the two biggest ones. First. Yes. Like, people at home need to use the bathroom. Now would be a good time. Yeah, because this is pain in the ass. There's tape off of this. Why don't you just use a box cutter or something and just... They want to open this without ripping it to shreds. Boy, I thought that would really take care of it. Yeah, XM, go, go pee, we'll fill you in what happened. See, you should have done this from the uh, onset and yeah. it would have been more efficient. Oh, Faster Blade confirms says it's gonna be a peeled banana. Not banana peel. Okay, so it's the banana itself without the peel. Got it. I gotta get one egg, one eye. That's good. See that that's the size that works. Yes. People are asking how is this taking so long? Because it's for the first time that the box was opened, one. Okay, and then you and, have to name. Um, it. Faster Blade says you have to name it after, so we can do after it's done. We can find a name for it. Where are you going? Hit my tape. You don't need to tape the eyes. They should be able to peel off and stick by themselves. I the got the bananas up there, don't I? Right, but let's do the. We agreed to do the eyes first. How do you peel off these eyes? Uh, it's been a minute since I've used one of these, but if memory serves, they should just peel off the back for a sticky underside. You know, like you'd peel a sticker or something? Yeah, but... This is... Even my nail's not grabbing it. Okay, it should be self-adhesive. Like... Right, you gotta re you gotta remove the sticky part on the bottom. Right. Well you remove the protector part that reveals the sticky part. Right. The wax the waxy part is what gets peeled up. This cardboard thing is bitch. <laughs> hey, prove Belushi sushi wrong. He says there's zero percent chance Perry has the dexterity to peel the sticky part off the eyes. Well, the way these are... Uh, 
This is almost impossible. Fuck. Are you getting it at all? Like, does it look, is it possible? No, it's not, it's not, Can you not allowing it? me to grab it at all. Is it possible that these are not, these, these don't have any kind of a glue on the back? Is it that's that what I'm afraid of. Is that, is it possible? Is it like, other, cause that's, if that's true, then we'll just tape them. But I, I would think for sure that they would have some kind of, can you just show it to the screen real quick? Is there anything to pull on or anything? Cause it's possible. There's the eye. There's the backside. Okay. They should all stick. Somebody said that they should stick, but some of these I may, maybe require glue because it's arts and craft. I don't have glue. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put glue up on the. How are your fingernails? Do you, do you have any long fingernails or longish to grab it? I'm trying to get a nail underneath. My nails are short. Just cut them the other day. But no, they, these are not. These are not. Uh, All right. Why don't we use tape? Why don't we use tape? They're not. They're not. Uh, let's let's just use tape. Let's just use tape. Won't look as nice, but we'll try the tape. Try to get two in one piece of tape. Not right on top of each other either. Space it out a little bit. I don't rip this down right away. Like leave this up a little bit so people can see it. Like after today. Oh man, I am dying in here. That's good. Okay, so now take a take a banana and peel it. Don't eat it. Peel it. You're just gonna take the banana part and use that as the mouth and tape that. Don't peel it, just put the banana. No, that's not what I said. Peel it and put the banana, the banana without the peel as the mouth. That's gonna be almost impossible. No, it's not. It's gonna be very possible. Just do a good job of peeling. Don't break it. I said it almost. I said almost impossible. Okay. It's not even the neighborhood of impossible. Peel it all the way down so you get a clean pull. He doesn't have any eggs, otherwise we'd use that as the nose. Okay. You should be able to tape that right down the center. It looks good. Not gonna stay. Well, make it stay. It's not. I'm okay. gonna try. See, Perry, you're not good at taping these things. I would have gone down the center. Just go down the center in the middle. A vertical piece of tape down. You gotta have tape underneath it to hold it. That, well, make it yes, stand. top to bottom, right in the center, would have had it covered instead of going sideways like that. But that looks pretty good. Can we see the final result? 
That looks good. That looks good. Leave it alone. Facet, leave it alone. Okay, now the important part. What do we name? What do you want to name it? Give it a name. Banana Woody. Woody? Is that... Is it's that... Some wood. The banana. Is that what you want to name it? Can you point to it? Can you point to it and say, like, give it to Don? Banana Woody. It's my banana Woody. And it'll be coming off at the end of the stream. No, it won't. I just asked you to keep it and up. it's coming off because I'm not getting bugs on my fucking wall. It's protected in tape. Can we just see it on Wednesday? And I got bugs up there, you fucking imbecile. Okay, you, see, why are you calling me names? What did we talk about with you yelling at me and calling me names? Okay, listen to me. Bananas have sugar in them. They're natural sugar, yes. But bananas, the sugar will create a factor that will make this fucking place infested with fucking a a ants. Okay, I am I not leaving that up there after this stream. Can I tell you something? Can what? You sit down? Can I tell you something? I'm gonna tell you, please sit down. What you just said was a very reasonable and logical and well thought out reason why to take it down after the stream. And I Thank agree you. with you. That's the, see, that's, that was the explanation to give first rather than calling right. names. Okay, so the bug factor, you don't want to get fruit flies. And you know what? I understand that. See, I thought the tape, ants. I thought the tape, ants aren't going to make it up there, but I thought the tape covering it might protect it. But you know what? They're right. You're right. That's, that's fair. Fair is fair. Thank you. Thank you. See, the, the, when I say there's nicer ways to go I about got, explaining, a... there's mm -hmm. nicer Excuse ways me. to go about understand uh, uh explaining things and that was far more articulate than just screaming and calling me names okay all right sorry for getting in your face i i am sorry for pushing something on you that could possibly uh invite uh bugs because i wouldn't want i wouldn't Thank want you. that but but that looks nice right then can you at least admit that it looks kind of cute right now yeah i guess i guess Okay, let's move on. I'll leave the eyes up, but I gotta take the banana down. That, that's fair. That's fair. Okay, leave Thank the you. eyes up, and we can we can find something to put a mouth on it. Maybe every stream. All right. Thank you for subscribing. Vermus and Perios rotten December twelfth, twenty twenty one. What the fuck is Vermus and rotten? Say it in English. What does it mean in English, please? Perry is your respectful, loving pal, Wes, most. What did I miss? Call me and let's have a chat. Please do not bring up 1992 or your tattoo removal. There's no tattoo removal! Thank you, uh, thank you, dude, but there's no tattoo removal. Okay, well, Nothing... Okay, why don't you give him a call? The number's in your uh, chat. He did pay $30 for the privilege. 702? Yes. Thank you. Okay. 67. I had the exact same number when I lived in Canoga Park. But it was an 818 area code. Hello? Westmos. Hey, Perry, what's going on, pal? Not much, Big Daddy. Hey, you know what? I'm looking at your <laughs> phone number real, real quick. Real quick. Real quick, I'm looking at your phone number, and that's the exact same number I used to have when I lived in Canoga Park. I don't think we have the same phone number. Not the, not, not the area code, but the prefix and the regular number was my phone number, exactly like that. We know what that means. We're basically kindred spirits, but I've always oh, known please. that, Perry. <laughs> um, but, but did you call me Big Daddy when we first got on the phone? I think I did. Okay, Possible. that's cool. Uh, so, hey, I'm watching with my kid right now. 
Okay. We were out. It's 111 degrees here in the Pacific Northwest, record heat. Uh, uh, but it looks like you're staying cool. With dude, the I'm melting over here. They, they won't allow me to turn my AC on. Dirty bastard, Perry. because I was stupid on the last stream. Perry, 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 I'm watching with my kid right now. He's normally not here when I do these calls. Right. And I would love it if we could show him the respect that I like to try and teach him that people don't talk over each other. So... You know, let me finish my thought, and then you'll get your chance. Because we established a long time ago that when these calls start, I'm in charge. And right now, he's looking at me like I'm a fool because I'm trying to talk, and then you're just talking. It's not setting a good example for him or any other kids that happen to be watching. And above all else, if PCL is anything, it's an educational lesson for people about how not to run their lives and, and how not to behave. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, indeed. All right. When when someone well, I was done, well, okay, now I was talking again. But please, Perry, uh, I would like to update you on my week real quick before we before we get into an update on yours. And I mean, I told you about the John Diaper party yesterday. That really upset me. I don't know what you're talking about about a John Diaper. Well, party. let me let me explain it, Perry, because yesterday I don't know if you know this, but yesterday was the 29 year anniversary of you getting into show business. That much I know. I, no, I don't know I, you said you weren't going to bring it up anymore. Perry, Perry, I'm not bringing it up. I'm not bringing it up at all. I'm John Diaper had the party. Actually, John actually, oh, I got into show business a lot uh, earlier than the first time I did an extra role. Okay, mm -hmm. I started mm -hmm. doing open mic comedy from 1988. Yeah, that's not show sure, business. Any asshole. Can get up and do open mic. You know, any any jackass can get up and throw a box or you know tell a joke about beating a woman. But like to really to really get in and get your hands dirty, if you will, and and uh, and really just make the people happy. You know, Whatever. keep coming back for more. That's show business, baby. Okay. You got in the show business twenty nine years ago yesterday, correct? I guess. Um, you guess. Come on, you're you're being slight. Yeah, I, I say I guess. I say I guess because that was the year I was abused. Well, now technically you say abused, but and again we've agreed to this it's, before. It's called sexual assault. It's called sexual well, assault. I didn't ask well, for no, it, no, and I didn't and want it. Thing, that's the thing, Terry. And I asked you not to bring it up, but we'll, we'll since you did, we'll go into it. Um, you had a man make an offer to you, right? So you came in to buy a car. And I said, would you like to buy this car for $25,000? You bought the car for $25,000. And then the next day you say, this guy assaulted me with the sale. That's not correct. He no, said, uh, no, see. You, Perry, Perry, hold on, I've heard the story. I've heard it once or twice. He said, you need to suck my dick. You got into trouble. And you said, I'm not sucking your dick. So then he countered, right? You, he gave you the pitch, okay? And then you countered. And you said, no, I won't suck your dick. However, okay, that was the period of it. However, I will stroke your cock. I never said cock. that. I never okay, said that. I never, I never said that. I never said that. God damn it. And I hate when this happens. We're getting lost in the weeds. We're getting lost in minute details that don't matter. The point is, right, and let's be honest, the point is, what happened that day was a cock went into a mouth and a dick went into a hand, right? Yes. And it wasn't, was it, it wasn't, was it, your, was it a cock in your mouth? Because I, that's the part I would No. I oh, never allowed a penis down my throat ever. Not down your throat, but I mean, down your throat. In my mouth, really around my lips. Mouth. Never put a penis there, ever. Was it close to your face at all? No. Did you think about it? No. Not at all. See, these are good. These are good. And I want people, people, new people in the chat, you know, who are who are here today to know this. That you maybe you should say, I never, because that's the thing is that there's so much misinformation out there. My kid comes home from can't tell me these Perry stories, and I know they're not true. So, like, I want you to maybe put that out there for these new people who are coming in on Twitch, who are coming in on YouTube, these new fans, these people in Ireland and Russia and North Korea fucking loves you. Tell them, Perry, tell them that you suck the cock because- I never sucked the cock! I never did that! You're despicable! Perry, Perry that, you know, Perry, I've been nothing but nice to you for a week. That oh, was a please. slip of the tongue. A slip of the tongue. It was a forced slip of the tongue. I'm sorry. I would never say anything that's going to upset you. 
right? Oh, you just did. There is an aspect. What did you say on the cameo that you sent me last week? You said, and, and I, I quote, Rest most, if you keep acting like this, we can be best friends. Pause. You can be my best friend. I didn't ask what? you to say that. You said that. I don't know you. Uh, all I know is you're a fan. Well, I'm a fan. I think I'm a little bit more than a fan. We're basically collaborators at this point. How, how, you're not my best friend because I don't know you face to face. Okay, so so basically, what you're telling me is that the cameo was a lie. Because I can I can I can play that. I can upload that to YouTube. You said, "What's most? If you keep acting like this, respectful, you will be my best friend." Pause. And then you pause. You didn't say pause, but you pause. And then you said, "You will be my best friend." And now you're telling me that was a lie. I don't so know so what you're talking family? about because I don't remember this. I do not remember this comment. Wow. Well, I'm hurt. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't remember saying. No, you know what, Terry? Well, I wanted to call to give you advice, and, and then I'm going to go because my son, I, I think he's starting to cry. And I don't, it's fine. It's fine. I, okay. I, wanted, I was hoping I would get disrespected today by you. Uh, when he was sitting here watching. But Perry, what I, what I wanted to go over real quick, and I think the reason why people keep messing with you about the 1992 thing is that uh, you hate it so much. They want you know, me people fucking enjoy messing furious with you. over it. Yeah, people enjoy messing with you. People enjoy giving you the business. And I really think maybe what you need is closure. And, and I know you're not going to get closure with him. That window has closed a long time ago. But maybe we can kind of role play you guys having a conversation, and you're really going to tell Randy how you feel. And I'll even play Randy. I'll play RC. No, and thank let's you. Just do it, P Perry. If you don't, and, and I try and explain it, Perry. I always try and give you advice. If you don't, if you don't either, either you need to really start enjoying telling the story, or you need to show people that you've put this behind you. That was 29 years ago. It was a long time ago. He had a little cock in your hand and not your mouth. And you want to let him know that you're not going to take it anymore. You were a victim of abuse. You were a victim of the system. And he used you for his own pleasure. Now, if I can tell me off like that, and I'm not even RC, imagine what you could do, Perry. Why don't you release the fury on me being RC? Okay? Look. Now, it's, it's Sunday. I'm at, I'm at home, and you're calling me up. And I'll even make the phone ring. You sound ready? Now, you, now you're Perry. Hey, West Moss. Hello? West no, Mouse. No, oh? West Mouse. No, no, I'm RC, and you're going to hey. do the business. You're gonna... Look. Hello? Hello? Look, look, look. It's 29 years ago. We're you done. We're here? done talking about this. We are done. We are, we are, we are, we are, we are done discussing this matter. 29 <laughs> fucking years. Oh, my God. What? What? Say what you just said. I said I'm I'm being RC. What did you say? I says it's 29 years. Good day. We're done talking about this. All Never right, so again. Can we talk about the tattoo removal then. The tattoo's not gonna get touched ever, 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 ever. We're not removing my tattoo at all. And I'm not going to Vegas, because that's the fucking threat that's going to happen to me. So I'm not going to Vegas. Thank you. Good night. So when is it going to be removed? What? When is it going to be removed? Like Never, ever, ever is it going to be touched. Ever, ever, ever will my arm get touched. No tattoo is being removed. Good day. And I got to go use the bathroom again. I wish you were as happy as your cabinet right now. That's really sad. Wish it was as happy as what? Your cabinet, the smiling cabinet. That's the only smiling Woody in your place. Uh, I would ask you for a boner check. Whatever. I know you're rage boning right now, but I won't do that. Can I you tip the, the cap to me and say Thank goodnight? You. Can you tip the cap to me and say goodnight and be respectful to my son, please? Thank you. Thank you, Perry. I love you. We'll talk later, buddy. All right. Thanks. See you, Love you, too. Bye. Thanks. Bye. You gonna hang up? Thank you. Uh, hey. Thank you. Thank you for at least not hanging up on him, like abruptly. Abruptly. Whew.
Don't talk to me in the bathroom, Perry. Nobody can hear you. Man. I had to go out to the uh, deck to get some air. I'm like literally dying in here. Whew. I'm not normally someone who sweats, but I'm like dabbing myself with a paper towel now. It's so gross. I, you know, at least, at least the new place will be a little more comfortable to do uh, um, daytime streams in. But man, it's it's brutal. Because if I put the fan on, a fan makes noise into the mic, right? And if I put the air on, the air is literally right next to where my desk setup is. So. Uh, the water bill is higher than you would think. Trust me. Okay. Perry wouldn't know. No, I don't live in New York. That's why. No, I'm not talking about New York. But I mean, no, it's you know what it is. It's humid. It's been humid. So. Uh, and that too. Like I'll even See? like I like I was talking to John Diaper because I he he asked to come over for a drink and John you're more than welcome. The 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 only issue is I don't have a chair to offer a guest. The office is the office basically looks like I'm squatting in this in this uh, room because there's like shit all over the floor because I got to move I got to be out of here out of here by Wednesday that's June thirtieth I got to be out of here out of here like I've kept stuff here because I'm doing the streams from here and everything and I'm doing internet mm -hmm. but it's like I'm looking around now and I, I'd be almost embarrassed to have somebody over here but uh, I got an outdoor bar at the new place I got a bar set up in the back that's nice. Yeah, you know, it's like a wood tiki bar, and uh, so I think it'll be cool if John can come. Over. Maybe some, maybe some uh, New York people can come over during a stream, during a stream, I should say. Uh, but man, I'm like. Okay. Uh, but anyway, we got an international call to do next. Let's... My earpiece is saying battery low, so let's get this international call in. You want to do it right now? Okay. Well, I think I just sent. Yeah. The Star six seven. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. Zero one one four four. That number. Hello. Zero one one. Yeah. Zero. That would be international. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Battery low is yelling at me. Hello? Uh, hello, this is Perry Caramel live. Who am I speaking with, please? Oh, uh, you're speaking to Perry. Who am I speaking with, please? You're speaking with Chaz and Off. Who am I speaking with, please? Again, who am I speaking with? <laughs> Are you speaking with Chaz and Off, Perry? What's your name? My name's Chaz and Off. I still don't understand what you're saying. Do you speak in English? No, no, I'm not very good at English, to be honest with you. I'm from the UK, but I'm not that good at English. Where in England are you, sir? You can just, uh, well, I'm in a pretty uh, pretty rural area. There's not many people here. Um, we call it the slums. I'm from the slums. You're from the slums of England? What yeah. city? What's, what city? Where? Um, Leeds. Leeds, England? Leeds, yeah, the slums of Leeds. Say that again, Tom. Sorry? Uh oh, what, what saying, the slums very, of Leeds? Stop, Perry, I'm saying I'm going to hang up. Yeah, the slums, basically like the streets and all that. Oh, um, yeah, oh you're from the streets of England. Yeah, right. can yeah. I in, okay. Can I break in one second? I'm going to hang up the, uh, Go ahead. the thing. Go ahead. Keep, keep going. Oh, so if you're from the streets Sorry. of England, what 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 city um, 
Or what town do you live in, if you don't mind me asking? It's the, it's the city of Leeds, but I live on the streets of the city of Leeds. You live on the streets of the city of Leeds. I'm very yeah. sorry that you live on the streets. Uh, it's all right. It's all part of the hustle. Um, I've the been hustle. watching the stream recently, and I can't help but notice how good that wall looks now that there's no calendar on it. <laughs> I gotta go back to Hooters and get another calendar from Hooters. I don't think you need another calendar from Hooters. I think it looks good as it is. Whatever. Perry, do you know I was the one that paid that money to get the uh, calendar shredded? Oh, thanks. I don't appreciate that because I spent money for that. Oh, I spent, uh, I mean, I, I, I've got a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, friends that work for Hooters, and uh, I was going to try to become a Hooters owner or a Hooters manager, and it just didn't work out because of my finances and stuff. Perry, how much did the calendar cost you, like, originally? How much was it? I don't remember. I don't remember. It, was oh, it can't price. have been that expensive. Should we say 10 bucks? No, it was more like 30 or $40. Oh, so I paid you a hundred bucks for that. You know that. You know that means you would have been able to buy three of them. I don't need to buy three of them. Oh no, but you could with the money that I gave you. Okay. Thank you. Can I interest you in another offer as well? Which is? So I've been saying this for quite a while, and you've been denying it. You've been saying that you can't do it. You've been saying you're not strong enough. But can you see that Italian license plate on the uh, on the wall? See, I'd like to pay $50 for you to either shred it or bend it in half. No fucking way! No fucking way! <laughs> fucking I asshole! Know I know you can. I'm not touching it like that! God, all you want to do is disrespect oh, my fucking property and break shit in my house! No! Fucking way! Perry, why don't you just walk over now, grab it, and try to bend it? If it doesn't bend, that's fine. If it bends, you get your $50. Easy it's... money. Easy money. I'm not bending it. I'm not bending not. it. I'm not bending it. I'm not breaking it. I'm not going to destroy the, 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 the Italian license plate. No. You're fucking going to buy way. With that money. What? You'll be able to buy hundreds of them. That license plate doesn't look like it costs more than two dollars. Oh you'll please! To buy hundreds I of spent them. I spent a lot of money buying. I spent like thirty bucks on buying that license plate. Fucking thirty bucks. Disrespect! To disrespect! So disrespect! Stop disrespecting me and my property. Spend the license plate. Stop disrespecting me or my property. Well, if you bent the license plate, I wouldn't have to disrespect you. There's no need to touch my stuff and break it! But you're not breaking it, you're just bending it. Bending it and breaking it, I'm still fucking damaging it! I'm not damaging my license plate! Son of a bitch! If you're not damaging it, you can bend it back. You can bend it back after you're done. I'm not bending it. Why not? You could literally bend it once one way and then bend it back the other way. Because I don't want to damage the license plate. But it's not going to damage it because you'll, you'll repair it afterwards. What? You'll re if you bend it once and then bend it back the other way, then it returns to normal, doesn't it? Oh, fucking A. God damn. So if you bend it twice, if you bend it twice, then it returns to normal. Oh, Jesus. How much are you going to pay me to bend my license plate? Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars for it.
that's the only bending I'm going to do. Have you bent it? I bent it. Okay. Hang on, there's a bit of a delay on the stream. Perry, you're holding back. You're holding back. You can bend it more than you. I bent it! That's it! Really easily. <laughs> but, <laughs> Perry, that has to be fake. That, that has to be fake. That bent so easily. But I am a man of my word. You've got $50. No way. Thank you. <laughs> no, thank you, Perry. Thank you for proving to everybody, everybody on the stream, that your house that has nothing but cheap crap in it, <laughs> that was not worth $30. There's no way on God's green earth that was not worth $30. Whatever. I mean, that was literally the cheapest metal I've ever seen. Okay. Is it even real metal? Is it real metal, Perry? Yes, it's real metal. It's a real aluminum license plate. It doesn't look real to me. Whatever. I can't believe you bent it. Did you bend it back afterwards? Yes. Can you try bending it in half as well? No! Fucking way! Why not? Somebody's bent. Somebody's banging at my door. Let me answer the door. That's me. That's me. <laughs> what is it? Thank you. What did you get, Perry? Dordash. What did you get? Got a drink. Oh, this is from. I see a lot of people in chat saying that you didn't follow through and that the plate has to go and that you just scammed me out of $50. Is that true? What? I've heard that you've just scammed me out of $50 and that you didn't really bend the plate. That's what everybody's ah! saying. Big fucking liars! Perry, if they say you've got to follow through and that you've got to bend it ass to ass. I already bent the fucking plate! I'm not bending it again! Everybody's saying that you've scammed me. Fuck! Good day! I think you're going to have to bend it again because... I'm not touching it! Me. Fuck you! This goes in the freezer. Yeah, it doesn't look very... It, it doesn't look very bent to me. It's not getting touched! So are you saying that you scammed me then? Because that's what all of chat's saying. I bent it! You saw the bending that I did! If you don't like it, that's your problem! Hey Perry, I'm sorry, I'm gonna break I'm gonna break in here for a second. You you did, saw the bending you did not bend it. Stream. You didn't bend it, Perry. And what did you put in the freezer? I bent it enough! Perry, two I'm things. Not bending it anymore. Perry, two things before you, you number it. one. You I'm not bending it any more than I bent it! And I'm not gonna fucking damage it any farther! Perry, what did you hide in the freezer, number one? You can't just run into the freezer. You gotta show what you got. Number two, get that license plate and give this guy his money's worth. Just No, I'm not bending a goddamn plate! You just said you would for 50 bucks. You can't take the 50 and then not do it. Yeah, Perry, you've got $50. You got $50 for free? You did nothing? Bring it back over here to the screen. Take the license, take, give me that thing from the freezer and the license plate, bring it back to the screen. Here's what I put in the freezer. 
Okay. Okay. Well, a popsicle. No, no, I, no oh. that's not good enough for me. That's not good enough for me. I can't see it. God damn it! No, Perry, knock it off. Popsicle. Gabish. That's a nice dilly bar. Freezer. You can eat that. The dairy I'm not dilly. eating it now. It's a dilly bar. It's, I would murder for I'm a dilly bar. I'm not eating it now. Okay, on your way back, bring that license plate. Bring that license plate on the way back. I'm getting sick and tired of you calling our subscribers' names. Shouting at the stream and low subscribers, disrespecting the stream. Yeah, this guy's gonna go to Dark Side Phil. No, over That's here, it. over here, That's over here. That's not good enough. Over here. Do a real bend. You could buy That's 50. That's bending! That's not even in frame. That's bending! Bend it God more. You can it. bend That's You're bending. holding back. You're holding back. You can bend it. I'm not bending it anymore! What? Perry, you can lift the microwave, but you can't bend that little bit of metal. You're lying. You're not bending it. I'm not gonna fucking make it look like shit! Perry, I'll replace it for you. I'll replace it for you if there's something bad happens. You can bend it for him. You can buy five more for fit. There you go. That's uh, it. You can bend that in half like a piece of paper. I'm not doing it. Thank you. Well, that, that was pretty good. Well, I got the money. Fuck it. You can pull it like a piece of paper. Shit, fucking turn into more shit. <laughs> God damn it! I think you need to bend it a bit more than that, Perry. No way! I think you're just scamming me, to be honest, Star. Get you're, the fuck out of you're here! You're hanging it back up as well. Goodbye! You're hanging it back up. All of chat is saying that you just scammed me. Perry, is that true? You just scammed me. I'm again. not scamming you! I said bend it! And that's it! No more bending of my fucking life of plate! But all the chat is telling me that you scammed me. And I don't want this, but... These are some Perry, crazy can you prove chat wrong? Can you prove chat wrong by bending it again? I just bent it enough! God damn it! But all the chat is saying that you haven't bent it. Fuck you! We're done. Perry? What? Are you really scamming me? Goodbye! People in chat are me to get a refund for you scamming me. Do you think I should? Goodbye! Perry, you're not allowed to leave. You're not allowed to leave because you scammed me. I'm not scamming you. You're an asshole. That's what it is. You scam me. You're an asshole. But I'm just giving you fifty dollars for nothing. I bet the fucking license plate. Now here's a fucking corn dog of some sort. You only folded it. You were holding back. You were holding back. I bet the motherfucker stop making me yell. Cause I'm losing my fucking mind. You son of a bitch. Hey, that was a good fight advice, I think. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. I think you just need to, you just need to bend it properly. It was bent. I'm not bending it in half. I'm not breaking the fucking thing. Damn it. You were holding back so much. Goodbye. Harry, can you take the last thing by down again? No. Can you bend it again? No. You bend it the first time. No. You just bend it? You didn't bend it? I'm not bending it again. I'm scared you of taking a bite of this point. fucking thing. Harry, you can't bend it again if you never I'm bend not it going to! But you have you told me that you have, but you haven't. I'm done with you. Good day. Take a bite of it. Hang that. up the you fucking phone! $50. And seeing how easily that bent, you can put that in the shredder easily. That could get shredded. We're, we're done with this conversation. Tom, I'm hanging up the phone.
Perry, like Tom, I'm hanging up the phone. You're going to hang up on our first international caller of in- International Subscriber Sunday who sent you $50? That's how you talk to a loyal subscriber? Yeah, because he's got disrespect I'm and I'm not accepting his, the, the disrespect. I'm not accepting his bullshit. He okay, not giving you bullshit. I'm not accepting anybody's bullshit. He just wanted okay, to be... where the fuck... He just wanted to be thorough. I bent the goddamn thing! But you didn't bend it all the way. You were holding back, and everybody saw I'm that you I'm not gonna back. bend it all the way! Well, that's what the deal was. Anyway, what did you get here? I want to see you sample... I mean, you've been playing with this for the past Weird 15 minutes. I, I, don't, I don't need weird stuff. I don't know what this shit is that's on top of them. What is this crap? I don't know. Take a bite. Ugh. It's all cheese. All right. Can, can I see the inside? What is it? It's all cheese. Not a real corn dog. It's all cheese. Uh, can I see it, please? You're a terrible presenter. God damn it, this is what's inside! Why are you going to say, gee damn it, this is what's inside, when you haven't shown it once? Okay. It's all cheese! Okay. What else is in the bag? It's some breaded item. I don't know what this breaded item okay. is. Okay, what, what, where is it from, by the way? I don't recognize the box. Uh, neither do I. Uh, two hands, it says. Okay. Two what hands, soul bag? fresh corn dogs. Never heard of this company before. All right. Um, yeah. What else yeah, is in the bag? What? What else is in the bag? Another one. Just we, like it. You know, okay, we, we don't know that. Can we see it? Christ. Oh, at least that's what I thought is in the bag. It might be something else. Yeah, see, that's true. Ugh. All right, that is. No, something no. Else. Can we try that? No, I got this. This garbage. It's not garbage, Perry. Somebody took the time to send that to you. Ugh. It's like some stuff I've never tasted before. I I don't even know what it is. Like a like a. Uh, tomato nugget or something? Tomato nugget? Never heard of that. Yeah, see. it's weird. It's a potato. Never potato tasted or this toma- shit before. Potato or or tomato? Tomato. Never heard of that. Let me see. Can I see it again? I mean, potato. P P P. Oh, potato. Yeah. Like French fries. Oh, okay. Tater. They're, tater, they're giant tater tots. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Okay. Anything else in the bag? That's it. Okay, what, why did you throw that dilly bar in the freezer? If it's so hot, why don't you have that? It'd be refreshing. I don't want a fucking... I don't want any ice cream anymore! I got enough shit! Sugar shit in front of me! Why are you yelling? Because I'm fucking pissed! Okay, but it's not necessary. Matty Boy says, Tom B., I've been listening to... Onani Bomb Meets the Sex Pistols by Boredoms, 1994, while watching the stream. It's amazing. Is that kind of like syncing up Dark Side of the Moon to the Wizard of Oz? Does it go? Per- does it sync perfectly well with the stream? Oh my God! It is hot in here. Okay. Hello? Tom, I'm just reading the chat. Tom B, he got uh, an ice cream drink from me, too, with the corner. You got an ice cream drink? No. Okay, really? Yeah, there's no drinks. All right. Uh, Dean, why... I'm just, I'm just reading the chat. Uh, Dean, why not add more streams on YouTube? I'm going to. I, I've been remiss on that. I've just had a, sh- a crap ton of stuff going on. And... Um, it, I'm going to, I know I keep saying this, but this week I'm going to start adding more. Uh, at least the next one in the, uh, in the queue. I promise. Uh, now that Today, I have internet. Sunday. 
Um, Trying to think where to go here. Let me go back to offers real quick, okay? I don't want to get mad anymore. Well, and I'm scared you're, of getting you're, mad you're, again. You're you're the governor of your own body uh, on what, on how you react to things, okay? So, you, you know, I, me asking you a question shouldn't result in you shouting at me. Yes, sir. Here's something I think we should close with. And I got news for you, Perry. I already accepted this one. This is a pre-accepted offer. What's that? What's the offer? I'm going to tell you when you stop fidgeting. Go ahead. You didn't plug that into the computer, right? What? You didn't plug that phone into the computer. No, it's computer. plugged into the wall. Okay. Why well, I put it off to the side. All right. Here's a quick one and then a big one. Quick one from Faster Blade. This is, came in earlier. Okay, whenever you're done touching things on the desk, let me know. I know, I'm so Go sorry. Ahead. I'm so sorry to remind you that you're streaming. Faster Blade is offering $20 to wear the cup of ice cream upside down, taped to your head for 20 minutes. Now, out I, of the fucking question! Now, I, out of the question! Well, the cup is empty now. I think he meant it when it was full. So it's probably null and void. I just thought that that would uh, be an easy one for you. Okay, let me get to the uh, big one of the day. Um, this is for $100. And like I said, I already pre-accepted this. Okay? So we're going to do this. And you, well, I'm just going to get it out. It involves the leaf blower, which is already out. Okay? Okay. What are we doing? Okay, I'm going to tell you. With the leaf blower, I'm just reading this through first. Okay. This is going to be interesting. The 1992 story, only the leaf blower is Perry and RC is the shop vac. Both must be turned on, so you have to yell over them for us to hear it, of course. And if it doesn't go against TOS, would like the shop vac to suck the leaf blower. I don't think there is a TOS against a shop vac doing something to the leaf blower. So, as I said, that was... What the fuck is this? This is ridiculous! Already accepted. You can make this the last time. We're going to close with it, Perry. So we're not going to do it right now. But this that's the, the gonna last time. I'm, 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 I'm going to not allow the vet, uh, shop back or the leaf blower to be used in this oh, ever okay. again. Well, that would be silly because they're characters. Anyway, let, let me just reiterate this so everybody understands, okay? It's the 1992 story, okay? But the leaf blower is you, Perry. The shop vac is RC. See, I thought it would have gone the other way, but okay. The shop vac is RC. Both items have to be turned on. Now, we know they're both loud, the leaf blower and the shop vac. So you're going to have to be okay, – turn around so you can pay attention. I don't understand what i got to do with these two items now. Well, that's why I'm reiterating this. The shop vac sucks up the leaf blower? Just let me finish. Let me, let me start again so you, so you understand, okay? This is ridiculous. Okay, if you stop fidgeting and talking over me, maybe you can absorb what I'm saying. Okay? It's the it makes it absolutely no sense. So you That's just talked over me again. Uh, Perry, I know we don't have the earpiece anymore, but try not to talk over me. I'm, I'm going to explain it again. It's the 1992 story. We're going to be doing some role playing. You're basically the puppeteer. Please don't say anything until I'm finished. You're a puppeteer, basically. You're narrating the story and you're playing two characters. You're playing yourself and you're playing RC, except you are the leaf blower. RC is the shop vac. Both have to be turned on. Okay? Yeah. And you got to be loud enough so you can we can hear you tell the story over both. And the shop vac needs to suck 
the leaf blower. So at one point, have the shop vet go over the leaf blower and perform that. This that, that, is the last time that story will ever be told again. Absolutely. And I think, uh, Scott, if you're watching, I think we're going to need a... Hells, hells! I think we're going to need... You gave back that evil fucking pricks! I think we're going to need a final time the story is going to be told, Chiron. Anyway, sit down. We're closing with it. We're not doing it right now. We're go- we, 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 oh, my God! I, well, I, how many times did I say it's the closer? It's the closer. It's the closer. Okay? I got a couple more comments to run through, and then we can wrap up. Okay? And you can't complain about it being late either. It's not late. Whatever. You'll be done by five. Whatever. No, don't whatever me, dude. Perry, I paid the tattoo artist really good money to fly out there and remove that tattoo. You better not scam. I don't give a fuck who you pay. You're not going to get that tattoo removal. I'm going to be done. Nobody's touching my arm. God damn it. Go to fucking hell. You son of a bitch. No one's touching my body. At all. Fuck all of you. Ah! God damn it. I'm done. The stream is over. The stream is over. Good night. We're done. What did we talk about, Perry? Who are the people that are watching? What did we talk about, Perry? Sit down. I'm done! No, we're not. Sit down, please. Sit I'm down. Done! Okay, what, what about the email you got today? I'm not going to say who it was from. What about the email you got today? You want to disappoint that person? Or do you want to come back like a gentleman? Come back. Perry, more people are unsubscribing and going to Dark Side Phil. Is that what you want? Didn't we talk about this? The Didn't we talk about this? Perry, let's go. This is dead air. Hey, Perry, I'm sitting here sweating my butt off, okay? I don't want to have to fight you. Let's go. Perry, enough. Let's go. You child. The stream is over. No, it's not over, Perry. Today's stream is over. Oh, really? What do you want to tell the person who emailed you earlier today? And I won't say who that was. What do you want me to, what, what do you want me to tell that person about you being a baby? That you promised you wouldn't be a baby today? Enough with the stream is over. Perry, enough with the fidgeting, enough with the Bluetooth. You can do that after. Perry, I said you can do that after. Can you put it down? Yeah, yeah, sure. Not, yeah, yeah, sure. Stop being a baby. You guys just love. Oh, stop. Stop Stop being a baby. Stop being a baby. Stop fidgeting with the desk. I am not doing this garbage. Stop. Fucking back of people are trying to get me to do. Stop with the fake voice. Stop calling our stream garbage. Fuck you. Fuck you. My fake voice is just me. You're yelling. You son of a bitch. I told you to stop. Calm down. It's enough. See, when that, it's an automatic thing. When you do the fake voice, the stream detects it and throws this up. I am not in control of that. It's, it's, it, fake it's engineered. When you do the fake Wolfman voice, it's engineered. I'm not doing the Wolfman. I'm just yelling. Well, no, but there's a fake, there's a real screen that we all know, and there's a fake screen. And the stream I don't has know been, what the fuck you're talking about. Okay, well, if you stop talking over me, maybe you would I'm understand. at the top of my lung. No. You, you f- fucking moron. No, don't call me a moron and stop calling me names. There is a, we all know, we, we've watched you long enough, people have seen these streams long enough and dealt with you long enough that we know your real scream from the fake one. And when you put it on. Ah, this is a real scream. And what else is not a real scream, huh? What else? The Wolfman one. The Wolfman version is not the real scream, if you want the thing. So anyway. Well, I'm going to do the Wolfman version, then I'm doing Wolfman Jack. See, there you go. That's the fake voice. There's anyway. The I 
there's an algorithm within the software that can detect the fake voice. And when that happens, the fake voice thing comes in. So don't blame me. Don't get mad at me. Okay? I'm whatever. Just... Whatever. Your stupid algorithm bullshit. It's not mine. It's the software, Perry. It's the stream. And stop. Whatever. Perry, did... whatever. Let, let me just clear something up to you. Did you get a very important email today? I don't want to say who it was from. Did you get a very important email this morning from somebody you wanted to talk to? I don't remember. Oh, you don't. Of course, you don't remember. Conveniently, you don't remember. Convenient. Yeah, everything's yeah, convenient you know what? Here, here now. Here, I don't normally do this, but here I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna actually call you right now. Where is my phone? I don't know. Where'd you there, put it? One phone. And then I'm getting a phone call on the other. Yep. Phone. It's me. Don't put it on speaker. Hello. Don't put it on speaker. You said put it on speaker. I said don't put it on speaker. Put it up to your ear. Sorry about that. I hear you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. Don't apologize to me. Apologize to the viewers. Um, hello? I hung up. Apologize oh. to the viewers. Uh, folks, I'm very sorry for waking out and going nutso and baby-o and all that bullshit. So I, again, apologize to everybody. But I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I've got... A splitting headache. Yeah, you gave it to yourself. You gave going it to yourself. In my no, body. From the screaming. So stop. From it. the sugary no, see? You're doing it again. You're doing it again. Sugary stuff. You're doing it again. My body's giving me a fucking headache. You're doing it again. Why are you? You just said I'm sorry, and you went to the. I can't handle this shit no more. You're doing it again. Too sugar. Too much sugar in me makes me fucking nuts. No, you make yourself nuts by screaming and yelling. And you just did it again. Now you're going to have to apologize again because again, that was... Un I am, again, I am sorry. Again, I apologize. You can show you're sorry by being a normal human being and getting through the rest of the stream. Thank you. Yes, sir. Hey, Scare Master, I'm a mobile laser tattoo remover. I can be over by the end of the stream. It's not gonna fucking happen! Good day! Well, you don't want it to happen today, because that's... It's never gonna fucking happen ever! Ever, 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 You're not gonna touch my fucking body with any tattoo removal bullshit! Never! Never, 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 never! We're, we're done. We're done. If anyone in chat says that perky blue look. Sit down, Perry. I can't help when that goes up. I, it's, it's automatic. I'll replay that. Sit down, Perry. You get up again, Perry. It's going to be bad. Be a tattoo removal ever! Perry, it's not my fault you keep triggering this thing. Sit down. Fucking assholes! Don't call our subscribers on Subscriber Sunday assholes, please. Apologize. Don't ever ask me to get my tattoo removed! Perry, don't call our subscribers assholes. Just because one person sets you off, you blame everybody else. That's what a child does. I'm blaming everybody right now. Yeah, we'll stop doing it, You Perry. all want Perry, me to ref remember, fucking do what you want. Perry, remember... Remove the tattoo! Hey, Perry, remember earlier... Not gonna happen. Perry, shut up when I'm talking. Do you remember earlier today when you were on the phone with me apologizing and saying you're going to do such a great yes. job and you were so honored to get that email from that person who I, I can't say who it is right now, but it was pretty yes. big and it was legitimate, by the way. And, yes. Uh, you said, I'm going to try no more baby. Mo and now you're just quitting and you're jumping up out of the chair. Enough. No more jumping up out well, of the chair. You know what? No, I don't want to know what. All I want to know is you're not going to do that. Okay. I'm going to try not to do that. No, no. About, sometimes I do just, things without even... How about promise? Losing, you know. Just because you see something you don't like, you don't jump out of the chair and quit your own stream. That benefits other people that are working yeah. against... I didn't quit the old... Uh, 
Yes, she did. The entire stream? Yes, she did. You I just said we're done. The stream's stream. over. You just did. The stream's over and you jump out of the chair. Today's show is over. No, it's not. Well, you want to go five fucking six no, hours? No, I want to go until it goes, Perry. And you're going to sit there and finish it like a gentleman. And stop being a child. You, no, apologize I'm again. I'm exhausted. That's why. Oh, I you're. I know. What time of day today. wouldn't you be exhausted, Perry? It's not that long of a stream, okay? And it's not. And it's. It's only. What is it? Four thirty in the afternoon. Four and a half right? hours. Please. Stop your complaining. Please. Yeah. Reviews have always been at their highest when you do offers. Do every offer that comes up tonight. You're losing viewers when you just sit there. That's true. And you lose viewers please, when you're disrespectful. Please. please uh, uh, no, Perry, stop with the dramatics. Just take some self-accountability for once, okay? You don't have to react like that. Okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. What if one person at a time goes into the pool? And everyone else waits outside with a number. You get 15 minutes of pool time. Has no party ideas. No fucking way! There's no party ever allowed at my building ever! I've given a Nigerian prince your social security hash to help him access his family's fortune. Buy me a moons over Miami cause we are rich. Let's talk. Oh my god. I thought that name was blocked. Why is he even coming on my stream? Uh, he he I, I obviously has his ways. I can't help. I can't control that. Son of a bitch. Hey, Sal, is this guy you wanted me to open a pizza place with him? Not sure he has really Italian anyway. What time's a pool party? Never going to happen. I don't know those people. You don't know Sal Governale? Nope. A hey, mate. We couldn't understand your French accent down here in Australia, mate. Please tell 92 story in Australia. No need, so no need, no mate. need. I finished telling that story. We're done talking about what happened back then. Well, you're going to close. Period. With, you're going to close with it for the last time with the shop vac and the leaf blower. You won't hear me saying it with the shop vac and the leaf blower. That's why you're going to be extra loud. You're going to have to talk over it, probably closer to the mic. I don't Voice anymore. That's why I'm fucking screaming like this. See what happens every time you do that? That's the fake voice. What you just did is the fake voice. Enough. Stop. Shut up. Stop. No, you shut up. Stop. Knock it off. Sit down and join us, Perry. Why? What, 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 why? Because you're doing a stream, and this is you your job. Why? Because you're what? doing a stream. Get that bewildered look off your face. Like, this is the first time you're hearing this. No, it's not the first time I'm hearing this. I'm disgusted yeah, with this well, craziness. It's not crazy, Perry. This is our stream. This is what happens. So stop acting like you're surprised whatever. every time. No, yeah, not whatever. Our stream that's what a is child, crazy. That's crazy, what a child crazy. answers with. A child says whatever. Pay attention. Stop darting all around. It's Corey Feldman. It was nice talking to you today. I cannot wait for the tattoo removal update party. Are you going to remove snowboarder? Number 121,221. Never going to happen, Corey. Never going to fucking happen. Nothing's going to be touched on this left arm. Nothing. I will reconsider your Napoleon role if your leaf blower theater performance is top notch. See, there's some big people looking forward to it. 
Stop, oh, God. Stop grabbing your head. Stop with the dramatics. It's going to be good. God. Demoralizing, despicable fucking garbage. What are you darting around what? looking at? Can you? When finish? do you want me to do this? When we're finished and when you stop interrupting me and stop darting around and spinning around and touching your desk and all this other stuff. Shop Vac Leaf Blower Theater. Cause you talk about your Corolla FX16 you had? You said you got a bunch of work done on it. I rebuilt the, the entire motor. I, I missed that car actually. Rebuilt the motor and, uh, and then uh, had the suspension upgraded and then ended up uh, having to sell it after my mom passed away. So kind of missed that car. What year was that car? car? What? What year was that car? Uh, an 87, I believe. This is Randy not assaulted you. If they saw you assault him too. He assaulted you with his mouth and you assault him with a you hand. You are not a victim, you a putana. Yeah, sure. I'm not the Batana. Before you are moved to Norfolk, not... we will have all the items in your apartment brought to the blast range and detonated. Safely. Start fresh. I... In Norco I'm OOO. Not oh. Moving anywhere. Especially Norco. The leaf blower and shop vac make a wonderful couple. I'm a sucker for a good love story like you're a sucker for SAG vouchers. This is disgusting. Are we done? Can I do this stupid play? Harry, stop. You know when you say, are we done like that, you're disrespecting the stream. This is the stream, let me remind you, this is the stream that keeps a roof over your head. This is a stream that puts food on your table. This is the stream that pays your electricity bill, your utilities. This is the, you know, in addition to me, this is the stream that is your job, okay? Everybody on here, you owe a debt of gratitude to. Every single comment that comes in, you should be praising them, whether they piss you off or not. And like I said, these people love you. They're supporting you because they love you. And every subscriber on here, you know, they're supporting you, okay? I'm sweating my balls off here, okay? I'm not getting my bills paid or anything I'm like that. dying of heat, uh, too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and, 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 I am, too. I am, too. You and me both, okay? So, let me just tell you, uh, it's, it's very simple. We're going to get through this. We're going to finish up. You can't complain that it's late at night or we're keeping you up because it's early in the afternoon. It's mid-afternoon. No, it's, it's early in the evening. Not, it's not even, it's not, even, not even evening yet, okay? And you're a broadcaster, okay? So stop looking down. Look at the camera. And let's, let's push through. Let's not call it. Let's not talk like this is garbage. Like this. this is the stream that got you a very good gig on Adult Swim. And that show is going to blow up, by the way. It's going to blow up. I've heard a lot of buzz about it. When that show comes out, you're going to be even bigger so please let's please keep things in check okay and you got another like very big i'd say individual legit reach out to you today so about something else so things are picking up okay compared to a year ago i know i say that a lot like a year ago compared to a year ago things are pretty great okay so i know some things piss you off sometimes but mm -hmm. don't blame a couple of people for you know the rest of the 700 people watching okay Right. It's International Subscriber Sunday, so let's. This is the day where, you, right. where you're supposed to be, at least pretend to be grateful right. to the subscriber. Because if he's not, I am. But please. well, yeah, I am. I am very grateful for okay, everybody so that uh, comes on the stream. So let's, <clears throat> please. Okay. Let's get through this.
My old publicist Tom Brennan reached out to see if I would do a tattoo cover for you. I owe him one and would be honored. See you in Las Vegas, honey. Yeah, that's why I'm not going to Vegas. That's why I am not going to Vegas. Because I am going to be forced to have my tattoo removed. It is not going to fucking happen. Perry, this is Joe Biden, and I wanted to congratulate you on being streamer of the year. My son Hunter Biden is a fellow crack enthusiast. Come on, man. Crack enthusiast. That, that, that's not Joe Biden. And if it is Joe Biden, your son is a drug addict, and you shouldn't even be the president, okay? Derich here. Hey guys, did you know that in terms of male human and female Pokemon breeding, Vaporeon is the most compatible Pokemon for humans? <coughs> oh shit. Are you responding to that comment in burps? I, 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 I don't know what to say. Like, is that some kind of Morse code? No, I'm, I'm, I'm belching and then I can't help my belch. Okay, so are you going to respond to that? Or are we sugary just gonna, are shit. We just, are, are, are keep we just going my body. No, Perry, you didn't really have that much sugar, actually. You didn't drink any Slurpees. You took a sip. Uh, what else? Are you going to respond to that or do I got to replay that? I don't know what to say. Okay, Fucking then I'll replay bugs. it. I'll replay it. Perry, you were sexually assaulted in 92. We are going to swim together soon. Love you in a non-gay way, my dude. See you in Vegas. We're not swimming in my apartment complex, period. Here's $20 to put googly eyes on your fedora. It will look like you're being no. controlled by some sort of alien disguised as a hat. No, you can put googly no, eyes on. Googly it. Eyes you don't have to tape it because I don't know how to fucking remove those stickies. No, you don't have to. Well, you couldn't do. You couldn't remove the stickies, but you could tuck them into right. the ribbon. You could just tuck them into. it. Can you try it? It'll look like Super Mario Odyssey, in Cappy, like when Mario has the hat Cappy, where has the eyes on it. And, you, and maybe you could throw the fedora onto different objects, and you could become that object. It'll be really fun. Get really big ones. That's a good one. I don't want to damage his hat, and I'm afraid I'm going to. You're not going to damage the hat, Perry. Hat. You're not going to damage. Huh? It. You're not going to damage the hat if you do it the right way. Just tuck it in. Uh, my thoughts on the new Metroid game. It looks like I, I don't know if the what they showed is the final version, but it, like it looks this? a little. Is that, is that good enough? That looks pretty good to me. Um, move them closer together at the front. Move them closer together at the front and, and pop them out a little bit. But that looks pretty good. Um, it looks very like like um, mobile gamey. Like it's very. It looks like very flash based, which I don't like. I wish it was more in line with the other two uh, D games. It looks. But I'm interested in trying it out. I what? like that. That's good. Yeah, you look like Cappy from. I mean, you wouldn't know what Cappy is. No, I don't. I don't know any clue of that. To the guys out there that that play uh, played Super Mario Odyssey. Do you want to see Cappy return in the next 3D Mario game, or do you think that should be a one-and-done gimmick? Or, or, or is Cappy here to stay? Oh. Is Cappy here to stay? You should throw your fedora to see if, like, you could become a popcorn tin or something, or throw it on. No. See, I, well, just think, just in, in the game, right? Do you know, you know who Mario is from Super Mario? The uh, Super Mario game, I know of right. it. Right. So he throw he has this, he, he loses his hat early in the game. It gets shredded. 
Uh, okay, and I then he, gives, he, he goes to this cabin. He, I mean, if you listen, I'm going to explain to you. So, Cap, so Mario goes to the Cap Kingdom and gets this thing called Cappy, and it's like a living thing. His hat, basically, Cappy turns into his traditional red cap, and when he throws it at objects, Mario, or not necessarily every object, but, you know, things, like, Mario can become that thing. So let's say you can throw the, if we had a cartoon, you can throw your fedora at the shop vac and you can become the shop vac, which would be awesome. So everybody says, a lot of people saying one and done for Cappy. I don't know where I fall on that because I really like the mechanics of Cappy, but it probably should be one and done. Anyway. I hear a loud, a loud item it's a outside helicopter. your place. It's a helicopter, I'll mute. Where you at? Or did you shut the door or something? Or has swim with Jay? No. There's no swimming, Jay. I'm not swimming with you. If you don't live in my building, I'm not inviting you over because I don't know you. That was a uh, helicopter outside. Okay. <laughs> Somebody says they thought it was outside your house. I guess. Yeah, my place normally gets the helicopter stuff. Hey, how are you? How are you, Tanner? Tanner, I guess Pe people are just joining. By the way, uh, thinking that you're going on at <laughs> that you're going on at 5 p.m. Meanwhile, you've been on. Fucking out of their minds. We're, we're, we're not we're out of their minds. A lot of people didn't get the memo. A lot of people didn't get the memo. <clears throat> Yuck. <clears throat> oh, let me know when you're done. I wish I was. I gotta stop drinking these sodas. You didn't really have that many. I had enough! You had like a sip of, of two. No, I had a lot more than that earlier. And I had two rock stars, or monsters, it's I mean. It's most. You hung up on me. Very disrespectful to my son and he is crying. Please apologize by telling a story about when you were a male whore. Right, tell, tell a story from your gigolo days. One quick story from your gigolo days. Oh, God. <sighs> uh, those years I want to forget, okay? Okay, but can you tell one story but, and then yeah, forget it? One time that I, I got a call from uh, some woman back in Newport Beach and... Uh, <clears throat> went to her house. We had sex. Do I have to describe more, or do I have to get into get intimate about it? Yeah, you know, you, you really know how to weave a tale. You, you, yeah, because I want to stop talking about her, this. Somebody garbage. asked you. Do, you you're a broadcaster. You're doing a stream. It's an entertaining topic. Now, not a lot of people out there can say they were a male prostitute. You can, and peop, it's an interesting thing. Okay, you could tell a story. You could tell a story. Oh, you could. You, you could, you know, unfold I, the story. I don't consider myself ever to be a male prostitute. But you I were. Drove, but you were. I drove, I drove prostitutes around, okay? Yes, but that's and not... And then, then there was this time that I was driving uh, the, the, these two girls around, and uh, we went back to their, to the one's condo, and uh, they had a threesome. Do I need to describe more? Well, yes. Did you get paid for it? Uh, I got, yeah, I think so. If I remember correctly. Right, I got a splitting drink. headache from the sugary stuff. No, it's from your yelling. From the sugary drinks. No, because I have the yelling. same headache. I have the same headache, and it's from your yelling. Your, your headache's from my yelling. My headache's from the sugary drinks. If you think June 26th should be a national holiday, give me a hell yeah. You're disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. I don't want to remember that day at all. Let's get another call going for Subscriber Sunday, please. Yeah. Fuck. Come on. I 
I got to dial two numbers or just one number? One number. Hello? Who am I speaking with? This is Perry Caravello live. It's the Faster Blade live. Faster Blade. What's going on, man? What's your deal, Perry? What do you mean, what's my deal? You've been a real pussy tonight. I've been... Okay, I've been a real pussy tonight, okay? I need you to do a personal favor for me. Now what? What's this personal favor? You spoke to my good friend on the phone earlier from the UK, Neil Leeds. That's not. I need you to bend that. I need you to bend that license plate in half. I'm not bending my license plate in half. Fuck no. Harry, I'm a VIP. Done a lot. I don't give a shit. I've never asked. You I'm to not me. bending that license plate in half. I need that license. I'm plate not bending it in half. Son of a bitch! No, 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 no. Good day. Harry. I need the license plate done in half. I'm done with this. I'm a, my fucking products. You want me to destroy? No fucking way. Did God you just, damn it. Did you just have not your license plate? It's not your license plate either. It's a fake gimmicky one. It's a fucking license plate in my house. Did you just hang up on the faster blade? Yes. Can you please call him back and apologize? He is a very popular stream. That I don't want his followers now trolling us. Can you please just, in a nice way, say you don't want to do that, but apologize, please? Good Lord. Hello? Dude, stop getting me fired up, okay? Uh, who is this? It's Perry Caravello. Where are you calling from? Seattle, California. What city? I just said. You said California. It's not a city. I said you from Reseda, California. Thank you, because you're now on my show, The Faster Blade, live on Twitch, Sunday, 12 p.m. Pacific. Okay. I give you tons of free mm. advertising, Perry. You've never paid me a cent. Could you bend the lights and slate in half? Not going to happen. Neil Leeds is a good friend of mine. So? I need that license plate bent in half. So? Perry, I've given you enough. The license to plate is not to be touched. License plate. The license plate will not get touched. Stop Perry. begging me or instructing me to bend my license plate in half. It's my not license discussion. plate. It's my not product. Discussion. It's not getting touched. God damn it. Stop this shit. Stop wanting me to destroy my shit! God damn it, fuck no! The license plate is basically mine, with all the money I've given you. Whatever. I need you to bend my license no, plate in half. No, plate. no, no, no. Uh, okay, if you can't do the license plate, how about you give Bill access microwave? What? The microwave has Bill Axe's name on it. That's not his microwave. Has his name on it. So what? You guys made me write his fucking name on it. Microwave or license plate, you choose. Fuck no! Perry, I need you to do one of them. I bent the license plate earlier. It's not getting bent again. You can't scam your fans, Perry. It's not getting bent again. You can't scam your fans. I'm not scamming anybody. You can say goodnight. And have a pleasant Neil tomorrow. I am dollars. not bending Neil that goddamn plate again. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. And we're done. We're done. We're done. We are done. Goddamn you, motherfucker. Sit down, please. This is inappropriate. I can't handle this. Yes, you can. Stop. I can't, I, I can't do this no more. Yes, you can, Perry. No, I, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to call the.
Nine one one to take oh, me to the stop hospital with because the I'm, I'm gonna. You're I'm getting gonna have to get myself locked up. For, you're getting your work, yourself worked up for no reason. Knock it off. Can you sit forward so we can finish this, please? Stop with the dramatics. We understand you have an African termite infestation in your credenza. We suggest an aggressive treatment plan. We will be over soon. You're not allowed in my home. Not allowed in my home. By the way, I, I thought I, I had written a note down that we were supposed to do the thing with the uh, egg sock for uh, Belushi Sushi, but... I, what? I, Perry, I'm talking in the stream, not you. Stop talking over me. Uh, there was something... You, Belushi Sushi will have to edify me on uh, the specifics, but there was something with the egg sock thing, but he doesn't have any eggs, so we can hold off until Wednesday. I know I said Sunday, but if we could do that for Wednesday, I didn't forget. I'm not getting eggs for another couple of weeks. I, I doubt that. I don't want eggs in my house for at least two weeks. Perky, can we induce you into a coma for the next two streams to see what life was like after the staged car crash? Hashtag fake ability. Go fuck yourself. Being, being hospitalized for as long as I was, was very, very... I don't even want to go down that road again. I don't ever want to go down that road ever again. Thank you for the donation. Thank you, Chaz. That was for the ending leaf blower shop vac that we're going to close with. Now, what, what am I supposed to be doing with the shop vac as well as the leaf blower? Uh, well, I'll remind, I, I figured I'd have to remind you for the tenth time, so don't worry, I will when the time comes. Oh, God. A reminder that Perry was under no obligation to go to Mr. Callahan's office on June 26, 1992. He did so solely with the intent to have sex with Randy. Wrong. Absolutely wrong. Complete lie. Well, I'm mistaken. That was from Chaz from Leeds, who you scammed out of the 50 bucks to bend the plate. So you took his 50 and you didn't do the... Uh, the really plate's didn't. not getting bent. Well, plate was bent. What am I saying? The plate was, was already was, bent. It, I, now listen, when you sat down and did it, I thought you did it pretty good. I thought you did it pretty Thank good, you. me personally. The Thank first you. one, I, I thought you scammed. When you came back and bent it, I thought you bent it pretty good, me personally, but uh, other people disagree. Me personally, yeah, I They think, want me to bend it in half and fucking break the plate. Well, you're not gonna break it, it's metal, but. It's metal, sure, but if you bend it in half, you bend it in half and you fucking yeah, destroy it, it. I don't want to destroy it. You were just about there and I think you stopped. Anyway, I. If you can sleep tonight thinking that you did that, that's fine. All right, hold on. Somebody's calling me. Hold on. Is that you? Yeah, it's me. Hello? Hey, let me call you back, all right? Sorry. Is it important? Mm. Is it important? Okay. Is it? All right. How are you, how you feeling, by the way? <laughs> Is it about that? Thanks for subscribing. <coughs> Hold on there. So this is, this is my dad on the phone. Uh, so dad, People want to know how you're feeling. How, how's your health? Um, much better. 
it, it, I found out that my problems are twofold, not onefold. How is it? I thought I, I, I was having a balance problem and a few other things, and I thought that was associated with the heart numbers, which were all over the place every single day. Right, I've told people that. Yes, but that suddenly has corrected itself. And Good. my numbers with regard to, to health, heart health, systolic, systolic, pulse rate, are now back to what they were before, which is extraordinary. That's great. MIA. That's great news. Very good. Yes, it is great Very news. Good. The second thing is, tomorrow morning, I'm going for my first exercise program with an inner ear specialist, which has been diagnosed as my reason for having, like the rooms, like you just walked out of a ride in Coney Island and right. everything's spinning around. That's my normal existence. Right. In addition That's to everything else. But that, I'm starting, uh, I, I got a great, great analysis by somebody who knows their business. Says it was an inner ear problem. You got a little gyroscope in that is it a, area. Is it a permanent thing or something that, that's going to go well, away? Well, it, it, it's permanent if you don't do something about it, yes. Okay. And um, so there's a series of exercises you take. And then when I see my uh, regular doctor, these guys who deal with this, are a little like chiropractors. They're not doctors. They can't right. prescribe. So they don't like pills. But if I could take a pill to get rid of some of the symptoms, I'll do it. And I'm going to see <laughs> my regular doctor this week, Wednesday, to see if I could facilitate that. That's awesome. But the big deal, the life-threatening deal, I think has been conquered. Good. And, um, that's a and, great uh, relief. That's for sure. And everybody, made, everybody on the everybody on the stream right now is giving you nothing but well wishes because uh, I've I've spoken about it before. Everybody's always asking me how my dad's doing. So it's that well, night. I, you know, thank you very much, and I'm very pleased to be able to say this because I'll tell you all when you reach 80, which I now am, uh, you feel that you got there on an express train, and you'd like to stick around for quite a bit more because life is still very interesting. That's for sure. Okay, people in the chat want Perry to tell my dad the '92 story. But I'm going to spare him from that. But uh, Dad, thanks very much. I'm going to call. I'm going to call you back. Uh, okay, when good. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that other thing. When we're, yeah, we'll talk about the other thing. That's good. That's great news. That gives me a great relief. Good. Yes, it does me too. Trust me, I'm very glad to be able to tell you that. Good. Thank you. Uh, a couple of months ago, I, I really wouldn't be able to say anything. I really was ready for the middle aisle of St. Aidan's, if you know what I mean. Uh, I do. I was a scary. Yeah, it was scary. Oh, no. Was, it, that no. was very possible. Uh, it really was. That it's, second shot, it's criminal what they're doing to people with that second shot. No, you didn't react well to it. I, it was very scary. So uh, I know. I know. But it, not everybody has to say, if you've got a good immune system like I have, that second shot can hit you like a thunderbolt. Okay. Faster blades says get better, Dad. And everybody, okay. everybody's right. looking out. Okay, I'm going to call you after we're done here. So I'll talk to you later. Okay, thanks, Dad. That's great news. Right. Bye. Okay, my Good pleasure. to hear. Bye. Good to hear. Wow, that was nice. That was unexpected. That was some... Uh... See, that's some good news. That's some good news. Because my... Uh, for people who don't know, you know, my dad's been going uh, through some things... Um, yeah. The past uh, few months, and we've been going to a lot of doctors and stuff. So, and I haven't spoken to him in a, in, uh, in a few days this week because of the move. So, mm -hmm. great news! His numbers are back to normal. He's got an inner he's got an inner ear thing. But anyway, that that was right. I'm sorry to take up the that inner ear. That inner ear. Uh, yeah, he's probably 80. He's be 80. a real bitch. Yeah, because I had an inner ear uh, um, uh, thing when I was younger, and boy, it makes you dizzy as shit. Yeah. Well, my dad is usually in great shape and does he need new eyes? I think his eyes are good. Thank you. Um, he's usually in great shape and I think my dad has a couple of problems. Number one, he doesn't like getting older. He looks great for his age, by the way. He's 80, but he looks like he's in his like late 60s. Honestly, he looks really good for his age. Wow. Um, and I, I think he had a hard time. Everybody has a hard time, I guess, getting older, but... He, um, you know, he, when this stuff started happening, he, he didn't, you know, he's a guy who went to the gym every day, whatever. He's, uh, you know, so he, he's very, uh, he's very in shape, unlike me at the moment. So anyway, it's really, it was really nice to uh, get that call. And I'm sorry I had to take up time in the stream, but thanks everybody for being okay. uh, cool and supportive. And thank you, Perry, for not uh, screaming at him. Sure. I appreciate that. Um... What? I have respect for your parents. Okay, I know you do. Except, you know, you did call my mom the c word that parents. one time, but that was a while ago. We, 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 you know, we've gotten past that. Okay. <coughs> mm. 
Mm. All right, let's uh, let's wrap up here. We wrap up, please. Legit offer: five dollars to cut the license plate into small bite-sized pieces and eat them one by one during the stream oh, without getting God. blood everywhere. Please. So weird. Because it's an Italian license plate. You, you people don't like Italians. Eh. Sorry, it's my license plate. It's on my wall. And uh, whether it be from New York or Illinois, I don't care. It's still my plate, and I'm not destroying it. Paul says, I bet my dad looks better than uh, Wilfred Brimley at 48 in Cocoon. Can you believe, do you remember the movie Cocoon, Perry? It was directed by Ron Howard. Barely. Okay. It was about these old people who, uh, right. they swim in a pool that has a cocoon that has an alien inside and it basically makes you like get younger and they start like getting really agile and mm -hmm. it, it's, it's a sweet right. movie. Anyway, you know who Wilfred Brimley was? The old guy? Can you picture him in Cocoon? He was also in the show Our House. He was in, uh, he was in a lot of movies in the 80s. I think I remember who that was, yeah. yeah. Can, can you believe he was 48 in Cocoon? It's so crazy. 48, <laughs> 48 in Cocoon? Yeah, 48 in Cocoon. I'm 47. He's a year away from me. And he, would, and he looked that freaking old. Unbelievable. And he looked like he was in the sixties in Cocoon. I know he played. He played old for like forty years. <laughs> anyway, is he still alive or no longer? No, he just passed. He just passed. Okay, oh. I have an offer here. I don't want you to scream at me, but it's a big offer, which is why I mention it. Okay. Go on. I'm trying to think how to pronounce this. I think it's Hizak Ig. H-I-Z-A-K-I-G-P. This is the offer. $200, 200. To put the license plate in the microwave for five minutes. No fucking way. Why? I am not putting metal in a microwave that'll make it fucking blow up. Metal does not go inside a microwave. It's probably for the best we don't do it, but because of the value. Jesus, I, I, you want to start a fire in my house? No, not another one. Um, you do have a fire extinguisher, but... Uh, that means nothing to me. Putting metal in a microwave will start a fire. It'll I'm spark. Not that. It'll spark. It's, I think it's the length of time. Where are you going? You getting a license plate? Bathroom. Bathroom oh, again. Okay. Anyway, I had to mention it. Time is it? Trying to see where we are. About yeah. 2019 or so. I'm going to say, I don't know, maybe another 30. But I, I'm always bad. I always think I always think we got 30 left and then it goes another whatever. But I don't know. And as I said, it's getting a little better. I'm just like, I'm so hot right now. Uh, anyway, pay attention. Perry, in honor of the last time telling the 92 story, please take your box cutter and cut RC into your patio screen door, okay? Go! Go straight to hell! I'm not cutting stuff in my home! I'm not destroying my property! Somebody said something incredible. Wilfred Brimley was 42 in The Natural? That's so crazy. I, like, he looks 60 in that movie. Did you ever see The Natural with uh, Robert Redford? I don't remember that movie. Yeah, it was some time ago. Yeah, it was some time ago, but did you see it? I believe I did with my mom. What's your favorite sports movie? Um, the Brian song. But that's a good choice. That's a good call. Can't ar can't argue with Brian. Brian Piccolo. Yeah, can't argue with that. That's a good one. Yeah. Do you ever see Hoosiers with uh, Gene Hackman, the bas college basketball movie? Don't remember. 
Slapshot's good. Slapshot's another real good movie, right? I gotta go with uh, I gotta go with The Natural for myself. Feel the Dreams also very good. Feel the Dreams is another good movie, correct? Young Blood with uh, what's his name, Rob Lowe. Sandlot's good. Bad News Bears is good. Rocky, yeah, you forget Rocky's a sports movie, but it is. Right. Yeah, Rocky's another good movie. Lords of Dogtown, and that doesn't count. It's not a sport. Shut up! Somebody typed that in. I'll there, turn the but... fucking computer off right now. Hey, what do we talk about that? What do we talk about? You shutting the computer off? Come on. Major League's a great one. Gleaming the Cube doesn't. Yeah, count. Lords of Dogtown is my favorite movie. There we go. Sports, Lords of Dogtown. Well, sports movie. It's not a sport. A sport. It's a tech being added into the Olympics. When we have the Olympics. No, I haven't seen Slapshot. I've seen enough of it to know what it is, Slapshot's and and I know I know it's a classic movie. Yes. I've personally never seen it, but I I know it's a, oh. I know enough about the movie to, to say that it gets a blue check mark from me. As far as a, if you say it's your favorite sports movie, I'm not going to sh- shit on that. Mm. Basketball, Raging Bull, yeah, Raging Bull counts too, I guess. Hey, T-shirt Tucker motherfucker. Why do you always turn into a lunatic during the stream? Why do you dress like a simpleton? Why are you so gross? Because I got a bitch named Layla who's fucking with me, okay? That's why I'm so gross. Perry, I hope you enjoyed your gourmet costume. Martsu corn and dog on is sick. It is a delicacy from Sardinia. Look it up. Hash tips for Tom. It's in the kitchen. Cheese. It's a cheese stick. Not even a real hot dog. If anyone in chat says that perky blue look, I am gonna get pissed. He never did that. Much love, Bear Master. I don't know what you're talking about. I never did what? Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Fuck. Hey, Karate Kid. Karate Kid, I guess, is technically a sports movie, right? Would you call Karate yeah, Kid a sports, call movie? A sports movie if you want? Pat Moriarty's getting mad that people didn't pick his movie. Francis, if you hate the sexy Randy story so much, why do you brag about it so much? And why do you? I'm not bragging about it. You guys are bringing it up, and I don't want to talk about it anymore. The last time! Perry, I just put another number, and I think this will be our final Subscriber Sunday call of the day. Somebody's blasting music outside. I'm gonna mute myself while you do this. Hey, Perry, can I ask you a question first? Go ahead. Is that Bluetooth earpiece charged enough to work now for a little bit? Because I gotta run, go out of the room, but I wanna monitor the stream. I don't know. Let's try it before you make this call. It back in just a second ago. I think I think I think John Diaper is gonna show up, and I wanna make sure that. Uh, Show up at what? At my house? No, he said he's coming over to mine. Oh, so he guy lives in your you're uh, in New York. 
Yeah, I think I found a chair. I just hope he doesn't mind sweating. Let me see. Let's see if I can put it back in my ear. Yeah, Brian's song's a great movie if you haven't seen it. Who's in Brian's song? It's uh, uh, Billy D. Williams and who's the other guy? Yeah, it's a real good song. That's a real good movie. Who's who? who else? Was it a TV movie? Uh, it was. It was actually a theater film. Was it? I, th I thought it was a TV movie. It was actually a theater movie, back in the seventies. Or was it a TV movie that later got a release? I don't know. I, I, it's a little before my time. TV movie, okay. That's what I thought. Why is this giving me a recording out of Google Assistance? Okay. Anyway. I'm going to try calling uh, on the uh, other phone just so I could... Uh... Call you? No, no, I'll call you. Are you going to call me? I'll call you. So I, hey. I got I to gotta, uh, throw some water oh. in my face because I'm about to drop. <laughs> ABC movie, the way. Hold on. No, go away, go away. Fuck. God damn it. What's, what's going on? I'm having a problem with the phone. It's ringing and ringing. It's, it's saying incoming call, incoming call, incoming yeah, so call. Answer it. So I'm saying Google. So answer it. Incoming call. Hello? Yeah, am I in your ear? No. no. I, got your, I got your voicemail because you took so long to answer the phone. I'm going to call again. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, excuse Hello? All right, how's that? There you are. There you are. All right, we'll try this for a little while. Um, okay. What was, by the way, before we get off, what was the movie, I don't know why I'm not, was it The Longest Yard with Burt Reynolds when he, he, he did the football, right? team, the football that, team right? in the prison? That was good. Right? Too. That was good, too. Yeah, okay. Okay, go ahead. You can start doing this call. Okay. Mm. Okay. Boy. I have to get my eyes checked again. Is well, actually I don't have my glasses on, so Hello. This is Perry Caravello live. Who am I speaking with, please? Perry, what's up, my man? How you doing? I'm a huge fan of yours. Uh, this is Adam Kaplan. How you doing, my friend? Pleasure to meet you, Adam. No, sir. We've met a few times, buddy. But uh, how you doing today, my friend? All right, my friend. Adam good, Kaplan? Good, yeah, you blocked me a few times and uh, other stuff. You got mad at me once. Uh, All right. I got, you Chinese, I got you Chinese food a few times. And oh, you then nice. blocked Thank me you. and called me a pest. And then you, I sent you some gifts in the mail. Really cool stuff. I sent Eastbound and Down, Eastbound and Down, the DVD. You never gave me a review of it when I asked you for it. Sent you Chappelle show. Sent you some other stuff. Sent you some deodorant that you needed, a toothbrush, toothpaste, a whole Coke and Muscle shirt. You never got that shit, AC, bro. Instead, you just called me a pest, and you were like, well, really hurt my because I didn't man. know who was sending me all this stuff, stuff that I don't and need. Then, and then you started messaging me on Instagram about how you hooked up with Jennifer Aniston on this set. No, I never Oscar. messaged you on Instagram no, saying that. I have the proof. That's I a lie. Proof. That's a lie. That's I a big proof. fat fucking lie. I have proof. So I'm saying. But listen, I'm a big fan of yours. I had a couple questions thank for you tonight. First of all, I want to thank uh, Tom Brennan, first of all. Yeah, Tom Brennan's um, an amazing guy. He's a great guy as well. He is the greatest manager in the history of managers. I will put him up there with the classy Freddie Blassie in wrestling with all of them, you know, he's the opposite of Yoko Ono. Tom is the goat. All right. Actually, um, comparing him to Yoko Ono is kind of insulting Tom as well as Yoko Ono. Tom's the greatest. That's what I'm trying to tell that's you. That's why he's the greatest. He, he's like the Bill Belichick of managers. Okay. I don't know if you know what that is. Sure. Um, also, uh, a lot of stuff's going on in the world these days. You know, you have a. Uh, you've been talking also on Instagram to my relative in Croatia. His name's Mateo. You've been liking all his photos. Huge Ooh. fan of yours. I don't his know. Name is Mateo. 
You, Perry, I'll, we'll send you the stuff later. Don't worry about it. I love you, man. Listen, Thank though, you. Perry, I have Go a couple ahead. questions I want to ask you. Because I'm living in Israel these days, you know, and it's kind of dangerous out here. Um, you kind helped of. me from not becoming a witness. I want to thank you for that. But there's a classic story about when Tom Brennan was in London. And we always talk about it in the Army here. And the story is how never leave your man behind. Can I get the full story from you? I have another question after this. Can I get a full story from you about how you didn't go to London to save your greatest publicist of all time? I didn't go to I didn't go to Europe because I don't have a passport. Why didn't you ever get a passport though? That's my question. I am I my parents never got me a passport and I, and I didn't have the money to get a passport at the at the time that uh Barris you were, and you were about 50 years old when this was going on though. I mean, I've been traveling back and forth to Europe and America and all over the globe. Again, the I don't I don't have that lifestyle of traveling around the world. No, I mean, it's not about traveling. It's just to go to CVS and you get a passport. Uh, my other question for you is, it's a, it's a big story out here in Israel. Um, unfortunately, I don't believe the rumors, but the rumor is O.J. Simpson will be throwing a party at your house on 12-12-21. Is this false or true? That's like, a well, lie. O.J. Simpson's not allowed here. But you guys are really good friends. Like I don't know. I barely, I only met him one time. Not good. We are not good friends. How in the fuck, how in the fuck could... Meeting him one time at bar one uh, make us good friends. That is bullshit. Well, according to everyone, you and him do business together. We never partners. did business together. We never knew each other. I was just at bar one, uh, nightclub one night, at dinner, and then uh, I met these two beautiful women at the bar, started dancing with them both, and one's name is Faye Resnick, the other one was Faye's uh, Nicole Brown. And there was this big, tall, black guy standing off the dance floor. I didn't know who he was at first until people started saying, hey, there's OJ, there's OJ. And then when the are. night ended, as the two girls and OJ walked outside and stood off the side of the, uh, the um, uh, uh, planter that was on the side of the building, I walked up to them and said, well, you know, I, I put my hand out and shook OJ's hand and I says, Pleasure to meet you, OJ. And then I said goodnight to the two girls. Walked across the street to my old car, my old truck. Back when I drove a 1989 uh, white Toyota pickup. Uh, went back to my truck wait, and got in and took pickup? off. Wait, are you sure you weren't the... Wait, so you weren't the guy... I'm in Israel, I'm not in the United States, so you had nothing to do with, with, with the Ford, with, with his car, the truck, during the whole chase and everything, right? What are you talking about? Okay, I thought you were the one driving. I'm sorry. Was this before or after the incident with that mean casting director? Way after. Okay. Um, I have a question regarding that, that incident, though. All right, I know you hate to talk about it. No, we're not going to talk about it ever again. Did you have to go to therapy about it? I didn't go to therapy about it. All right, should all right. Uh, I have. I know you're a busy man, Mr. Caravello. Uh, I don't know you. if you remember, but the time I bought you duck on New Year's Eve, and you were telling you made some jokes to me about. Do you remember when I bought you a uh, Chinese food on New Year's Eve a few years ago? It cost me like seventy bucks, dude. I, uh, there's been a lot of food sent to my house, but I don't remember. No, no, no. this was back in 2015. I'm like, the, I'm like the Jackie Robinson of sending food. I was the originator, bro. Okay, and you know, like. I mean, I sent you food that day. You got really mad at me for some reason. And next thing you know, like, my favorite celebrity in the world blocks me on social media. He calls me a pest. Like, I wanted to just say, I forgive you for that, brother. I forgive you. Mm, thanks. And, uh, you know, Perry, also another thing. So the rumors are completely false. Just so I know you and OJ are not together at all. Never, ever. All I did was because meet I've him. I've seen some cameos with you and him. I just met and him once. Well, he's obsessed with you, man. Like whatever. He sends a cameo. I know, he's weird. Uh, and nothing to do with Richard Ramirez either, right? I never. Kn I was way too young when that fucking event happened with Richard Ramirez murdering all those people it. in in uh, in uh, uh, around the LA area. Uh, I totally understand. Uh, what is the rumors now about Windy City Heat two coming uh, uh, about? I have no idea. I have no idea. Uh, Perry, if I give you a hundred bucks, will you put your fedora in the microwave? 
Absolutely good not. Job, Have a good day. Thanks. I love you, man. I Bye. love you. Thank you. Bye. I love you, man. God. Any stupid, crazy shit to put me through more craziness. It's all right. All right. Let's all right. Uh, get back on track. Perry is Dr. Huminski. There isn't a day that goes by where Adam Carolla doesn't tell everyone the time you grabbed his ass in Chicago. Fucking lies. I never grabbed Adam Carolla's ass ever. Fucking weirdo. God damn. This is full. Oh, this will go. I'm a new subscriber and very confused about what exactly happened in 92. It sounds pretty horrific though by the sound of it. Can't wait to hear it. Well, guess what? I've talked about so much. There's no need to discuss it again. Stay so, tuned to there. the stay tuned to the end of the stream. Yeah, you'll hear it over a shop vac and leaf blower. God, I'm, I almost can't even talk anymore. I'm so. Ugh. Hi, Perry. This is Chopstick Charlie. I would like to have your tattoo removed so I can paint a portrait of you in the nude. Do it for the art. Never gonna happen. NEVER GOING TO HAPPEN! Perry, look at the things on your desk. Everything is out of order and must be fixed and put back in the right place. Everything is... Fine! Don't listen to Bird, it's a trick. Yeah, I know. Anything to piss me off. Who came first in the pool? Liberace, Billy the Pool Boy, or Perry? We need answers. Are you gay? You can what be honest. What the fuck you talking about? We all about? love you. No, I'm not gay, and I don't know what the fuck you're talking about with this who came first in the pool. Uh, Liberace was a, was, a, was a customer of a friend of mine who was a pool cleaner, okay? Liberace's pool was shaped like a grand piano. And uh, when, when uh, Billy told me that he was going to be draining the pool to acid wash it, that he allowed us to skateboard it for one day. Yeah, that's really unorthodox, like, to, to do. I mean, you, I mean, to really break that down, you got a huge client like Liberace who probably pays yeah. good money. He has a, it's right. probably the best pool that you have to take care of if you're a pool guy. Well, and, there are a lot, of, a lot of expensive pools out there in the desert. You know, I, right, but who's, who's bigger than Liberace at that time, really? I mean, well, yeah, Dean true. Martin. I mean, there's a couple of people Dean, that. Well, I don't know. Okay, it was Liberace, Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, Gene right, Autry. But, but didn't Liberace live there like almost like full time for a while? Uh, he was back and forth in Vegas a lot. No, right, I know he had a place in Vegas, but anyway, uh, why would you risk your job to let a bunch of dopes uh, skateboard in it uh, when you know you, you you promise to a guy you're gonna uh, wash his pool out, and then you say you call up your buddies and you say he's gotta hey. repaint the damn thing anyway. So he just let like I mean Billy just let me right. and somebody okay, else skate it. I'm assuming know? Liberace had people in the house that like looked after the house or whatever. What if they caught you and then then, then is then you can get fired? Like it's like really. Well, Look, look at the consequences you're risking for such a childish, stupid hobby like skateboarding. You know, you know so what? Cool. Your, your, your hatred to skateboarding is your hatred to skateboarding. It's not my you hatred. It's not about do, my hatred. It's not my you hatred. You didn't do anything, and you probably have never seen other than the X Games, anything. Why would I waste what, my – what am I waste my time with the X Games for? I, I watch real sports. That is a real sport. <laughs> no X skiing, Games. X Games is not a sport. X Games is not a sport. They're extreme sports. 
It's, it's right. I was an extremist back in the 70s. No, 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 no. no. It's, not, it's, 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 it's a playful moniker. It's not a real thing. It's not a... I was in the pedal motocross as well before I was in the pro skateboarding when I almost went pro. Anyway. Perry, you look fabulous tonight, buddy. Screw Vegas. Thank you. Come to Chicago instead. I'll have my assistant set it up. Dagos for life. Well, thanks. But uh, I'm not going to Vegas and I'm not going to Chicago. I don't have the funds to... You are going to Vegas. You guys are going to try to force me to get the tattoo removed. It is not going to fucking happen. Okay, you still don't get this through your head. No one's forcing you to do anything. Okay, and me, look, I'll say this. If the time, now I don't know when that will be, but if when the time comes to do the Vegas event and you don't do it willingly, then that's the answer. It doesn't happen because uh, it's, you don't agree to it, okay? Nobody, and you, this is the point you consistently miss. It whizzes by your head, okay, every single time. But I'll say it one more time. The point is not to hold you down and clockwork orange you to get this uh, tattoo removed. That's not the, the point. No one's going to strap you down. No one's going to do anything. No one's going to try to cut off your arm or anything like that. That's ridiculous. Our point was by the time the event happens that you will have willingly agreed to it based on whatever money you're going to be getting or what do you, whether, whether incentives are on the table. That's it. Again. Now, I'm, now, no, no, I'm not finished. Now, if I'm wrong, by the time uh, this happens, then then we're wrong, and then it doesn't happen. But no, but stop saying that we're trying to force you because that's not happening. That's that's not the case. Our thing is we're trying to say that by the time it happens, you all agree. That's it. Well, again, again, again. I I, whatever you're saying now is what you're saying now. I'm not talking about now. I'm talking about then. Oh, now, then, whenever you guys okay. plan on this, uh, then my mind is never going to change. Okay? Okay. We'll and see. again, I will repeat myself. I don't care if you offer me a $10,000 side, I mean, a 10,000 square foot home, mm-hmm. uh, a billion cars and Got trucks. It. I don't give a fuck. That means, you know, you can offer me a whole dealership of. Ford Mustangs, an old dealership of Ford trucks. I don't care. Okay. Tattoo doesn't move. We'll see. Derek here. Hey guys. Did you know that in terms of male human and female Pokemon breeding, Vaporeon is the most compatible Pokemon for humans? Oh, I, I don't know nothing about the Pokemon game. I've heard of it, but I don't know anything about it. So, yeah, I'm not into these new games. I I left I left the video gaming world after Asteroids uh, it was no longer a a uh, put a quarter in the machine and play Asteroids. When it was no longer that, I more or less left the video game world. I was at uh, my friend's skateboard shop playing that game all the time. Or I was, uh, where else was I? Or at a, at a, at a, at a uh, arcade in uh, Newport Beach playing games. Had air hockey as well. Place an eye in your belly button. Place an eye in my belly button. Hold on. Get an eye. Too small. Come on. Too big. Well, that one fits. Think. That work? There you go. Oh, thank you for doing that. I didn't, I didn't have, to have to say anything. It was zero hesitation. Thank you. That's how we do things. 
Well, I mean... And you knew it was Belushi Sushi, too. Yeah. You have to jam it in there pretty good to get it to not fall out. that work? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. It's falling out now. BFD here. Tell the story when you drove me and Susie around and you were hungry I gave you a banana and you said why is this so warm and stinky? Ha. God, I don't remember that Debbie, please. But I do remember driving you and Susie around. Now I remember who that Debbie is. Shit. Boy. Take me back to Orange County. We're casting a new show about a robot that bends small metal rectangles in half. Well, I'd like you for the part, but we need proof you can bend plates. Bend plates? License plates. I already bent the license plate. I'm not bending it again. Well, that's in debate, but... <laughs> the eye keeps falling out of my belly button, so... Perry, I'm studying to be a plastic surgeon and I have to say your tracheotomy is very fake looking. Would you like me to touch it up so you can scan? You're a lie. The, the tracheotomy is not fake. And there's no touching up of nothing on my body. You, no one's touching my, my uh, tattoo. No one's touching my scar. Okay? It doesn't look fake. It's fucking as real as day. Night or day. That's what I mean. Francis at Schizo Surfer. I will be in Vegas for computer. the new tattoo event. I'm glad you agreed to remove that god awful joke you have on your arm now. You're not allowed to my home. You're not invited to Vegas. You're not invited to any tattoo parlor or anything like that. Nothing is going to happen to me. Nothing, nothing, nothing is going to physically happen to my body. Thank you for subscribing, Pat. Perry, you would stop burping and stop eating Tums if you did not drink 5 to 10 carbonated energy drinks every day, you dummy. Swim soon, my pal. I'll go swimming eventually, but not today. Yeah, I know, I gotta stop drinking carbonated drinks. Look, can you guys hear the music that's going outside my apartment? It's like from the other side, but there's like a no. huge band. There's like a band playing. Wait, I'll be quiet. Hold on, let me see if you can hear this. Not at all. You don't hear that? Okay, cool. Nope. I didn't know if it was too distracting. Perry, I'm still upset about you killing my fiancé at Brent in 91. Now my niece Paris Hilton opens up about what you did to her. Eat shit and die. Who in the fuck are you talking about? You're a liar, a fucking liar, a demented, sick, despicable fucking liar. I killed no one. Was your fiancé a fucking fly on the wall? Okay. Everybody in the chat is saying they could hear it. So, yeah, yeah I, <laughs> they're I, I on the other side. Nothing. They're on the other side of the building, so it's going to be hard to tell me to. I don't hear anything for me to tell them to shut the f up. Sorry, Francis oh, Fat Boy Carmelo. It's schizo again. I forgot the details of the cock sucking story of yours. Shut up! his name, and you drank his sperm. Shut up! 
evil, sick fucking bastard! Fans Perry doesn't want to do this stream anymore. He just wants to take your money and give nothing in return. Look at him has a bum. A fat loser. Liar! Fucking animal! Get off my fucking stream and never come back! Fucking loser! Fucking asshole! Perry Paris was underage. How dare you do that to her? You some bag? Eat shit and die! Excuse me, Kim Richards. How dare I do what to Paris Hilton? I, I met her one time at a bar in, in uh, what was it, Venice or Santa Monica on, on uh, Ocean Avenue one time when I was down there with my old roommate years ago. Met her one time. Perry, I want to donate my sperm to be used for the tattoo that you are definitely getting in Vegas this year. We'll send it in a baby food jar now. You're disgusting. Go to fucking hell. My arm is not being touched. No other tattoos are being put on my body. No, no, no way is my tattoos being removed from my body. End of story. Fucking A. What does Kim want now? Perry, you ruined my career did the unthinkable to my niece Paris Hilton murdered my fiancé. Rena is taking about your foulness. Each you're a die. liar! Whoever the fuck you are, you're a liar! I never knew you or your fiancé, whoever the fuck he is. I don't go up to, uh... That 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 uh, facility. I haven't been up to that that uh, that Brent. What was they said Brent's, the the Jewish uh, um, restaurant on uh, Parthenia. I haven't been up there in years. Instead of removing the tattoo, can you either pierce one nipple or the belly button? With never the like is yourself. there going to be any piercings on my body. Hey, Paramello, my wife is pulling a classic scam of yours. She got pregnant to leech off me. Do you have any Portuguese or German in you? No, I do not have Portuguese or German in me. My ex-wife was a German woman and my daughter's part German, but I have none of those, uh, those uh, races in my body other than my, my uh, daughter being, being half German. Guys, it's time to move on from the 92 incident. It was a long time ago. The anniversary is Thank over you. and we all need to move past it. Okay. Please move past the 92 incident. Why does that say December 7th, 1979? My accident was on December 6th, 1979. <laughs> Instead, let's focus on the time Perry staged the car accident fake to coma and spent over 30 years scamming the government with a fake disability. Jagoff, number one, you got the date wrong. Number two, my, my hospital stay at Loma Linda University. Uh, I, I'm not getting into that, okay? And even my, my nurse from Loma Linda came on my stream to congratulate me for going on the internet and having a stream when the stream first came out. 
which was an honor. Yeah, Brenda Anderson coming on my stream was an honor to hear from her again. She was a sweetheart. Very nice girl. Hey, T-shirt Tucker motherfucker. Do you have video of you fucking Garrett or Tony Hawk? I saw you fucking that DoorDash guy but want something new. You're despicably disgusting, demoralizing, and sick. You sick bitch. Fucking weirdos. I'm gonna need you to pay me back that $600 you stole from mom to go storm chasing. I need you to pay me back the uh, $200,000 you stole from mom's will fund, motherfucker. That's, uh, let's see. That's $160,000 plus interest, I tried to bitch. be your friend, but oh! you want to be... Oh! You owe me, and you're all this brother fucking money, you son of a bitch. So go fuck yourself. Why are you playing another uh, thing after, uh, I mean, I, right I, away I from... I didn't know you were going to rage on and on, but I'll replay that one for Wes. Sorry. Asshole. I'm not a midget. Don't ever try to call my girl Susie Milf again. I call her beautiful angel. She calls me sweetie. You jackass. Fuck you. I don't know you. Uh, Susie Milf? Who the fuck you? Who the fuck you, uh... Saying that I'm, I'm um, talking about a girl by the name of Susie Milf. I don't know you. I don't know Susie Milf. I know a Susie Hilf, H I L F, not Milf, M I L F. Milf is mother I like to fuck. Hilf is a person's name. Perry, I would slap you, but it looks like God beat me to it. Thanks. I agree with Eric the actor. He is not a midget. I'm seven foot tall and you should stop bullying him and leave Susie Milf alone. Again, I don't know you. Stop talking shit. Perry, how dare you deny murdering my fiancé outside Brenson 91? You're a no-murder and arsonist. Man up or eat shit and die. Asshole. How in the fuck did I murder your husband? I never... I, I, 1991? Look, I never murdered anyone. Uh, 1991. What did I do at, at Brent's deli to where you claim that I murdered your, your fiancé outside of Brent's? I used to go with Brent's uh, uh, in the late 80s, early 90s to play karaoke. Is that correct? You know, when you're when you're playing the, the thing and it's got song lyrics on it? Yeah, Is that karaoke. correct? Okay, karaoke. I used to go to Brent's and, and do karaoke stuff back in the late 80s, early 90s. It's Skits a Surfer. 92 was not that long ago. The story is still fresh and people love it. That's all you are known for. Force blowing a casting agent. I never blew anyone. Never blew anyone. Stop coming on my stream. I gotta go pee again. Be right back. Can this be the last pee of the uh, oh. stream? Oh, the last stream of the stream. Oh, it's the last. Perry, it goes as long as it goes. Okay. Excuse the background music, guys. There's some kind of party going on outside. Well, you wouldn't hear it. You're not even in front of the computer. I don't know. Maybe you need to be listening to headphones to hear it.
<laughs> yeah, these neighbors are assholes, actually. It's weird. It, it's one of the reasons why uh, I'm moving is this, this, this apartment building is just surrounded by noise. There's a Long Island Railroad right across the street. I mean, it's, that's not so bad. There was a parking uh, garage thing being constructed, like, on the south side, like, forever, total noise. And then the main avenue is always filled with noise. And then there's these, like, people that live in this house, like, on the other side of the house that are always... Yeah, it's just noisy. It's technically not New York City. It's outside of New York City, but yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty. It's pretty damn noisy. How do we do over here? Okay. Okay. <sighs> the faster blame live on Twitch. Perry, I'm upset about the way you treated me on phone calls today. I need you to give me a 45 seconds apology directed at Woody. Should I or, or no? Should you what? Apologize to this guy for a fucking minute, practically. Um, because because what he was saying, I didn't it, like. It is it is faster, but but you got to pay attention to what he said specifically. I okay. He's live on Twitch, and he's upset about the way you treat him on the phone call. You did hang up on a lot of people. So, 45-second apology, but directed at Woody, which is up on above the microwave. That's Woody with the uh, banana and the eye. So you have to turn around and apologize to Woody for 45 seconds, but pretend it's the faster blade. Woody! Dude! Man, I, I had to fucking apologize. Excuse me, man. Dude, I'm so sorry for having to deal with this this crazy crap online. These people that want me to 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 kiss their ass, thinking that uh, uh, that I did this crazy shit back in '92. I, uh, I don't want to talk about '92 ever again. That uh, this this is the, this is the last stream that I'm ever going to talk about 1992. We're done talking about 1992, okay? But I uh, am very sorry for putting Faster Blade through the bullshit, and uh, I'm very sorry, okay? Thank you. Okay. Sounds like you're having a freaking, like you're working out over there or something. Me? Yeah, like you're lifting weights. No. No, there's a noise outside. Oh. Thank you for subscribing. Okay, I will go on camera with you under one condition. Let me super glue sideburns onto your head using only pussy hairs. No payment needed. What? Are you fucking... Wow. Are you fucking kidding me? Whatever happened to your husband? Did you divorce him? Or, or is this... Uh, or... or, or, or uh, because I... I look, I, I love and respect you, Sheila, honey. But I don't want to screw up your marriage with your husband. Okay? I, I got to call you after this. Please don't. Because I don't trust... Uh, I don't trust this. Perry, you look fabulous tonight, buddy. Screw Vegas. Thank you. Come to Chicago instead. I'll have my assistant set it up. Take us for a life. I well, I'll come to Chicago with uh, my 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 publicist if he wants to meet with me in Chicago and whatnot. But other than that, or or uh, you know, go to my nephews in Chicago if uh, Eric wants to uh, see me. Eric and his wife and kids want to see me. Um, otherwise, I'm not going to, going back home to Chicago. Please tape the eyes to the nipples. I love you. Tape the eyes to the nipples. Do I got to do that? 
Thank you. It's 25 bucks. You should probably do it. Fuck. I just asked when you said... If it, if, it, if it was five, I would say your prerogative, but 25, you should... Uh, A little small, a little bigger. Yeah, okay, one, two. Fuck. on the nipple you want to get it on the nipple you might want to remove it and do it again yeah that's yeah, right, right on it yeah that's good On it, it's not on it. Uh, all right, that looks good. Yeah, great, very cool. Thank you. God, this thing doesn't stop. Perry, I'm so sorry that was the Coke and booze talking. Want to do a line of my rear? What? I'm not into doing drugs anymore. I've been clean and sober over 21 years. Fucking animals. God. It's less most. I try to be your friend, but you want to be enemies. Fine. I already sent the video to Tom, Chris Hansen, and are investigating you, bitch. Well, what's your problem, dude? I said I've been nice to you. I I'm not being I'm an asshole. Fuck. All this, I gotta kiss everybody's ass to. to uh, not, not, not everybody, everybody, but I mean, I gotta kiss your ass and I gotta. Fuck this. What's going on here? When you were at Mole and Linda University, did you eat ass with your best friend? I don't know. I never heard of a Mole and Linda University. Okay? So, no. And I never ate my ass or ate anybody's ass with a best friend. Because, no, I don't have any best friends in L.A. Pay me back the $600 or I'm going to wreck you one last time. Pay me back the $200,000 you owe me and your older brother Kenny, huh? Motherfucker! $600. You lying fucking prick. Two hundred grand, bitch! Two hundred grand and it's going up! Fucking cocksucker. Please tape big eyes above the hose on the shop vats. What? Yeah, you could do that. Maybe when we close with the finale, uh, I'll write it down. Tape eyes to the uh, to the hose on the shop vac, so it looks like a character. How do you fucking tape eyes on a hose? Oh, you'll figure it out. Not now. Not now. Not now. Around the outside of the hose. Yeah. Lucy Sushi just extended the stream by 30 minutes. Well played, my friend. Oh, Christ. Hey, T-shirt Tucker motherfucker. 
Do you have video of Dan Barney fucking your mouth? Get the fuck out of here, you sick psycho bitch. So you want to go longer than six hours? Uh, no, that was me uh, being um, cute and funny by suggesting that it's going to take you so long to tape eyes to the hose of the shop vac that it will be 30 minutes before you're done. That was just a little, you know, shop vac humor. You said that, you said that a half an hour, or a little over a half an hour ago. No, I just said it right now. What's the difference between jam and jelly? Blue Iris can't jelly her tongue in your ass. You're disgusting. That's grosser than shit. Ugh. Ugh. Sick fuck. Hey, t-shirt tucker motherfucker. Cut a gash in your arm where it says no border and let mole fuck it. Oh, fuck you, you sick cunt. God, you're disgusting. Hollywood is remaking bad boys, but more Italian. I play the Will Smith role and you are the short Martin Lawrence role. Barefoot, can you be five apostrophe six? Hey, Lou. I don't know. Oh, no. Her again? Oh, fuck you, Perry. It's on. How about I tell the real story about you killing cats and pretty much violating Paris? You are the worst fat guy I know. I never killed cats. And no, I didn't violate Paris Hilton. God, you're a fucking weirdo. Hello, Perry. I hope you enjoy the mole cola slurpees and big gulps I sent you. Happy 29th anniversary of you being in show business. Well, thank you for saying happy 29th anniversary of me being in show business, rather than going down that other road that I don't want to go down. Thank you. Hey, Perry, since you announced that this is going to be the last stream that you're going to tell that story, I got to get these uh, offers out. Um, How many more, man? We've been on the air for over six fucking hours. No, we haven't been on for six hours. The stream has been on for six hours. You didn't come in until about 20 minutes after the hour. So you're not, we're not quite at the six-hour mark just yet. Fifteen minutes exactly. Okay, just listen. This is from Belushi Sushi. $25 for Perry to take his bed blanket, the, the blanket that you sleep on or under, depending on the time of year i guess yeah and wrap it around yourself so that only the very top of your head sticks out then tell the 1992 story from the perspective of one of heidi's boobs heidi's no. secretary no 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 i'm not removing the blanket from my bed why not at all is that so is that so crazy yeah why is that crazy yeah. to remove that because i am tired I'm exhausted. Oh, Perry, come event. on. It's no. six o'clock in the evening, for Christ's sake. Don't, don't give me your tired, okay? I the fuck Oh, stop with out. the wiped out, Perry. I, I, I'm so more wiped than you, it's not even funny. Stop with it. If it's the last time you're going to say it, it's my, you might as well do it now. Yeah, I, I don't want anything in my hands. It's bad enough I got this shit taped to my tits. I'm not putting anything else in my body. It's a blanket. I'm not going to grab a blanket and grab, put a wrap it around me. Fuck that. It's a blanket. I don't care. Okay, well, then we can do it on Wednesday and make that the last time. Whatever. Okay, so that's a yes. So. No, we're not making that the last time. What? No, no, no. Today is the last okay. fucking time ever. That's ever, what I thought. Ever, ever. God damn it. Stop. 
putting me through fucking hell. I'm in hell right now, and oh, I'm really? dying. Is is paying is paying dying from this shit? Is paying your paying your bills hell? Is preventing you from going homeless hell? Is making sure you have meals hell? Is making sure you have a retirement fund hell? Is all that hell? Yeah, retirement fund. Yeah, a retirement fund. Yes, a retirement fund. Is that hell for you? Are all these things hell for you? This is your job. So if tonight, if tonight is truly the last time you're going to do it, then get the blanket and let's just let's just do it and get paid for it, Perry. No one's making you, you know. Come on, it's twenty five bucks. Let's just do it before, and it'll be a pre finale. Loser. The closer is the shop vac. This, this, you can this warm up. This is the closer. So this then, will then, be then, the warm act. Then so the shop vac be... doesn't get touched. No, it does. We've already accepted that. And stop barking orders. Perry, remember the conversation we had earlier? Yeah, and I'm not too happy. Yeah, no, I'm the one who's not too happy. Because you promised me that you'd be cool tonight. And you ha- today. And you Lying. haven't been. No, okay, we'll try harder. This is the, this is the warm up act for the closer, okay? Let's just okay. get the blanket. What? Let's just get the... Warm up back for the closer, please. Please. Oh my god. Come on. You get. Childish bullshit is your bread and butter. Why do you keep calling them your your tits? It's not how a man refers to his chest. These nipples, these 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 little eyes are going. Oh, uh, okay. He's gonna be. A, yeah. He, he, he. All right. There, you got your baby thing out of the way. All right. You got to sit down and do this. Sit down. I'm fucking boiling hot, and you want me to wrap this fucking blanket around me? It's just, Fuck. it's just to do this, okay? So let me just, let me just get this out, okay? It's, and by the way, Belushi, I would have gotten to this earlier, but, uh, well, there's a lot of reasons I didn't get to it earlier, but, uh, wrap it around yourself so only the very top of your head sticks out, like kind of like the fedora, almost. Right? So just wrap it around yourself. Fuck. Perry, have you ever wrapped a blanket around yourself? You're acting no, like... I have not, not in years. We're acting like, you're acting like we're act, asking you to, uh, you know, you know, like, weld steel together. It's so easy. Doing that. I don't live on the East Coast anymore, okay? Or in Chicago anymore. I don't freeze my ass off like that any longer. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm on the West Coast. Very, very cool. Just wrap it around well, yourself. Okay, that's... Kind of good. That's good. Like almost like Dracula, like right there. Okay, now stay like that. Exactly like that. Now you're telling it from Heidi's ex- perspective. So you're Heidi. What? Heidi. Heidi. Randy Secretary. The- Randy Set from Total Eclipse yeah, Productions, really right? Good. So she, what her perspective is, I heard, you know, uh, my boss, Randy Callahan, was very upset. He called Perry Caravello. He just walked in the office and I'm hearing all these noises. This is what's happening. So. It's Heidi's, well, it's Heidi's boob. Heidi's boob is telling me, like, I'm Heidi's boob, and I'm peeking out through Heidi's dress, and this is what I'm hearing, okay? Go. Heidi's, Heidi's in the, uh, the front lounge, you know, the, 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 the entrance area of the office. You're, and, her, uh, you're her boob. You're her boob, so you're... I'm her boobs? You're one of her boobs. Okay, well, Heidi's boob is getting very hard after she's hearing. Uh, well, actually, she didn't hear much because. Well, talk in the first person quiet. as the boob. Don't talk in the third person. Okay, she's. You're not an omnipresent narrator. You're a first person reporter and you're the boob. So. The go. boob is, is hearing the fact that the, the office all of a sudden went quiet when. Uh. uh Perry was asked 
to uh, suck his dick. And uh, uh, then, then all of a sudden, the office went extremely quiet, and, and she didn't hear nothing. And and and, uh, and then and then uh, and then she heard Randy moaning. You know, uh, after after a few minutes of Perry being in there, but I mean, they were they were in there, kind of arguing for about a half an hour or so uh, about uh, about him, uh, you know, giving giving Randy oral sex, and he said no way for like thirty minutes, and then Randy tried to wheel, uh, wheel and deal with him, and then uh, Randy says that he'll have him work. The next day with Christina Applegate on another shoot, and that's when he started to re, re- ne- uh, negotiate the fact that, uh, well, okay, you know, and then and then uh, he got the gig with uh, Christina Applegate called Tehachapi after the Alvarado Hospital gig, and that was it. Okay, and then and then. Uh, and then I guess uh, that, that that was it. That's all I heard. Okay. Thank you. Perry came out of the office looking very upset, and he didn't want to be a part of that at all. Absolutely not. He wouldn't even look at me. He just looked down down on the ground as he walked out of the office. He didn't even say goodbye to me. Because he was a handsome young man, and I would have liked him to say goodbye to me. But he didn't even say goodbye to me. He just walked out of the office looking straight on the ground and marched right out. And I don't know what to say. Anywho, that's it. Thank you. Did you guys really argue for 30 minutes? That's new new material. Mm. I don't know if it's say argue or negotiate. Or, or negotiate in fifth, between fifteen and twenty minutes okay. with uh, what he was trying to wheel and deal with me about, and the way he was staring me down. I, I was I was petrified. I was scared. I mean, it wasn't like you walk in five minutes later. You know, he he makes an offer and then you know you let him do. Yeah. The way the way the story's been re reenacted and told over and over and over again for what is it thirty years now, uh, twenty nine years, thirty years now, um, it's like I, I'm so disgusted by it even being brought up. It's like it's like it took forever to get in and out of that office, and I'm I'm glad I'm still alive. That's all I can say. I'm just glad I'm still alive. After the stories that I've heard about that guy. Hmm. Okay, that was that's good. Do Are we done? Yeah, yeah, we're done with this. Yeah. I want to put the blanket back on the bed because uh, I'm Go hotter ahead. than hell. Okay, you don't have to tell me why. You can just do it. Thank you. Oh man, we're almost I'm done. It's on the ground now. Woodfell. Woodfell, the Bluetooth? Okay, we get one, yeah. we get one when you get back we're gonna do one more call and then we're gonna start closing things up. Yeah. God I can hear that from across the room. Are you sneaking a pee? Huh? Are you sneaking a pee? Oh, an acid. Okay. God, I'm dripping with sweat. It's so gross. I'm no sneaky pee, just an antacid. Okay. Hey, I want to show something uh, that Garrett put together, if I can. This is uh, for your 7-Eleven promotion. 
or lack thereof. Oh, not this. Hold on, sorry. 7-Eleven promotion. What, is 7-Eleven going to be a sponsor? Well, we were trying to get them as a sponsor. I don't know now, you know. You were kind of, you were kind of, you know. I don't know. God. I want to show the tweet to uh, 7-Eleven. If you don't mind. Somebody sent me four fucking drinks. Why does it have to be four effing drinks? Can you just say Because it's drinks? something I don't want. Four drinks. Okay. I have no idea what flavor that is. That's all I can say. I don't know their... I don't go to 7-Eleven so and get Slurpees. You see what the tweet says? That's it's like from 7-Eleven Corporate. Slurpee Coke. Very oh, sweet, tangy flavor. I don't like it. Too sweet. Okay, thanks for saying one, Perry. I appreciate it. He's disgusting. Yeah. Absolutely disgusting. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Hello? Hello? Did you see that? Did you see that tweet? Said so after yeah. that behavior? After your behavior? Yeah. yeah. I think I think I got somebody downstairs. So hold on a second. Let me. Uh, what happened? How do you feel about blowing that sponsorship? Blowing the sponsorship? Yeah. Why? Because I said it was disgusting. Well, okay, hold on a second. Did you see? Somebody sent me four scary Perry drinks. To maybe be a Why sponsor be for effing drinks. But after because this, we have to reconsider. Something I don't want. Four drinks. Okay. I have no idea what flavor that is. See? So. Because it's something I don't want. All these drinks in my apartment. I don't need Here. a zillion drinks. Here's what you need to do because I got to run downstairs. Uh, you got one more call to make. So I put it in the, uh, I put it in the bank there. The last one. Last call of the night. 717. Okay. Yes. Thank you. You're running downstairs or are you going to wait for, should I wait for you to come back? No, you should do the call while I go downstairs so we don't have Okay. Dinner. Okay. Hello, this is Perry Carvel Live. Who am I speaking with, please? Oh, hello, Perry. This is me, Big Kev Stallman. How are you doing? Big who? Big Kev Stallman. Oh, Big Ken Stallman. Pleasure to meet it's you, Big sir. Uh, no, it's Stallman. Stallman. Uh, anyways, I need your advice. Wednesday, I had like a little incident. What happened? What did what, you do? Well, I was a, I was going to a restaurant. I forgot my glasses one day, and when I saw the chef, he was he dropped a pound of spaghetti in a sauce pot, and I nearly freaked out. Excuse me, a chef would do this? <laughs> yeah, a chef dropped a pound of spaghetti in a sauce pot, he and I dropped, freaked out. Excuse me, he dropped. He didn't put. The pound of spaghetti in your sauce pot. He dropped the pound of spaghetti. Oh, excuse me. You said he dropped. Was like, said, did he drop yeah. it in the sauce pot or did he actually put it in the sauce pot? He dropped it in the sauce pot. He dropped it, okay? Yeah. Dropping it and, and, and purposely putting it in a sauce pot are two totally different things. I understand. Yeah, anyways, like, I freaked out. My sister, my grandmother nearly fainted, and my sister screamed because I wanted to uh, get the, get my get my hands on the chef for this. And I've, uh, I, I kept my, uh, excuse me, I kept my composure and my cool because, thankfully, I had more cool with Slurpee. Oh, God. <laughs> 
Mole Cola is not is not sponsored by uh, 7-Eleven. That's a lie. I don't believe it in any way, shape, or form. I'll go to 7-Eleven when this stream is over. Right now, exactly when this stream is over, and I will freaking record the drinks they have on their on their shelf to see if there is actually a mole cola being sold at 7-Eleven. Because I don't believe mole cola is even sold at 7-Eleven. It's almost like a, it's like a McDonald's has like a Coca Cola has sponsorship with McDonald's. They have their drinks there. Mole cola is the same way, from what I presume. I don't believe it in a heartbeat. Anyways, regardless, so like, because you've had an incident where your wife dropped a pound of spaghetti in a sauce bucket, you freaked out. What's your advice? My wife putting that pound of pasta in a sauce pot was uh, totally different than what happened in, in the restaurant. Okay, you're in a professional restaurant, you're in a professional facility. Um, the guy drops it on accident in a sauce pot. He didn't put it in the sauce pot on purpose. That's my that that that's all I got to say about it. All right, thank you, Perry. That's all. As for these mole colas, I have to tell you the God's honest truth. They well, were really coke smurf slurpees. I only said mole cola. That was all, but still. I uh, again, I'm gonna leave when this stream is uh, over. I'm gonna walk or uh, or uh, uh, bike or something. On, on, I think I'll skateboard over there. I'll uh, go over to the Seven Eleven to see if Mole Cola is even sold at Seven Eleven. All right, good luck with that. Anyways, have fun, and I hope the sponsorship with Seven Eleven works. Thanks. Appreciate okay, bye. it. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Okay, that was it. Hello, Tom? Are you back yet? I guess he's not back yet. Well, I still got my fans on the uh, on the uh, computer here. Let's see who's still here. Okay, good. We 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 still have some people up there. So, uh, well, I gotta wait for Tom to come back and. Uh, and then we will be wrapping this uh, stream up. Uh, it was a good six plus hours with everybody. Um, and I will remove these eyes because I, I feel weird with these eyes in my hat. Yeah, these, these eyes are not uh, supposed to go in my hat. Are you there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaker, speaker, speaker. Me? Okay, speaker on the on this phone. Speaker. Speaker. There you go. Hello. Okay, sorry, I had to go down and get John Diaper. He, he showed up. So he's coming up. John, by the way, chill out with the gun. It's a public building. John Diaper's got a gun on him? Yeah, he's, 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 he's showing me his gun, I just, but he's not, he's not pointing it at me. But I just, you, know, you gotta chill out with this. I get it, but, you know, it's... Uh, Why would he have a gun on him? Just put it... Just put it. All right. Sorry, I'm coming I'm coming back. I had to go down to the front desk to, uh, to let John in. Am I on speakerphone? Can people... You're on speakerphone, yes. Okay. John Diaper coming in. I found a chair, by the way. Okay. By the way, I'm walking down my hallway. John, if you can take care of these people in 410, they're assholes. And I'm moving out on Wednesday, so if you can just, like, sort them out, that would be awesome. I'll pay. I'll pay. God. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's, there's, you know, there's one asshole. So everybody else in this floor is cool. Yeah. They're, everybody else in this floor is cool, but they're assholes. You guys are crazy. Yeah, by the way, I think like the worst possible. Like, imagine moving furniture from this apartment. It's like the last one on the row. Last one. Oh, thank you. 
Oh, you didn't have to do that. Thank you so much. John brought a gift. Oh, thanks. Come on in. Excuse the mess and vacancy. We're upstairs. I got the I got the dreams upstairs. I also have water, so I'll grab that. Hold on, let's let's get settled upstairs. Okay, hey, we're coming back. Excuse the disarray and the uh, insane heat. Here, this chair's for you. That's yeah. That was found at a thrift shop. Okay, Perry, I'm back. You can unspeaker phone me. Unspeaker phone you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that means go here. Go here. How long is this How long is it take? Relax, hang on. Like the Bluetooth. Bluetooth is connected. Why aren't you on my ear? I'm in your ear now. Oh, you're no, you're not in my ear right now. Oh my god. Son of a bitch. Hey, John's here. John, say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. hi John Diaper. <laughs> hey, let me, let me actually take your headphones out. Uh, I might hang up on you. I do whatever. Hang up on you. Does he still have my number blocked? <laughs> yeah, Perry, you got to unblock John's number. Yeah, I need full access to you. I pray, put the phone down. We're going to be off the phone. Okay, I just hung up on you on accident. No, I hung up on you, actually. You. See, there's no, an that, issue. That, no, no, I don't want I that took, I took my there. headphones out so John could hear connected. me. There might be a slight feedback. That's okay. Cool. John brought <laughs> okay. me a housewarming present. I want to see what it is. It's a merchandise LP from 2000. Oh, thank you. Well, I believe. Yeah, we talked about this. Yeah, like, like just because of the, the... I know you're doing DACs now, but... No, no, I also want to get, I just don't yeah. have a good turntable. I don't have an audiophile grade turntable. Same thing with me, I've been just re Like I have a up. Sony that claims it's audiophile, but it's not audiophile. I should have, in 2013, spent 1750 bucks. and got one. Uh, I was going to save up, get the one I wanted, and like... Oh, this is yeah. awesome. Oh, Thank yeah. you. Yeah, no, they were good, good, doing really good for a long time, and they it's such. Out. Getting into that stuff is such a money pit. Of, <laughs> oh, like, fuck. Audio file stuff is the only thing that's unlimited I've ever seen. Oh. Like, truly. How do I, un, how do, I un, uh, do Perry, the, just put the, the phone uh... down. We're done with the phone. Oh, yeah. Perry, we're, we're done, done with, with Samsung? the phone. Yeah, just, we're done. We're done. <laughs> okay. Seriously. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I also you think... Said on, just, on, uh... we... Okay. Perry... <laughs> Enjoying the show. I, I, I also think just just to, just to finish my thought with John, I also think audiophiles are taking advantage of manufacturers more than any other segment, more than car guys, more than anything, because they can they can manufacture like they say this is a ten thousand dollar cable that yeah, exactly. that'll make, exactly. that'll make your system by it. and somebody who has the money will pay it, and that's why they make it. Also, even in that thirty thousand dollar price range, like someone will be like, oh, I use magnets to elevate the thing here, and totally. it's, not, it's only different between the forty five thousand, but there's no difference. It's more like because you have the money, you can actually experiment with that and do what you want. I also got suckered into, because I got these Focal uh, Sopra speakers, I got suckered into paying like the feet, like the, the like anti-vibration That's feet, Yeah, exactly. Which yeah, is so another like, yeah, exactly. fucking, you know, I don't know. I mean, it does it does make yeah. a little bit of a difference. Are they better than the, like a rubber thing on top of a marble? Who knows? I don't know. It's hard for <laughs> Hold on a second. We have a lot of distractions here. I got another call. Sorry. I'll stay up. Okay, Perry. So John's here. Okay, John, seriously, the gun, just, just put it away. I thought you'd be impressed with it. It's nice, it's nice, but I'm not a gun guy, you know. It's, okay, fair enough. No, I know people like that. Let's chill out. Okay, I'm going to run uh, a couple of comments, and then we're going to wrap up, okay? Here we go. I'm late to the party. You look like a potato. So many eyes on that spot. Has anyone mentioned Satan yet? If not, hail Satan. Hail Satan. Six 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 L L L L L L L. You're sick. I'm not gonna hail Satan. Sick bastard. After you tape the eyes to the shop, bots open one package. After that, it will nearly be time to start Friday's stream. Open one package of what? Mailbag item, I think. That's Friday. What's today? Sunday? Yeah, Sunday. 
Oh yeah, let's do it. Let's do it here. I'm gonna open this Jameson now that John's here. <laughs> I'm gonna drink with a little bit. John brought cops like a gentleman. Perry, do you want a drink? No, thank you. Can I get my uh, website uh, screen, oh, please? Oh, no, we're not quite there yet, Perry. One thing at a time. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, John. Thanks so much. Thanks for the house warming. Thanks for coming by. Mm. That's good. That's a good batch. You'll have to come by the new place uh, when I get that, because I'll have an outside bar. <laughs> you bring $600. I'll bring a quarter of a mil, and we will fight to the death. Winner take all. Palm Springs on 12 12 21. What the fuck? I bring $600, he brings a million dollars? Well, I. There, there's no. I didn't understand that at all. We fight to the death, yeah. Uh, again, I'm not. Interested in fighting you, you fucking nutcase. Fucking asshole. It's less most. Perry, someone is impersonating me and sending you rude comments. Are you and I still going to be best friends like in my cameo? Don't lie. Uh, I don't know you personally, so, um... I'll be polite to you as a person, but no, I am not going to call you my best friend because you, you, how could you be my best friend when uh, I don't know you as a person? Okay. You're somebody from the internet. You're not somebody that I used to go to school with since what? Second grade, third grade. And I still know you all the way up till today. So yeah, you're, you're not that person. That person's been my best friend basically almost my entire life. Thank you for accurately and classily portraying Heidi's chest. You looked like slightly less of a boob than usual if that helps. Okay. Thank you for, uh, for explaining that to me. Thank you for subscribing. Perry, it's Tom. Mute this message. I can't say this on the phone. John has a gun pointed at me and he will hear me. On the phone, he'll pretend it's okay. I don't understand that. At all. It's ridiculous. Perry, it's Tom. Mute this message. I can't say this on the phone, John has a gun pointed at me and he will hear me. On the phone he'll pretend it's okay. Yeah, well, thanks. Everything's okay, Perry, everything's okay. We're all good. <clears throat> sorry, I'm sorry for this feedback, sorry for this feedback. Jesus. No, sorry, I just, I'm just gonna dial this down a little bit. I, I normally don't have my speakers on, that's why the feedback is <clears throat> Excuse me? Okay, we're wrapping up. <clears throat> Hold and John's on, got a gun at you too, huh? No, he has. No, I was showing it to him. He was showing it. Out of respect. He wasn't okay. pointing it, he was showing it. You're showing it, okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me lower this a little bit. Okay, let me see if I'm caught up on offers. Is it, is it the gun loaded or is it unloaded? That's a good question. What's the, what's the use of a gun if it's unloaded? It's loaded. It's loaded. Yeah. And don't be pointing the gun at Tom. Uh, no, John showing Diaper. it to him. It's very interesting. He's a problem solver. And John, by the way, when I offered you a drink, I didn't mean you to drink my whole bottle. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we just have the closer left. So, Perry, let's get... First of all, let's... Let's get the shop vac over here and put eyes on it first as the precursor to the to the closer. Okay, yeah, we're all caught up on uh, comments. 
Bring the shop back over here first. Leave the tape gun there. That's like a tape gun. Yeah, it is. That's a Uline brand. Yeah, I think he bought it when he thought he'd be uh, selling skateboards. <laughs> Are you talking about me? They're talking about you wasting when money I on the, the shop gun. back. You fucking never sold anything, so you just use it to fucking. It, it's wor- It's worked out for our stream, though. Yeah, I'm sure it's great at picking pubic hairs off out of a zipper. It's good for taping eggs. No. Oh, yeah, that's true. It was for auto detailing for me for a lot of years when I had a detailing business. Yeah, but you don't use fil- you don't use bags or filters on your shop vac. No. You keep it your, does keep have your a shop vac in wet mode, yes. you know, so, like, I would never, you're going to blow the dust everywhere. Anything over th- under oh three Oh, my microns. God. When you're in that apartment and that shop vac gets turned on, you smell everything that shop I, vac. I, 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 I was donating filters before. I don't go off that anymore. Oh, my <laughs> I mean, God. I would, but. What's you smell point? everything that shop vac ever took up. So what, uh, do I have to blow out or suck into with the shop vac? It doesn't matter, really. It just needs to be on. But the, let's get the eyes on the hose first. Were you listening to the stream on the drive? No, I, I rushed out so quickly. I okay. have it on the... How long did it take you to get here? Uh, probably 35 minutes. Okay, that's not bad. You coming from... Uh, Babylon, but Babylon, I took okay. Ocean Parkway the like, other way. Oh, that's cool. Right by the, I live off the Ocean Parkway. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, yeah. like Robert Moses? Yeah, actually, well, in, like near Captured, though. That's good. I mean, that satisfies me. Okay, let's get the leaf blower. You're going to want them. Here, here's the way I'd recommend doing this. I would recommend having the shop vac and the leaf blower. Boy, you're going to have to... This is what I would recommend doing, okay? Because this is going to be a lot of noise. I would recommend having the shop vac back a little further where it is and have the hose up front and then have the leaf blower with it so the shop vac is not competing with the leaf blower as much. Open the door. Eyes on it. Yeah. That's interesting. Oh, did you miss that? Open the door as well, right? Sorry? Open the door. No, no, they're gonna do this inside. John is wearing a beautiful button-down a shirt and a really nice pair of jeans and uh, really, Thank you. Nice, really nice shoes. I'm dressed like a slob and sweating. Hey, hold on. Do you want socks? Do you want? Do you want water or anything? I'm good. Okay. One another. Sure. You're off. Right? I'm off. Right? Just tell me what. That's good. Drop back and leaf blower. Okay, now let me reiterate what's going on here. The gun is not, I mean, it's a, I'm not a gun guy, but it's a nice gun. What is, is this, is it a... Is a Glock a Model 19. Glock 19. And it looks like it was uh, fired recently. Well, you can smell it, yeah. I mean, the 4th of July is coming up, you know. What do you do for a living? Uh... Let me use the toilet, I'll be right back. Slash other things. <laughs> Slash, uh... Problem solver? Yeah. No, we're not going to drive drunk. We're good. I got to pack up after this trip, so we're, uh... I'm not going to be leaving for a while. By the way, the reason the guy didn't leave you, didn't let you in, couldn't, like, had a problem, is apparently this apartment is listed as vacant. Yeah, exactly. I realized so, that. Yeah, so the, the building thought that I moved out. I, like, I parked kind week. of far, too, so that's why I had to walk back around in my car. Yeah, because I technically moved out on Monday, <laughs> but I've been coming back in, so. What are these people saying about me? What's this fucking chat saying about me? Well, my, don't, my don't get him mad. Okay, what do I got to do? I'm going to read it. Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Okay. It's a little complicated. Get the leaf... Okay, you got the leaf blower. Is the leaf blower plugged in? Blower is plugged in. Okay. Here, here's the deal. I'm scrolling back up. So I got a ways to go here. Okay. It's the 1992 story. Okay? It's a little bit of... You're going to... I think you turn on the shop vac from there, but you bring the leaf blower as close to the screen as you can get so they're not competing with you. You're going to have to talk very loud. You're going to have to basically yell this. 
okay? It's the 1992 story, only the leaf blower is you. You're the leaf blower. Show the leaf blower, hold it up. That's you, okay? The shop vac is RC, hold the shop vac up. That is RC, so you're gonna have to like, you know, like sock puppet theater, except the, you're playing with the hose and the leaf blower, okay? Now, both must be turned on. So once we turn it on, and you're gonna tell the story from the beginning, from the penny saver end, okay? So it's just gonna be you at the beginning until you know he comes in. Then, so I shop turn this on? To, t t the shop vac has to suck the leaf blower. Can we try that? Can we try the shop vac sh sucking the leaf blower with it turned off? Can we practice that right now? Of course, that doesn't work with the chair in the way, Perry. We can't see that. Can you move the chair out of the way so it's... Yeah, move your fucking chair. You're getting John mad. You heard the boy. Okay. I move the fucking chair, Kamish. Okay. okay. Did he move it good enough, though? You... Right. I, I'm okay with that. Are you okay with that? Off the top to the side. Just... Okay, I'm okay with that. So, the shop vac needs to suck the leaf blower. Before turning it on, let's just try the shop vac sucking the leaf blower. No, turn it off. Turn it off. All right. That's that's as much sucking it'll do to the. That's fine. But that's when it comes to the point in the story where I go down on you. That's what that's that's what's going to happen. When you get to that point, I don't want to have to tell the story for you. So okay, so bring what I would do is get the leaf blower in your hand. Okay. Uh, get the leaf blower in your hand, and then. Turn okay. the leaf blower on. Turn the leaf blower on, but then then turn the, here, here's what I would do in this order. Turn the leaf blower, I'm sorry because I'm trying to get this right. Uh, turn the leaf blower on, then turn the shop vac on, then move up as close as you can and carry the hose oh from the shop God. vac with you and then tell a story. Remember, you're the leaf blower, RC is the shop vac hose. Turn it off for a second. Turn it off. You can turn it off for a second. Okay, Perry, let's take a beat. Let's take a beat. You forgot your own story, Perry? You got confused? Yeah, I got, I'm getting confused. Why are you I can't do this anymore. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm tired of saying this shit! This is the last time. So listen, I know it's hard. That's why I said, I would, that's why I said, you almost want to, you know what I would do? I would almost move the shop vac as far outside as you can, just, just to so the th two things don't compete, but you got to talk really loud. We couldn't hear you. That's the other reason. That's a good idea, actually. Mo Green's yeah, glasses says, is, "Tell the preamble, it, then turn it, it on." It, it. Just listen to me. Mo Green's glasses. Don't turn it on yet. Mo Green's glasses says, "Do the preamble, then turn it on." So set up the story that you answer the ad, and then when you get to the office part, then turn them both on, and then do the shop vac sucking the uh, leaf blower. Is he the shop vac and because the, whole, the uh, blower is flat and like condensed like his prick, I assume, looks like? Uh, actually, he's the leaf blower, RC. Is, yeah, like, yeah. 
Like don't because that's a circle like a mouth, but that's like flat and like like someone bit it into it, the uh, oval shape. It's a fair point. I don't know if they put that much thought in it. That's a fair point. This won't fit in here. Okay, well try try your best, Perry. People paid good money for. This. I just did. No, I know, but when you get to that point of the story, that's when you do it. So do me a favor, do the preamble. Perry, first of all, tilt the camera up a little bit. I'm tired of looking at your head cut off. Tilt tilt the camera up. Oh, look at this, Perry. Look, look who just subscribed. She oh, and the shit. three look alike. Wow. Well, well, well. That's too, that's too far up. Tilt it down a little bit. We got too much ceiling space. Why did Perry buy a leaf blower? Yeah, I, I didn't it, it, buy a leaf blower. Yes, Somebody you did. sent it to me. You bought it to waste money, despite us. I never bought a leaf blower. It Perry, was brought here. Tilt the and camera left down here. a little bit. Tilt what? the camera down a little bit. Tilt the camera down a little bit. Okay. Now, I, by the way, John, John, with your is 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 he allowed to turn the AC on yet? I will leave it up to you with your choice. Of course, no. I'd love to see this bastard burn for what he did to me. Well, we'll leave for it For his up. thievery, we'll... for his evil ways. How about it? In his, vindic in his vindic vindictive, spiteful nature. I, I think he, if he does this well, What's I think we What's going on over okay. there? I, I'll defer to you. I'm not the boy. I'm just a bystander. Okay, Perry, listen. When... All right. <laughs> let, me just catch, let me just catch my thought here. Turn on... Do the preamble. Do everything. Tell the story about the penny saver up until you enter the office. When things go down, that's when you turn on both, and you're really going to have to scream over it as close to the microphone as you can get, okay? And then yes, the sir. shop vac sucks the leaf blower, okay? Then you can wrap it up, okay? Let's, let's try this, but don't turn them on until you get to the office. So start telling the story. This is the last time, so make it good. Thank you. 1992, okay? I, had, I, I, I was getting a magazine called The Penny Saver in the mail. I'm flipping through it. I answered an ad, how to become a star, okay? I'm thinking, okay, this might be a, a good change from my regular day job working at my family's print shop. So I answered the ad, and, and the guy, I go into this guy's office. Uh, I answer the ad. He hires me to work on a on a, a commercial shoot called uh, Alvarado Hospital. It's a huge billboard ad shoot. So I go to this Magic Mountain Studios up there by Ma outside of Magic Mountain, down the street from Magic Mountain. And I'm like, I feel like I'm a billion dollars because this is like the place to be with the most beautiful women, the friendliest people ever, okay? So, I mean, I'm hugging and kissing all sorts of people on this film set. And it's uh, late at night. So, um, we wrap up. And this girl who's the Shannon, who's a Shannon Rooney lookalike, I, my thought was, that's what she looked like, you know, Shannon Rooney. And Shannon Rooney was very attractive back in the early 90s. So, uh, um, she asks me before we meaning herself and myself, both leave the, uh, the film shoot if I know the way back to the freeway. And I says, yes. I said, follow me. So right as I'm driving up to the freeway on ramp, I pull over. She pulls over behind me. I asked her if she knows where she's going from here on. She says, yes. I reached my head in the car to give her a good night kiss on the cheek. She moves her entire body to the other side of the car. Okay? Scared out of her wits. I go home, I'm, 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 I, I apologize to her. I go home, I go to sleep. I get a phone call like about 9, 10 in the morning the next day by the casting director, whose name is Randy Callahan. And you sometimes see him on my stream uh, at, at night or in the afternoon, whatever. Uh, and he tells me that I got to be in the office immediately. He's got a job for me the next, uh, the next day. He goes, I got a job for you tomorrow. I want you here in the office as quickly as you can. 
So I, uh, I, I hurry up, I get in and out of the shower, I rush over to the office. Uh, Heidi looks at me and she says, you know how to walk into the office? And I says, thank you. And, and I walk into the office and the guy's staring at my crotch. And he won't get his eyes off my crotch. And, I, and I'm, now I'm getting nervous and I'm being offended by him staring at my crotch. Then I, then I look at him and I, I, uh, I go, no, no way. I'm not it's, sucking your dick. Perry, this is right at the point where you should start turning him on. You know that? This is right at the point. Well, no, no, right, right, no, you're right there. You're right there. But when you get to the point where it's going to happen, now you got to turn both on. I says, I'm not sucking your dick. He goes, oh, okay. He goes, you don't suck mine. He says, then I get to suck yours. And uh, I'll let you work with uh, Christina Applegate tomorrow. And uh, you get another job with me. So I, I, I didn't like the thought. I didn't want to accept it. I says, no, not going to happen. I'm about ready to leave. Then he also offers me three SAG vouchers to um, make me accept him sucking my dick. So uh, then when he made that, that offer, when he says, I'll leave, he goes, then I'll, I'll even give you three SAG vouchers, which is all you need to become SAG eligible for a SAG card. So when I heard that, because I used to be in the grocery union, you, you know, United Food and Commercial Workers Union, and they had the best medical, dental, chiropractic, and psychiatric health insurance ever. I thought UFCW, yeah, yeah, I thought the SAG was the same as UFCW. So not realizing you got to work your ass off to become uh, SAG eligible, or have somebody kind enough to slip you in like this guy is kind enough to give you three SAG vouchers and slip you right in. So uh, that's what he, that's what his offer was. And I kind of said to myself, well, you know, if you want to be SAG eligible and uh, when you have the money to pay into SAG, let's do it. And then I let him. Now here's the part, Perry, because you don't have the uh, shop vac in your hand. You're, again, remember, you're the leaf blower. RC is that. So do the negotiation with the two hoses, like like it's sock puppet theater, but with these. And then you got to, and then, so you're gonna have to turn them on at this point. Do the negotiation as you're the leaf blower. He's the thing, and then the the shop vac sucks the leaf blower. Okay, so this is the part you're really gonna have to do and work hard at. You turn them both on as loud as you can. It's, no, no, no excuses, Perry. This is the last thing. Let's do this, please. You have to talk loud. And the leaf floor wasn't on, just the shop vac was on. Both have to be on. Yeah, and talk. I know. Like so I said, I don't know if I'll be able to pull this off. You will. My throat is you know, gone. if we start talking about your tattoo, you'll find a way to yell. So you can do that for this, please. I need some water.
shit, I, I'm forgetting what I'm supposed to say. All right, you, you're, you are the leaf blower. RC is the shop vac. So you're at the part that he's staring at your crotch. Do you want to put the fedora on the leaf blower so you know who's who? You want to put the fedora on the leaf blower? Fedora on the leaf blower, it's okay. on me. You're the leaf blower. RC is the shop vac. No. You're at the point where he's staring at your crotch and then does what he does and you do what you do. And then the shop vac sucks the leaf blower. Okay, it's not that complicated. You got to talk really loud over it because they're both noisy. You can tell the you can tell the leaf blower you because has a long nose like Pinocchio, a liar and a thief, a right. puppet. <laughs> Go for it. I I told Randy I'm not no, no, sucking both, your both dick. Have to be on. No, Perry, listen, listen to me. I know this is I know this is hard and it's it's late, but at this point you're doing theater. You're the leaf blower, so you're talking to the shop vac like it's Randy. So you're not talking in the first person anymore. But both have to be on, and you're going to have to shout over them, okay? And then we're done. I don't want Andy staring me down! I'm not sucking your dick! Right, that was good. That was good. It's just like you were sucking and blowing back in 92, the best year of your life and the best event of your life. Yeah. John, John, put the, seriously, t just take the gun off the desk, please. It's making me, I thought, I, I want to impress you. It's I respect me, you so much. I, I thought I guns impressed you. I know, it's making me uncomfortable though. I'm sorry, sir. All right, Perry, we got a couple more things to do. Now what? Fuck, you, you don't want to People are complaining you. that you didn't do full puppetry, but you did do it at the very end. I'm going to say that you did it. Ah, damn! I'll read. I'll read the. Uh... Thank you. Look at those socks. What socks are you wearing? What's? Can you show the socks when you come back? John really wants to know about the socks. Are they wool? Are they Christmas socks? What are you doing? Oh! I gotta say, it's a little hot to be wearing socks. Barry, I believe you snow, you're a real snowboarder, but you have to put on your snow jacket right now and your snow pants for the rest of the stream. Oh, me. it's skulls. Oh, that's pretty tough. Is you think you're tough with your skull socks? Skate or die. Skateboard chucks, skate or die. Skateboard chucks. Okay. All right, sit down. Sit down. And adjust the camera. I like a pair, to be honest. Please. Yeah, they're nice. Even though skateboarding is not really a sport. Of course not. Okay, can you tilt the camera down? Just a little bit. Okay, we're nearing the very end, Perry. Very, we're, we're right there. Perry, John has locked me in the trunk of his car. Emma, my Apple Watch, sending this comment. Hesse Master Impressionist, that's not me on the stream. John has locked you in the trunk of his car. Is that for real or is that bullshit? Perry, how would your life be different if you had never became a member of the Screen Actors Guild? I don't know. Well, uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know if my acting jobs of any sort would be different. I don't know. I really don't know because the Screen Actors Guild, uh, you have to work so many hours. And it's the, the reason why I joined SAG, which is a union, was for health benefits. I wanted to. I wanted I wanted the health thing to come, kick in, but I found out that I had to work more hours, 
and work more jobs to get health insurance through the Screen Actors Guild. So, but other than that, you know, I, uh, the Screen Actors Guild pays me well as a SAG actor, pays me well. Even though I'm an extra actor, rather than making 40 or, or $60 for eight hours, I make over $100 for eight hours. Why are you all acting like Perry isn't an attempted rapist? In 1992, he swerved in front of me on an on-ramp and attempted to force finger me. Uh, no, I did not attempt to force finger you. I just wanted to give you a good night kiss on the cheek. God damn. I pulled over to the right. You pulled over behind me. That's it. Fucking all these lies, 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 lies. Fucking A. Perry, John has locked me in the trunk of his car. Emma, my Apple Watch sending this comment. Hesse Master Impressionist, that's not me on the stream. I don't know what to say. And you don't use Apple products. So there, so there's the lie that's being said. You're not an Apple user. That's Perry, that's a very good point. I'm not an Apple user, and that's, that's called deductive reasoning, and I appreciate that. That's, that's good. Yeah, no, I'm not, that's, I'm not in any danger. John's okay. actually a very good guy, I, although. I, I'm actually glad that comment went that way. I like you, Perry, like, you know, I'm on your side most of the time, except when you cross me, when you piss me off, or you're just a common jerk, you know? Sometimes you just rub me. But it's like, I like you, though. I want you to do well, you know? Let me, let me, your, what's let that, me John talking? That's John, yeah. Uh, yeah. John is the kind of guy that you John. want on your side. You don't want John to be on your bad side, trust me. And being here, being here with him in the same room, I, I could say for sure... You want John to take. You want John to be on your side. You don't want it, John, on yeah. your bad side. I, I'm self-aware. I know sometimes I'm a little bit much, and I'm sometimes an idiot, and sometimes I'm a jerk. But do you drink? Do you drink a lot, John? Like when you, when you when you're saying like things like you're gonna take care of people for Perry and stuff like that. No, I'm actually for sober. <laughs> Most of those. Ooh, wow. I think I was drunk the one time. Did you guzzle Randy's come like you do the water bottle? Makes me so hard what? to think about. No, I, I never did any oral sex on any male of any sort. God damn. All these fucking belligerent bullshit and fucking... The Faster Blade live on Twitch Perry I'm supposed to be playing video games with John Diaper but he ditched me for Tomb. Hashtag tips for Tomb fuck you Perry. Tom B get some tips. Thank yeah you Diaper did ditch you know, your ass because he's uh, hanging out with uh, Tom B this evening. Uh, well he came over you know and I'm not a jerk when people want to come yeah. over and hang out uh, I'm, I'm going to be cool. As a tribute to John Diaper, you should suck the socks off your feet with the shop vac. That's a great idea. Let's end with that. That's a smart, smart, smart idea. Depending on what's in my shop vac. Uh, that's fair, but you're going to put him in a walk anyway. No so fucking way. I want him to throw his leaf blower from the nozzle like a like an axe over his head like and flip it over itself and it hits something like it's what, like axe throwing? Yeah, like, like I feel like the leaf blower, because, like, the weight is up on the engine. You throw it like this, like he's an Olympian. Ooh. Yeah. What direction would you throw it at? I mean, I, I'm always going to throw something at the chandelier. I hate that chandelier. That chandelier, my mom walked by. I show my, I show my mom a lot of these, because uh, she's, like, with, with the COVID and stuff. Like, I, she's, like, anytime we were around, she was either doing her housewife thing or by short this. And it was, like, she's, like, that chandelier, I saw that in the store in the, se in the early 70s. It's bright. It's brighter in person. Okay, sorry, Perry. Are you? Are we going to do this? I have to pull the socks down a little bit. Just Otherwise a little bit, yeah. Come off. But not not too far. Not too far. Yeah. The, like enough to catch. Yeah, but, you know, you should leave some 
You Three should, horsepower should be able to suck a regular sock. Yeah, ball. So you should be lying if it's if you can't get. You the should sock be ball. leaving slack at the toes, not pulling it down past the heel. In my opinion. They're right there. <laughs> John and John and Tom both say I saw. Her. Like, <laughs> Stole my twenty dollars the other day, and you fucking. Hey, 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 he can't, he's not a belt guy. I belt because I'm losing weight. There's two things he doesn't own, belts and, and ties. He never needed either of them. Me? Yeah. Yeah, I got belts on, I got belts on these shorts. Sure do. Belts plural, you have more than one? What is that, like yes. a fabric belt? Yes. You need a fucking real leather belt, and I'm not talking about top, you, you need not a top thing leather, you need a full green, green leather belt. I know my leather. Okay. Great job. Great job. Let's finish up. I have one request. Before you turn your air conditioner on again, take your shop back and and sh and, and vacuum out the the fins. Can you vacuum out the filter, the air conditioning filter? Yeah, I want to. I want to make sure you get circulation and that the humidity doesn't accumulate in there. Yeah. You know that stresses out the actual split level. Just shop vac the filter. Sides, real quick. The sides. That side. I mean, you can like that carpet, man. Okay, let's sit down. Good boy. You're the best. Sometimes you just do you just do a good job, and I'm proud of you. Buddy Nug said, "I haven't met a New Yorker in five years that isn't a pro-gun libertarian." <laughs> I'm not a pro-gun libertarian, buddy. I don't care about anyone else's gun rights, just my own. I don't care if every other American loses their gun rights, but I will buy an automatic weapon off someone if they offer it to me. All right, Perry. Perry, I'm one of your Australian fans. Thought it's my 50th birthday on July 3rd. Now that you left the Jabba cult, will you wish me happy birthday? Happy birthday, Julian. Now, uh... It's Tammy Faye. A gentleman named John Diaper threatened me to stop harassing you. I told him he thinks I'm dead. Please help me, Perry. I am afraid. This is a big lie. You're all you're not, 
You haven't been alive for many, many years. Put the shop bot's house on the hole in the vac that blows out the air and when it creates a wormhole step through and you will be in Tom B's home. Already been done. It's already been done. We're not, we're not. All right, Perry, guess what time it is? I hope it's time to read the uh, plugs. You would be right. Subscribe on YouTube, Perry Caravello. Follow us on TikTok at Perry Caravello. Join our Facebook groups, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Perry Caravello. Join the Discord, Perry Caravello official. Okay. Bonus content, patreon.com forward slash Stop Perry there. Caravello. Stop Stop that. Order a cameo. Stop. Perry, stop. Stop. Okay, I just want to say something about the Patreon. So uh, I wasn't able to upload Friday's stream on credenza level. I'm going to do that immediately following this stream. It's going to be up there uh, tonight, and then this stream will be on there tomorrow. Because as John can verify, uh, I the archive recording is going well. Mm. That used that crashed on Friday, so I had to like be creative. Oh yeah, it was like in seven parts or some shit. Yeah, it was it was rough. So uh, the Sunday stream is going to be uploaded. What here's here's what's gonna happen. As soon as this stream's over, I got the uh, thing up. Uh, the, the thing, the Friday stream, I edited this morning because I had to edit it together. I even put in all the ring stuff. It's YouTube ready. It's good. All the sounds done, 100%. That's gonna be uploaded second the stream is over. Then after that's on, I'm gonna upload the uh, tonight's uh, today's stream, and that'll be uh, there tomorrow morning. Anyway, I just want to say that. And the next thing Perry's going to say is uh, cameo.com slash Perry Caravello. All cameos are 50% off now through the end of the 4th of July. I don't even know if it's a weekend. I think it's a week, the weekend. I think 4th of July is on a Sunday. Anyway, Sunday continue on, on Monday. Perry. Sorry for interrupting. All right. Order a cameo at cameo.com forward slash Perry Caravello. Follow me on Twitter as at, uh, at the at sign P underscore C underscore L underscore official. Follow me on Instagram at Perry underscore Caravello underscore live. As well as Scary Perry WCH on Instagram where I'm at a lot. I uh, want to send Perry mail. Perry Caravello live is the address. 18960 Ventura Boulevard. Box number 209. Tarzana, California, 91356. I've got to deal with Kenoga Park tomorrow and uh, get get an item that is... Uh, what are you going to get at Kenoga Park? I've got two items Park. coming. What? What do you have to get at Kenoga Park? My uh, daytimer um, uh, appointment book uh, ref refills... And then I have my new boots coming to Canoga Park as well. Refills are what? You're getting pills refilled? What? My new... My day timer, my appointment book refills. You have a book full of pills? Appointment book! Appo Why do you need an appointment book? You sit here all day. Your appointments are on this. I have a daytimer appointment book that I always use. I've been using since my college days. I mean, just Costa to Mesa. Empty notepad and write like things in it instead of having some book yes. with dates on it that you yes. pretend to have dates with. Yes. Well, that no, book. to be fair, to be fair, Perry has doctor's appointments. He doesn't need them. Thank you. He can save money by going to less doctors. This is my opinion. Perry well, Perry also has issues, as you've noticed, with uh, short-term memory. So it's true. it's helpful to write things down. Yes, okay, fair enough. Uh, if he has to do a podcast, he writes that down. If he has to do... If he doesn't, he doesn't do the podcast at all, you're saying? Well, I'll remember. I'll, I well, have a memory. I mean, but but that, he goes to bed, he leaves the apartment, and goes and spends all his money on, on three-card Monte or something if he doesn't write that down, though. Um... You what? Know, to be fair, I think Perry's pretty good with money. Uh, to be fair, I think he. Why would I? Why would I go to a stupid uh, 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 bar and, and throw my money away on 
or, or a coffee shop and throw my to money away on, on women. crappy impress, lattes. Did you go to the rainbow and use the full money around to impress Lemmy because you want to get him off the trivia machine? So you can acknowledge Again, what, what are you talking about? Because Lemmy, I don't do he, stupid, he, is that a, stupid is, trivia machines. Lemmy was always at the rainbow, the place he was at. See, yeah, I used to I used to hang out at a uh, at the rock and roll restaurant, the Rainbow Bar and Grill. But uh, I've been there in ages because your head of well, you my finances. Were, now that my finances are a lot better, and uh, the pandemic is cleared up mostly, uh, I'll I'll be going back there on my days off. One question, Perry. I have I need your blessing on something. Now that Tom is your manager slash director slash your friend slash your like you know he graduated from publicist, i would like to apply uh, mentor like, oh, i would i would like to apply oh, for the I, job as your publicist like at that level like your underling if that's go on. like now that that's vacant the publicist level's vacant now that he's manager director like pr executive producer slash right. review slash uh father yeah. figure like you know i would i would like to be the okay. publicist level can i be your publicist with your blessing, I mean, I'm gonna apply for it. Other people gonna apply for it. I'll legitimately. No. Would you use excessive force to get him like mentioned? I'll do whatever you guys tell me to do. Honestly, like, I don't have a wife and I don't have a, a consistent job, but I have a knife and I don't. <laughs> There's another rhyme there, I believe, but. Jameson. No, uh, you're not Tom Brennan. Of course, but Tom's now your director, Sorry. manager, pub, amuse, public, Sorry. executive producer, but you have no publicist. Who's yeah, representing you? Yeah, it's Tom. I met Sean White's publicist, and she was this red-haired bitch, and she was, like, so weird. And, like, the thing was, I, I, someone else asked her, it's like, if she was his mom, and she goes, no, would it be, would it be weird if we fucked, right? Like, right, like, the second we met him. Like, we don't fucking need a publicist like that. You need a publicist like me. Yeah, to get shit. Well, you know, I find uh, with with publicity, it's like you, you really got to strong arm people to give you mentions. Like, let's say even like TMZ or whatever, you're gonna have to find dirt <coughs> TMZ people to even like say like, hey, uh, Perry gets mentioned in the next TMZ, or I just happen to show this photo that I had someone take of you. Is that really how it works? Uh, that's I didn't learn. I'll leave an that, intern. That, on. That's how the edgy people work. I didn't like Sean White's publicist, and I didn't like Christopher Knight's publicist, and I think Cato Kalin's publicist is okay, but... Cato Kalin still is a publicist? Wow, he's really milking that. Well, I mean, this is 2005. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, uh... I can do that job, Perry. You don't think I can fucking do that? Did you ever meet Cato You're Kalin? You're not Tom you know Brennan! Kato Kalin story? He's a fucking Tom nice Brennan guy. Tom Brennan has been doing this business... I mean... He's one of the look, top three nicest guys I've ever met as an intern. Really? Tom Kato Brennan Kalin? is one of the top ranked publicists if not the top ranked no, I, I, that, people that's like cool. Colin That's why Farrell. I want to be an apprenticeship. But Perry, Perry, just answer my question. Did you ever meet Cato Kalin? Never knew Cato Kalin. Oh, okay. I thought for some Never reason, knew Cato Kalin. Out of well, all you, met, the, you met two or four, three out of four of them. I met <laughs> yeah, right. Nicole Brown and Faye Resnick and OJ. at bar one the night that OJ uh, met. was actually after, uh, well, was it a dinner party, I think? Who gives a shit? Um, it was a the big one. So you, 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 met, you, met, you met the guy who rented him the pool room. <laughs> what? So, so out of out of everybody involved in that case, you didn't meet the easiest guy to meet. <laughs> like, yeah. like, like the most accessible. Right. I only met two girls and OJ. That's pretty good. I mean, I mean, well, because OJ, and this was like six months before the whole incident went down. OJ was staring at me dancing with the two girls, Nicole and Faye, on the dance floor. Like, who, and looking at me like, who's this fucking guy think he is? You must have been one hardcore motherfucker, man. You must have been- I was nice to the girls. I bought, I had money Fuck back then. I bought them if drinks. You can't keep them with him because he's trying to actually get away so he can keep his 30, his 30 sponsorships. Fuck him. You should have, you should have took them home. Fuck him, murderer. You fucking, you could go murder fucking Kato Kalin and every other skinny white guy for a character, but you're the one macking it, buddy. Fuck him. He's not so no, scary when others are witnesses. No, when, when, when the girls walked away from me and to, a, to and, you know, leave with this black guy, I didn't know who the black guy was at first. Okay? And right. people were saying that there's OJ, there's OJ, there's OJ. So that's when I was polite. Because, I mean, he was staring us down on the dance floor. 
and I was getting nervous. And and uh, uh, Nicole just kept turning me around, so my back is looking at her. Or, or, I mean, my face Jackson. is looking at her, and my back so is staring at OJ. Yeah, how old, how old is around? OJ in, in no, So her back is looking at OJ. So she's not looking at OJ. She's looking at me. And I'm looking at this big black guy staring, you know, at me while the back of her is is uh, facing him. So she doesn't have to look him eye to eye. That's and I didn't playing know who this other. big black guy was at first. Did you get Did you get his autograph? Did you, you should have asked why would him for I, a picture. Why, why would I want his autograph? I'm not oh, in the autographs. At the, autographs time, so at the time, it was probably cool to see OJ because you think of OJ now and it's weird. But at the time, you know, he was Nordberg in the Naked yeah. Gun movies. He was beloved. Yeah, yeah he, he was, he was so cool people, back people when he forget did, that. Uh, those those uh, quirky like airplane films and stuff. Yeah, he was a funny guy. Yeah, he was, he was a smart yeah, guy. you know, he, it was, he was so those movies were, also... were cute and funny. But no, um, all... then then now after. Uh, uh, in all murdering bullshit. I mean, not Pac-Man Jones. I think he's nothing more than a murderer. Okay. No, I, I get that, but 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 pre pre murder, he was the one athlete that broke through. I mean, every athlete that tries to break through to become an actor or someone sexual, they all go on the uh, OJ template. He got the uh, Avis commercials that ran for decades. He was Hertz, in the movies. not Avis. It was Hertz. Yeah. Hurts. He, Sorry, was, also, hurts, he yeah. was also more sanit. He was also more safe than like a even a Jim Brown, who for years, you know, he he was successful, but Jim Brown was also involved with civil rights. Like OJ was safe. Yeah, he was OJ safe. Was he, yeah, he wasn't political. He wasn't like he, he was just a both nice sides guy. The, both sides would love him. And I think that's why that's it was so great. shocking. Uh, uh, you know, when that happened. So I, when I decided know. to murder for like, like just. Be, yeah, yeah, and he was a solid. And he was a solid actor. It's just it's weird, like watching those movies now. Like yes, he was funny. He was aware of how funny. It was. Like I love that scene in Naked Gun where he uh, the opening scene where he goes in that boat and he's getting <laughs> before he gets <laughs> yeah, shot. Yeah. Is he like he 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 brushes against the wet paint and like after he's <laughs> yeah. had a couple of bullets, he goes like, oh no, <laughs> and he's like, it makes me laugh still. And then I catch myself laughing. Oh, he's and aware. Like, he's he, he's he's not just that he's acting. He's also yeah. aware of how yeah. funny what he's doing is, and that's like another level of being a great. Like, I know. And then comedian. I catch my myself and I'm like this guy oh he's a murderer you know I shouldn't be laughing can I make a remark go ahead uh how much longer uh we're because... done we're done we're done unless you want to hang out more but we're done yeah hang out with no, us I want to hang out more around because that we, we're no, going way over your, six your, hours no this, the stream's been over for a while we're just we're just chilling but uh I don't think oh so you're more. keeping me on the after show yeah the, because I'm here it's a special event and you stole from me. And you yeah, Perry, me you, you can do whatever you want right now. If you want to pee, if you want right. to grab a drink, whatever you want to do. If you want to hang out, if you want us to fuck off, I'll I'll, I'll kill it. Good night, you guys. Thanks. Uh, it's <laughs> night. It's fucking daylight over there. It must be like 4 p.m. over there. Perry, spend okay. 20 minutes. Let's talk about movies it's or something. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll fill seven, your part. And you just be the main. It's 7 right now. God damn right. it. Can we hang out and you just do whatever you got to do? Yeah, you could be a screensaver, moving around, moving shit. It's much better. Side. It's much better having a visual than it is like watching the car go down the road. Oh well, there he goes.